keep them feel so good.
reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Engines pumping and thumping in time. The green light flashes, the flags go up. Churning and burning, the yearn for the top. all about you've no idea oh wait hold on hello everybody welcome to a stream but not just any stream but a stream where we play slash watch video games and any video in this video game is called super special as ultimate as a cpu couple yay i said a lot of words there hello everybody i got my webcam back hurrah and welcome to this stream for cpu kerfuffle number 17 Hopefully you all uh, are enjoying that. I know that I see a lot of new faces, so I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of explanations. So I'm gonna do some quick housekeeping, just as a thing to like say. First of all, to anyone who is new to my stream, welcome. I'm Ryan Chongo Show. I do streams where I play video games, and sometimes I do streams like this right now, which is where we watch them. As you can, uh, well, see, as you will see. As I say, as you can, but you can't see it right now because I don't have it up right now. Uh, so any follows and subs are appreciated, obviously. <laughs> Like that one that just happened. I had a lot of follows, and if I uh, had to read them all out, that it would take a long time. And 
as as much I want to say I appreciate every single one of you, but I do want to say thank you to thank you for to Unzeroic for the resub. And I think there was another sub that happened during this pre-show. I don't see it. I know uh I know someone in chat, I think it was Crispy was trying to resub. It says there's still a sub, so. Oh, and thank you to Faceful of Bugs for the sub. Thank you so much, that means a ton. And I just realized I didn't shave, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, so what we're doing right now is we're doing something called CPU Kerbuffle, and we will have um, Holly on in a minute since Holly is going to be co-commentating with us. It will be very, very fun. Everyone is uh, excited for that, I know. I know I am for sure, because Holly did a great job last week when she joined, and I'm ready for it to happen again. You know, the second time is even more of a charm. Anyway, let's talk about what CPU Kerbuffle is, because... Oh, well, I guess also just other things. Yeah, I put a bunch of stuff at the bottom. Usually my funny words, but for Kerbuffles, I put down a lot of stuff because there's a lot of very relevant um, uh, chat commands for these types of streams. If you want to see what the bracket looks like, you can do exclamation mark bracket. It'll link you to the bracket. Yeah, that was my computer, not yours. Don't worry. Restart to install the newest feature. No. Get out of here. Anyway, uh, you can do the bracket with exclamation mark bracket if you want to post art based on all this oh there was one that i forgot let me add it real quick um i just realized i don't have wiki on there if you want to draw art of anything that you see here because we get a lot of really great fan art y'all do a fantastic job and we love taking a look at it so what we do is we take a look at the uh buru at the very end which you can go to with exclamation mark art if you want to donate to these streams i would greatly appreciate it you can do exclamation mark donate if you want to submit a character we take audience submissions um exclamation mark submit is right there in the title, in the thing, and you can submit it. There's a Google form, you can fill it out. There's a bit of information you might need to know ahead of time about like what all the teams are about, and we're, and we're gonna talk about that when we get started on this. Uh, if you wanna join the Discord, there's a Discord for, and you can do exclamation mark Discord for that. And then if you want to take a look, a bunch of uh, fans of CPU Revel actually fixed up a wiki, which is still in progress, but is very, very, uh, pretty well documented for what it has down. So if you ever wanna take a look at some lore, you can do exclamation mark wiki. Or if you want to see the actual uh, archived Kerfuffles themselves, they are on my backup channel, Chungo's Stream Shack. Um, now, if it's your first CPU Kerfuffle and you've never been to CPU Kerfuffle before, uh, I want you to put a 1 in chat. And um, I'll give you everything you need to know about it. If anything important happened last time, I forgot to watch the VOD. Um, oh, we have a new champion. Um, we have a new champion. Cam Valentine isn't champion anymore, so that's the thing. Okay, a lot of 1s. Cool. In that case, I'm going to get to teach y'all. Thank you, Detective Lupa Follower. Yeah, that's all our words. Oh, wow, we have a 69 in there, dude. I bet you got, I bet you get kissed a lot, unironically. Um, and a 9? Dude, that's that number based on that one Zero Escape game. The 999. Nine, nine. Okay. Um, Holly, you're... <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> what, how old I am? You know what, true. All right, first of all, I want to say welcome aboard. You chose a very, very good time to come in. So, CPU Kerfuffle is basically a tournament where we get a bunch of level 9 Smash CPUs and we get them to fight in gladiatorial combat to the death. Well, not to the death, to the pain. Or not to the pain, just, you know, for funsies. Um, and as we do it, we give each, each type of uh, sort of, um, each character their own sort of personality, their own sort of plot lines. And it's all completely improvised and it's very, very fun. And um, this one is going to be building on a lot of returning characters and... Fortunately, we are going to have a way to sort of explain, like, um, what the characters are, what they're all about. And I think it's a very interesting way. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, it's going to be really, really fun. I'm actually really excited for it. Um, and uh, let me think. There was something else I wanted to add. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, two things. One, I love all of you. And two is that uh, just something that doesn't need to be known, but just as a backstory of CB Gruffle, is that it all takes place in a parallel universe where some things are slightly different. Uh, for instance, Alpha Rad doesn't exist. Um, because otherwise he would sue us. Either way, how's Perfect Spider-Man doing? Um, in the canon, he kind of ran off, and no one's really seen him since, so hopefully he's doing okay. All right. Enough of that. Let's start it up. I'm turning on my Nintendo Switch, as it's called, as everybody knows. Um, let me get the thing in. Whoa! It's a that thing. Okay, got the funny controller. Okay, uh, let me just put something right here real quick. Who's Alfred though? Great question. Okay, so let me get the co-commentator in on this. I'm gonna, well, I don't even say you ready, because I know using real money now because you're a cool dude and deserve it. Oh, stop it, you Christian Baconator. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, Hades did win 2020 Game Awards in this universe, it's true. All right, I'm about to call up 
Lolly, not Holly, Lolly, what? Holly, hello. Probably should have warned. Either way, either way, worst case scenario, Holly's gonna be like, I'm eating a thing, in which case I'll be all like, yo, it's okay, eat it up. Chomp it, you won't. Oh, I'm done eating. Oh, the eating is complete. Good evening, everyone in the audience. Are you ready for a kerfuffle? I know I I'll am. I'll be your co-host for the night, Holly Hollow Tones, and I think the only force in the world strong enough to stop me is love. Or maybe oh, a little bit of alcohol. Ah, uh, tr <laughs> true. Well, in that case, we'll uh, refrain from a. Uh, <laughs> we'll refrain from it this time around. Either way, um, <laughs> I've already got a little bit with me. Oh, fantastic! I have, I have some with me as well. Just be sure. <laughs> All right, let's rock. Okay, so um, now normally at this point I give like the whole um, back. We sort of give the backstory, saying all about like you know what's going on here, like uh, how this all works, what all the different characters are all about, what they all do. But I thought of a very, very uh, sort of a fun way to hand roll. Let me just set up my <laughs> video stuff real quick. And uh, Holly offered to help, which I am incredibly grateful for. Why did I? Oh, Ryan, Ryan pitched this to me. Uh, for backstory, and was like, listen, I know this is, like, last, really minute. last minute, but I got this, like, really cool idea I wanted to try out. I'm not going to say what it is, because I'm not going to steal his thunder, yeah, yeah, but I will say, he sent it to me. I glanced it over, and after, like, two seconds of thought, I was like, bro, this fucking rules. Let's do it. All right. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> so before I do anything, I'm actually going to set something up real quick. Um, I just need to do a bit of setup real quick, because mm -hmm. uh, there's a bit of uh, something real quick, so... Okay, perfect. There it is. All right. So I just need to set up a bit of a thing. Oh, let me just share my uh, desktop with you real quick, Holly. I mean, share the idea. thing. That way you can see what's going on as well. I love seeing. All right. So basically the idea is that we are your commentators for the CPU kerfuffle, and we are ready to have a good time. Now, this is a very special event today, Holly, because it is the day after Valentine's Day. Sure is. And our former champion, Captain Valentine, made it a point to do something very special. Now, normally the, the uh, champion determines the rule set, but last time he actually got dethroned by Gordo's Revenge. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you remember it was quite the battle. Um, I'll never forget it. Absolutely. Um, so, Captain, however, Gordo's Revenge is a pretty cool guy. He's super chilled out. He's like, yeah, nah, you want to do this? Yeah, let's, let's do it. So he's totally down for this. Let me just make sure I get the settings right. I don't remember how settings work. So, Gordo's Revenge, it turns out, great fucking guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super quality dude, very chill about all this stuff, and he loves the idea, and nonetheless. So, what, hello, let me just, why do I have more treble set for equalization, what? Anyway, so we have, um, so in the can we have Captain Valentine, he's walking towards the center of the stage. Sort of center of the battlefield, as all the crowd is going wild, you know, cheering him on. And he puts out a hand and calls for the music to be turned down. Leaving dead silence. Um, there we go, save it. And he says, Hello everyone, it is I, the great and wonderful and great, you know me, you know me, I don't need to say great anymore, I'm, I'm stalling for time so that uh, Ryan Chong show can get the thing up. I am the one and only, Captain Valentine. And while I am no longer your champion, I still have the esteemed honor, thanks to the current champion, Gordo's Revenge, to host this event in the name of the great Valentine's Day. I present to you, the Lover's Doubles. Also, CV Crumble number 17, Love is in the Air. This, tur this tournament is going to be very similar to ones that you might have seen, but you know, like all the singles one, however, we're gonna have it be doubles. We've had a doubles one before, but this one covers a very special theme. You see, every single pair of teams are in a very special relationship, one marked by a special kind of love. And I thought, why not introduce them in a very fun way today, shall we? And uh, all of a sudden, a platform opens up from the center of the um, from the center of the arena. And a big stage slowly rises up, and a neon lights above it. It says, "The Valentine's Dating Game." Captain Valentine turns around, and when he and when he turns back, he's wearing a gaudy pink bow tie, saying, "Oh my God!" Hopefully, you all are ready. Um, also, in case you're wondering, Holly, I am playing. This is the background for this. Welcome oh to God. Valentine's Dating Game. 
We're going to see how well these people know each other, and we're gonna just, you know, get to know these lovebirds. So hopefully you all are ready, because I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to get this play in for myself now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So, with that being said, I will be the one to introduce you all to, you know, uh, hello. I'll be the one to introduce you to all the different people that you're going to be seeing in this tournament, all their teams and what they stand for, and, you know, a little bit about them. That way you know who you're going to be cheering for. And the crowd, of course, goes wild, because everyone's super excited about this. Woo! Yeah! Oh! Et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. All right. So let's start off with Team Cross. For those of you who don't know, um, every single CPU Ruffle is divided into eight different teams, with each team presenting one or two, in this case, candidates from their team to represent them. So each one is going to have, you know, their own different set of friends coming out. So first, let's talk about Team Cross. This is the team that's all about celebrating how Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the ultimate crossover game. And coming up from then, we have two returning candidates who actually met on the battlefield. In one corner, we have... Where, where are you? There you are. Princess Remedy! And in the other, we have... Visible Man! Now. Now, uh, Visible Man. Um, by the way, I'll be Visible Man, Holly. Um... <laughs> Visible Man, uh, quick question about you two. How long have you two been, you know, a, a unit of sorts? Oh, well, uh, we actually met during, uh, the ninth CPU couple, was it, babe? Of course, yeah. We, uh, had a nice little, uh, 1v1 skirmish, and, um, unfortunately, I knocked her out of the bracket, but, you know, I think that we really, uh, we really hit it off then, and, um, we kind of got married. It was really nice. We've been in a really good relationship since then, and it's been very nice. It turns out love really can bloom on the battlefield. <laughs> Absolutely it can! We can only see that further. So, quick question for each of you. First to Princess Remedy. What is Visible Man's favorite rock band? Oh, everyone knows that. It's Led Zeppelin. Ah, oh, you know me too well, hun. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a point! Alright, and for Visible Man. What is Princess Remedy's favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh yeah, um, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, it's, uh, chocolate chip cookie dough, yeah? Yeah, we had some just ding, last ding, night. Ding, 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 All right, looks like these lovebirds are ready to rock and roll. Princess Remedy from hit video game Princess Remedy and the... Hold on a second, I'm looking through my notes, which is also just a copy of Chongo Show's stream library. <laughs> In the world of Hurt, that is the... That is the second half of it that I totally remembered off the top of my head. Sorry. Also put Princess Remedy in a heap of trouble. Check it out. Oh, yes. I'll, I am so sorry for forgetting. She's Invisible, not doing them. Invisible Man, you aren't, uh, you aren't quite uh, from anything. I'm just, I mean, I'm just here with my, I'm just here with my lovely lady, you know? Everyone goes, aww. It doesn't matter what he's from. What he's for is my heart, and that's what matters. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's Team Cross. So if you want to cheer on these two married lovebirds, feel free to give them a feel free to give them a shout out and cheer for them in the thing, in the tournament today. Fantastic. All right, let's see. Coming up next, I had an idea in my mind of how to uh, sort of clean this. Okay, coming up next, we have Team Kraken. This team is dedicated to Ryan Chongo shows sheer narcissism and hubris for putting his own <laughs> characters and anything related to them into, um, okay, cool loops, <laughs> into the tournament. <laughs> so in one corner we have the witch, the witch herself. Come on, I know you're right here somewhere. There you are. Twist. And Woo! and in the other we have. The lady of the burger herself. God, I'm so bad at finding these characters on here. Chilies! Yeah! Like the previous couple, these two actually met on the battlefield themselves. However, they're a lot more of a new couple. Only been on a couple dates from what we've heard. So, uh, let's go to Twist first. Twist, how are you feeling about this whole relationship so far? Oh, um, well, uh... I just, I, I just think that she's nice, and I think we're just, you know, kind of, kind of feeling things out. But she's definitely, um, definitely really cool. Yeah, Chili's. 
<laughs> you know, new love is a beautiful thing. It blossoms like flowers in the evening, and rains like spring in the summer. I'm a little nervous right now, so I'm <laughs> stumbling oh, over oh, yeah, me, a me. little bit. Oh, uh, it, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I, I, I'm nervous too. <laughs> Ah, we're totally gonna beat the tar out of them, though. Oh yeah, no, we're going to obliterate everyone in our path. All right, let's see. And uh, the questions now. You, let's see if you can get this one. So, twist. What is Chili's favorite item on the menu at Chili's? Oh, um, uh, it's uh, it's the um, the 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 the. the, the... It's the it's, it's one of the burgers, right? Right, Chili's. Sorry, I know I don't remember exactly. <laughs> Oh, listen, babe. I'll be honest with you. I just kind of close my eyes and point at the menu, and whatever happens, happens. Oh, quite the uh, erratic picker. All right. And uh, two. Chili's, what is Twist's favorite instrument? Oh, it's the, uh, the, the, the what's it called? The one with the, the strings and the crank? You were, you were showing it to me the other day, uh. Oh yeah, I was showing you that. I was actually showing you that one. Um, the uh, the, 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 the I, I don't remember what it's called either. I just I just found it earlier, and I thought you might the think it's the, cool. The, the, the oh, the hurdle girdly. Hurdle girdly. Yeah, that's that's not, what it is. I don't think it's my that one isn't my uh, that one is my favorite. I'm actually I actually really like the uh, the loot. Oh. But but hey, I'm really glad you remember me showing you the hurdy gurdy. That was fun. Oh, it blew me away. Oh, you can say that again. All right, oh, what it a blew me away. <laughs> You see, that's a little joke. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully they do well moving right along. She's doing finger guns to the camera after <laughs> doing that one. And Twist is just kind of laughing like, come on, as, they're, <laughs> as they slowly the move off the stage. Yeah. All right. Ah, gotta love young love, you know? Reminds me of when I was meeting people. All right. I mean, hey, I'm still meeting people if you want to uh, meet up after this, ladies. Or men, however you want to go. Nevertheless... <laughs> Coming up next, we have um, quite the interesting, interesting group here. Um, the I'd recognize one of these. I actually was talking to him earlier, but I don't think I've seen the other one before. So let's see. The first one is um, a returning member. A lot of people might recognize his face. Um, Doctor Order. <laughs> and um, let's see. The other one is goes by the name of Captain Quadratic. I don't think we've ever. Oh God, oh God, uh, Doctor. Oh, Ursula, Captain Dr. Valentine. Oh, it's a delight to have me here. But I'm sure you knew that already. Yes, Doctor Order. Um, <laughs> I, we 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 know you quite well. Um, do you... oh, I'm sure you do. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, but I don't think we've met our Captain Quadratic, who um looks. Strikingly similar to me. The perfect man? That's right. And he's perfect because I made him. Isn't that right, Quadratic dear? Yep, you know it. Oh, okay. Um, cool. All right. Um, did you, did you clone me? Order? <laughs> Let's get on with the questions then, shall we? Don't uh, want to keep the crowd waiting. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess. Um, I guess we'll start with a uh, Captain Quad. Actually, Doctor Order. Let's go first. Um, what was the first movie that made Captain Quadratic cry? Oh, I didn't build him with tear ducts. He's simply too powerful to cry. If he gets sad, he shoots beams from his eyes. Oh my god, you know me so well, babe! <laughs> I sure do. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I love you! And I love you too. This is, uh... And when she says that, she turns very slowly to Captain Valentine with, like, the biggest smug grin on her face. <laughs> um, alright, uh, Captain Quadratic. How does... How does Dr. Order like her coffee? She likes a venti ice cinnamon dolce latte with almond milk, extra ice, extra caramel drizzle, and exactly five ounces of whipped cream. Oh, babe, you remembered it down to the ounce. <laughs> yes, because I love you so much. And I do too, my dear. Okay, um, well, these guys are a member of Team Caliber. The team that's all about disrespect and knowing that they're the best, so 
I'm curious to see how that ends up going. Oh, we all know how that's going to end up going, don't we? Yes, it will end with, uh, with me and Dr. Order being in love because I love her so much! And she gives uh, Captain Quadratic a chaste kiss on the lips. Yes! Okay, um, all right, okay. That was, uh, Jesus. All right, coming up next, if you, so if you're going to cheer for Team Caliber, then you know who you're cheering for. Coming up next, we have, uh, Team Cones. If you like chaos and going wild, going crazy, going stupid, then this is the team for you. In one corner, we have, let me get him real quick. I know he's right here somewhere. Hacker Man John. In the other corner, we have a crowd favorite, Larry the Florida Man. Hacker Man John sort of gives like a really like chill, laid back wave. Um, just going like, hey guys, what's going on? Larry the Florida Man is just like bobbing to the music like, hey, yeah. Yeah, he's current, I will say right now, he is currently in his uh, standard uh, Joker form. Joker. All right, so. Um, Larry, Larry, what's interesting about you is that, uh, you have the ability, every single match you're in, you are a random character, correct? That's right. Not shape-shifting. Um, it sounds like it is quite an interesting thing to deal with. Um, it's, it has its ups and downs, but, you know, you learn to groove with it. Yeah, I can imagine. You look like you're grooving to it yourself, you know? <laughs> oh, you are a kidder. Now, uh, it says... I love it. <laughs> and it says here that, uh, Hackerman John, um, you are a robot that has been given, a sort of a cyborg form, and you can augment yourself at will. Yeah, it's pretty chill. Leads to a lot of hype moments, ain't that right? He, he, he says that, and, like and, and Larry the Florida Man is just, like, clapping and cheering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so how long have you two been dating? Oh, we've been at it for about, uh, two years now. Yeah, we've been going steady and strong. Heck yeah. Love you, Ben. Love you, too. All right. Uh, well, as much as I would love to have you guys ask questions, we do need to get to the fighting, and this is taking quite a while. So if you want to cheer for Team Cones featuring Larry this Florida Man and uh, Hacker Man John, then cheer for Team Cones whenever they show up. Woo! Yes! <laughs> he... But he pumps his fist as the music loops again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up next, we have Team Clutch. These are the people who believe that they can become the best they can be if they try their best and keep on working hard in it to be the best. In one corner, we have a classic fighter of CPU Crabuffle, Alabaster Uppercut, alongside Google. All right, so Alabaster Uppercut, um, I was not aware that you two were in a romantic relationship. Is that, is that so? Uh, Alabaster is also kind of bobbing to the music, but also he's in a fighting pose despite the fact that he's not fighting right now. He's going, <laughs> he's going, nah, 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 we're not, we're not like romantically involved, but we do believe that there's nothing more powerful than our platonic love. Ain't that right, Google? He points. Yeah, uh, I'm still trying to figure out this whole love thing it's i'll be honest it's kind of strange to me but you know oh, alabaster yes. here he's he's shown me there's there's more to love than just romance there's 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 friendship and there's family too and, you, know, you got that right google yeah he gives a very enthusiastic thumbs up i think that's worth fighting for too and he turns towards alabaster and he's smiling yeah, and I can imagine things are a bit rough for you. After all, uh, you were made by uh, Dr. Order like a month ago, right? So you're still figuring this out, yeah? It's... I mean, I imagine it's a little bit harder than, 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 than being a baby, given how, you know, I am a fully functioning person and all, but it's... You know, I guess we're all just doing the best we can, and, well... I'm starting to learn... Yes. Doing the best we can includes reaching out to others, too. Absolutely. And uh, you don't think that uh, Dr. Order is in this tournament. Do you have any choice words for Dr. Order? Oh, you're going down, Doc. Yeah, you are, Doc! Ha! Apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, we ain't funded by Apple. We're funded by Google, baby! Yeah! He gives another... He gives two thumbs up. <laughs> at the same time. Google turns to Alabaster and he's like, We'll workshop that one for next time. Don't worry, I think it was perfect the first time around! 
<laughs> All right, let's see. And that brings us to, I think we have uh, two more teams to go through and then we can finally get this party started. Uh, coming up next, we have, um, this is Team Cash Money. Speaking of his little um, Apple uh, thing going on. If you are a fan of, you know, people who stay in companies, people who are getting that sponsorship, people who are getting like deals, getting brand deals, or just getting that mad cash from winning tournaments every day, you're gonna be cheering for ca Team Cash Money. And representing Team Cash Money this time includes another old face in the CPU Gruffle universe, Mozilla, and Bing. Uh, all right, so uh, I also, kind of like the last team, I wasn't aware that you two were in a relationship, uh, Mozilla. Uh, Mozilla just kind of coldly looks at the camera and says, yes, we are, we're, we're very in love. Totally love each other. Yep, we're in very much love. So uh, we're trying things out, it's mm -hmm. it's brand new, but it's, it's, it's real, yeah. Bingo. Um, Bing, come give me a kiss. Yeah, sure no, don't, thing. Don't, don't, don't actually, don't actually, don't actually. Yeah, sure thing, bud. Awesome. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I guess we do have time for questions since you kept your intros kind of brief. Uh, yeah, we do. Bing, what is Mozilla's favorite website? I think it's the Mozilla website. Um, actually, it's. I mean, you you got it right. You know me so well. Awesome. Um, I love uh, you. Uh, yes, I I like you too a lot. It's good. Yeah, it's yeah. very good. It's great. Uh, um, and Mozilla, what is Bing's favorite candy? Oh yeah, Bing. He um he likes Skittles. Right, correct. That's yeah. correct. Love the stuff. Mm -hmm. I eat it every day. I have taste buds. True. You... Yes. I mean, we all have taste buds. You don't have to act like you're a robot because you're not a robot. I use them to taste the candy that I love. Um, okay. And if I may be curious, what inspired you guys so much to join the tournament? It sounds hey. like... Hmm? Hey. What? D uh, no, not... Come on. Oh, sorry. I meant love. Yes, love. Um, you see that um, Mozilla is shooting a glare over towards Google, for whatever reason. <laughs> yes, we love each other and we want to smooch and well, not now, but like in a, in the privacy of our own homes. But what white picket fence, marriage, the whole marriage, shebang. Yes, yeah. perhaps one day we will um, have two and a half children. You ever heard of those? I have. Yes, it was a television show also. I, I, I searched that using a superior search engine. Mozilla says, glaring at Google again. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, looks like we have a couple more left. Let's, let's rattle on through them. Coming up next, we have a Team Charm. Team Charm is all about, you know, uh, fighting for what's right, fighting for what they love. Very fitting for this tournament. And also possibly being LGBT, which isn't really new for these uh, possible attendants, but either way, it's usually a pretty nice thing. And representing this team this time around includes Cupid Shuffle and Matrimony Knight, wherever you are. There you are. Also, uh, for the people who noticed in the uh, posters that we put up, um, he was represented as uh, the Galactic Knight skin, and that was not correct. We apologize for this... Um, for this misconstruing of the facts. We're very sorry. I'm begging you to forgive me. <laughs> so, um, are you two also in a relationship? Like, once again, I don't think that I've heard about you two being in a relationship. Uh, Cupid Shuffle, are you in a relationship with Matrimony Knight? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't get it twisted. We're, we're buds. We're, you know, we're good friends. We like to True. hang out, pal around. Absolutely. Nothing, nothing that serious. Great but, friends. you know, we're uh, here today to celebrate love in all its forms. Absolutely. Isn't that just beautiful? Absolutely. We're fighting to show that there's no force in the world more powerful than love and marriage also. Exactly. Cupid Shuffle represents the sweet romance that you experience, while I represent the beautiful tying of the knot. For now, Cupid, until Cupid forever. Shuffle like pumps a fist up in the air and does like the peace sign near his eyes, striking a cute little pose. 
Uh, Match Monday Night is still looking very uh, threatening with his mask and like holding his sword out, but he's still like, yes, Mowage. Mowage is what brings us together today. All right. Um, well, in that case, that's Team Charm if you want to cheer for them. All right. Which brings us to Keep our... Cupid Shuffle strikes another pose. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Cupid Shuffle. Um, <laughs> Cupid sh Shuffle sh strikes a third pose. Yeah. All right. All right, please, get off, get off the stage. All right. <laughs> All right, and that brings us to our last couple before we can finally get started. Uh, since, don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed my time, but I know you all want to see some battles. And this one, I think, has definitely the most history behind it, with both of these guys going back to the very, very first CPU kerfuffle. In one quarter, we have Hamburger Helper. And in the other, we have Dadendorf. Now, uh, Dendorf, I'm going to come to you about this one. Um, apparently you guys have a bit of a history. Uh, do you mind explaining? Yeah, um, so we we had been married for a very long time. A very, very long time. Upwards to decades, even. Um, but then, after CPU Kvapo 1 had happened, uh, Hamburger Helper had become champion. I was, I was very proud of him. Then he kind of um, brought a demon from another dimension into the world, allowed himself to be possessed by it for power, and uh, yeah, it, it kind of caused a bit of a rift. Uh, we yeah. got, yeah, we got divorced, um, and uh, we're still we're still not married, but we're we're, we're trying to give it another shot. Um, Listen, everyone makes mistakes, and I think everyone has the capacity to learn from them. And I'm not above that. I have done things I regret and realized it has hurt the people closest to me. And while there's no easy way to make the pain go away, we realized we do still care for each other. So we're, we're taking it slow. Absolutely. In the utmost respect, if anything, I think that this tournament might be a really good way to show that love is full of second chances. And Dadendorf, I, and I understand that uh, you two have a bit of a rift between you two, and we really hope that you guys can figure it out, because a lot of people were rooting for you. Dadendorf sort of nods and says, Yes, I do want to, um... I want to... I want to... Listen, this is going to get very heavy. I don't want to bring down the mood with the music and all of that. What's important is that, like Hamburger and Helper said, we are taking it slow. And, um, yes, um, we will be fighting in the tournament under Team Chonk due to the fact that they don't have any representatives right now, even though uh, Hamburger Helper is part of Team Cones and whatnot. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot to mention, uh, this is Team Chonk. If you're a fan of the big boys, then you should cheer for Team Chonk. And, and Hamburger Helper goes, and he, like sort of like clutches uh dad and Dorf's hand a little bit tighter and he goes and he goes like go big or go home right and he has this like sort of tired smile on his face and um dad and Dorf just kind of gives a sigh which sounds like beleaguered at first like like he's like tired of it but it slowly fades to his smiles and he says yes go big or go home let's hope that we can do the first one for damn sure <laughs> Just like old times. But better this time. Absolutely. All right, and with that, we're ready to get a tournament started. And if you guys wish to, you can type exclamation mark bracket into the chat. We'll show you the bracket of these eight teams. And you, that's right, you can vote your prediction on who you think is going to win the whole tournament. And usually as a tradition, we have a very fun, you know, sort of um, special... What's the word I'm looking for here? Um... A exhibition match, as we are wont to do here yeah. at CPU Kerfuffle. We always have an exhibition match that goes on here um, while we wait for everyone to finish their votes. So we're going to open it up with a team battle. And this particular team battle will be of another set, a couple other pairs of uh, teams that you might have known from previous games. In the meantime, while this match is going on, please feel free to place your votes during this match. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to update the thing. And with that, I will leave you to your commentators. Captain Valentine, out! He gives a uh, he gives a salute and backflips into the smoke, disappearing. No one knows how he did that, but it's all Someday right. Someday he's going to have to teach me. Absolutely, I really want to know. 
So that was um, out of character. That was actually really fun. Thank you very much for um. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for thanks for doing that with me, Holly. <laughs> I will roleplay divorced dads trying to fix things with you any day. Absolutely. And I mean that in complete seriousness. <laughs> I know, and honestly, again, thank you very much for uh, taking part in that. Hell yeah. Um, Alright, I'm just setting something up real quick, because... Uh... Here are a couple other... So basically, for this one, we're going to set up a couple pairs that I know were discussed in previous tournaments that could have been in this one, but didn't quite make the cut just due to various reasons and them not being fully romantic. But this exhibition match will be between the team of... Thera Puppy and Plum K. Rule versus... Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. Which skin is it? This one. Insta Jennifer! And. Who do we get? Who do we get? Who do we get? Venus! Hell yeah! Alright, this is just a quick exhibition match just to let you guys place your votes. Hopefully, you guys are ready for a good time. Exhibition match of. Uh, actually, hold on a second. I'm just setting this up real quick so that I can see both the uh, bracket and the thing. Alright. Exhibition match of Thera Puppy and P Rule versus Venus and Insta Jennifer. Oh, I should pro Oh wait, shit! I just realized something. Music isn't on. Okay, this is just gonna have. <laughs> this is gonna have. We like. We, this is gonna have the party music playing during it. This just is a this party. one. Party. Let's party down with it. And this is a very interesting match. We've got Absolutely. two of the best and brightest from the Animal mm -hmm. Kingdom, who are very good friends, mm -hmm. uh, versus uh, two women, you know, that have Both been are beauty queens. Beauty queens that have historically uh, uh, had a lot of tension between each other. You know, rivals to enemies, mm -hmm. possibly to lovers. Who knows what's going on with that? But, Absolutely. you know, they're, no matter what happens, you know oh! they're going to put on a good show, and down goes... Therapuppy. Absolutely. I think a lot of people going into this would expect a Therapuppy and P-Rule to take it home, just considering how much of a powerhouse they were in the uh, tournament they premiered in. Mm -hmm. But we already have an accidental SD, or accidental team kill, with P-Rule accidentally hitting Therapuppy. Never underestimate the power of women who love showmanship. Absolutely. All right. Now, these two have actually fought as a team before during um, their championship match against Captain Valentine and, um, mm -hmm. and, uh... Oh my god, he he did it again! p -Rules, <laughs> I think I think P-Rules used to fighting with a Therapuppy with Team Attack turned off. Definitely. Not quite used to, uh, this sort of landscape here where you have to be very careful with your hits. Uh, P-Rule, known for having, uh, large attacks that hit a large area in front of him. Unfortunately, that means people get caught in the crossfire and P-Rule is out of there. Absolutely. All right. So it looks like, uh, right now there's a bit of a, uh, there's a bit of a comeback that needs to be made. But if you, mm -hmm. but the best part is that P-Rule's known Ooh. for making comebacks. Plus, not to mention, sure, not to mention sure. P. Rule can hit nice and hard. And with that, they are mm -hmm. back to even stocks, despite- <gasps> Wait! Their puppy took P. Rule's, uh, uh, fucking thing! Cannonball! It's hers now. She will use it as she wills, and my god will she. I I'm, I'm very curious to see how this works, because what a showing of teamwork! I wonder if they practice that. It, it looks like their strategy here is they're trying to bring people towards the center of the arena into the meat grinder, as I like to call it. Uh, uh, basically pounding them, tenderizing them as much as they can, bouncing them off the tiny roof there, and then knocking them out slightly and trying to shoot them right up into the air, as you can just see. Absolutely. Uh, and there Bobby throws out the cannonball, hitting um, a, I think that hit Venus? It doesn't do a mm -hmm. lot because Venus is at 0%, but either way. And with just two total stock left on blue team, and I think that's three on red team, uh, it uh -oh. looks like it's going- Oh my god! But Thera Puppy takes a stock! And p -Rule's like, yeah, no problem, I took I took pretty much all your stocks anyway, you can take a stock, no problem. p -Rule throwing his partner out by accident, and in like a moment of remorse decides, you can take my life essence, it's the least I can do. Absolutely. Uh, everyone but Thera Puppy here is at very high percentages, uh, mm -hmm. One wrong move, oh! and anyone is out of there! And it's the Jennifer knocking out both her partner and also P Rule, putting her in a very disadvantageous can... position with Thera Puppy. Versus Thera Puppy, who is at very low percentages and just needs one good clean hit from the edge here. Trying to go for an aerial hit or maybe a grab to see what it can do for her, but the parries. Alright. 
It's gonna be tough for Insta Jennifer to bring back, especially with a season fire like their puppy and, and the finishing rod finishes it off. As the old man comes in from the top rope, Thera Puppy with a rope of her own, the fishing rod. We have our exhibition match winners. All right, I'm gonna turn off the background music because it's not supposed to be that fun. The fact. <laughs> <laughs> what a great start! Carnage on the field. Uh, anything goes. You need to trust in yourself and your lover tonight, folks. Absolutely. I had to. I had to take on that whole um cup of water just to just after that match dear lord mm -hmm. who knows i've been what's very slowly sipping on my drink uh because i don't want to like get myself completely sloshed yeah yeah, yeah 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 i got you um oh yeah sound that's where it is this music is back on wait nice 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 <laughs> Woo! let's go all right with that everyone's prediction should be in with 38 of them um, I'm gonna hit start the tournament. All right, let's get it rolling. Is everyone in the crowd excited? I'm seeing a lot of nices, which I'm assuming that means they are, Ryan. I think it's because I said all the 69s earlier, but either way. I mean, that too, but. True. <laughs> also, shout out to the rain and overlap. Also, just shout out to the Yeti for uh, this um, scratch O shirt. Anyway. Hell yeah. <laughs> I just noticed I was wearing it, and I don't think uh, a lot of chat's seen it. Either way, um,. Let's uh, make sure that I got this ready. All right, so I just realized I don't think I actually showed the overlay during that stream. Oh, well, wait, I think I did. I don't remember. Either way, let me just set up the uh, the titles for this one real quick. In the meantime, while I'm doing that, um, out of the teams we've seen so far, Holly, who do you think is going to take this tournament? Now, uh, it's 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 hard to say, really. Uh, I've got some, some feelings. Uh... Objectively, completely objectively, uh, Team Caliber is a very strong contender here. Dr. Order uh, is a menace in more ways than one uh, on and off the field, and she has created the perfect boyfriend. Mm -hmm. It remains to be seen if that perfection extends to like the Ring of, the ring of Legends here, but he is in prime physical form. He knows everything about his partner down to a T. They have some incredible synergy there. Uh, yeah. On the other hand, uh, Team Chunk, Hamburger Helper and Dadendorf, they've had a rocky past trying so hard to get things back together. They have a lot of like weight and power and heft to throw around on the field. It will be hard to keep them out and it will be easy for them to keep people away. Uh, and never underestimate the power of two dudes uh, who have realized they've wronged each other and want nothing more than to fix things. Absolutely. I think that uh, those two are definitely going to show a lot of promise. I'm actually <laughs> seeing um, the two teams that I've got my eye on the most include, um, and this is, again, very much biased, but um, Twist and Chilies, I feel like, uh, Team Charm, they definitely have a lot of, like, uh, you know, they still have a lot of getting to know each other to do. Mm -hmm. They still have a lot of, like, you know, figuring out, but they do have that young spark. And also... Oh, for sure. They have that youthful energy, and they're tenacious. Absolutely. And not to mention, both of them have shown that they can really do well in a tournament, as uh, mm -hmm. they showed uh, during their um, initial showings uh, in their first tournament. So that's going to be very, very nice. But I've also got a really close eye on Larry and Hackerman and John, only because Larry is always a fun uh, person to keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. And Hackerman sure. and John, now that he's sort of figured out sort of um, his sort of spot and where he wants to be in it, um, like he wants to stick in his uh, man form rather than his bot form. Yeah. I think that he can really pull something off here, especially with uh, the teamwork with Larry. Especially because they really, they really know each other. They've really got something steady going. Yeah, they, you, you've got a man. You've got a man it. who knows exactly who he is and what he wants to be, and you've got a man that is very comfortable with the fact that at any given moment, at any time, he could be fucking anything. They have a unique understanding of each other that I don't think any other pairing in this tournament quite is able to have true. just because of the nature of who and what they are. And I think that's really gonna go a long way. That's true. All right, so round one. In one corner, we have Team Chunk with Hamburger Helper and, oh, I was like, I need to sort out which one's player two. Okay, yeah, those guys aren't in, just put them down. Ignore them, they're fake. Yeah, no, they, they're just, that's just a tiger and a plant that walked on the field. <laughs> they're the mascots for the night. Security, please escort them out. Security, it's, it's, remove this nasty motherfucker! It's like in foot. It's like on. It's like that video of like the cat getting on the field during the soccer game. <laughs> except, except the cat's just like carrying a flower in its mouth, you know, because love. Mm -hmm. And dad, the cat, the cat is like six feet long and is like ripped. 
You know what? I see no problem with a six foot long ripped cat. Anyway. Exactly. Love is love. Love is love. And in the other corner, we have the heroes of love themselves, Matrimony Knight and Cupid Shuffle. Oh, they're right next to each other on the uh, on the thing. That's nice. I didn't even Hell that. yeah. You'll also, love to see it. Can we get some hearts in the stands for love? Absolutely. All right. Uh, so with that being said, um, between these two, who do you think who do you think's gonna take it? Mm, it's hard to say here, but I'm leaning towards Team Chunk for sure. Uh, Matrimony Knight and Cupid Shuffle definitely are going to put on a very strong show, given how love is their entire thing, mm -hmm. uh, and they are here to fight to defend it to the death. Meanwhile, uh, you know, Hamburger Helper and Dadendorf here are trying so hard to rekindle the love that they've lost and are like, putting back together. Mm -hmm. And so I think that in itself uh, possibly means that uh, Team Charm over here is going to be overwhelmed, you know, by like this showing and not be able to like hold on. Yeah. Um, also, somebody. Oh, come on. Is it going to have me have to put them all down again? They should all save, right? I was trying to. I just realized I didn't change it to Team Battle. Son Oops. of a bitch. Okay, hold on. <sighs> okay, let's, uh, so, Hamburger Helver. Dadendorf. Okay, uh, we have, uh, Matrimony Knight, and, uh, Okay, now we're ready to go. All right. Um, Team Chong versus Team Charm. Round one. Folks in the audience, make some noise. This is our first official match of the night. Also, did I clip my mic there? Just curious. Out of curiosity. Nope, you're good. Awesome. On my end, at least. Awesome, nice. If I did, let me know, uh, chat. But either way, oh, I forgot that I kept this legal. Either way, I think it'll be really fun. I think this divided field definitely uh, makes things interesting. Yeah, right from the start, we can see our two teams splitting up, going one-on-one. -on -one. We've got Dadendorf with Matrimony Knight and Hamburger Helper out here with Cupid Shuffle. We've got uh, the two winged terrors versus the two old men of romance uh, down in the pits. Absolutely. And right now, um, uh, Cupid Shuffle putting on an amazing show against uh, Hamburger Helper, who mm -hmm. is a former champion. So Dancing circles around the guy. Absolutely. I think that if I'm Team Chunk, like, uh, I might need to switch, sort of, uh, switch partners, mm -hmm. as it were. Sort of switch dance partners. They're Which moving like back up happening. here ooh. to the top of the arena. Absolutely. Dadendorf trying to get a... Oh, oh ooh, that's a powerful... Here we go. Hit. They've switched their dance partners, as you suggested, like mm -hmm. they can hear you or something. Yeah, nah, for real. Um, <laughs> ooh. It Cuban like Shuffle it trying to, to take a long-range pot shot, and Dadendorf says none of that. Accidentally knocking out a uh, hamburger helper in the chaos, though. Absolutely. The one problem with a uh, double tournament, especially for big heavyweights like uh, the Team Chonk members, is that mm -hmm. um, there's just so big, the hitbox are so big, so you can't really control who you're hitting with mm -hmm. them, and collateral damage is just bound to happen. Like, kind of like sure. what you saw in the exhibition match, even. Also, Sometimes, moment of large overtakes you, and it's hard to keep track of who you're hitting. Ooh, sometimes your girth just overtakes you, and Cube sometimes Trouble trying to keep, sometimes Cube Trouble trying to keep Hamburger Helper down, but not quite working. Ooh, Dadendorf struggling to get back on, but he is but safe. still doing it. Still in it. Ooh, Matrimony Knight and Cupid Shuffle having a bit of difficulty here. Uh, Absolutely. Seems like there's a bit of infighting. Absolutely. All right. Ooh, teaming Let's up, double it. teaming against Hamburger Helper, but... Ooh, ooh, putting a little bit of sauce on Matrimony Knight as he flies away. That's the teamwork that I like to see. <laughs> That's how you know they've been together. Oh, no! And a, a double KO! Matrimony Knight taking out his friend as he takes out his opponent, but it still puts them in good levels of stock, mm -hmm. so... Stock-wise, we are about even, but damage-wise, it looks like Team Chonk is struggling a little bit. With a hamburger helper here, you know, still large, still being able to stay in it. But, ooh, as I say that, yeah. Dadendorf cannot recover. It is two on one until he can get back. Oh, back. and oh. oh my god, Cupid Shuffle putting hamburger helper in the ground. Absolutely filthy, my god. These, right now, Team Charm is saying that you don't need no credit card to ride this train because this is the power of love, baby. <laughs> Team Charm is here to tell Team Chomp that they've still got some work to do as far as their love goes. Absolutely. 
and oh, but hey, Dadendorf getting some hard hits, which might just be doing something, and almost gets mm. a big explosion off, but uh, Cupid Shuffle Trying, manages to cut him off just in time. Trying so hard to go for that stanky leg, that uh, Cupid Shuffle just does not want it to work. All right. All right, and there mm. goes that stock. Out it, he goes, like a light, matrimony light, very low, but still ooh. in it, and there goes Dadendorf with the TKO. He is out. It's gonna take a lot of a lot for hamburger help to bring this back. He's gonna again, have to work a miracle to stay in this, Ryan. Yeah, not only is it gonna be a two on one, but he's gonna have to deal both with both of them at full at like full health stocks. Mm -hmm. Not to mention he still has to finish off matrimony night. He sure does. That's and just ooh. two things that are very difficult to deal with. I mean, hey, we managing to get that recovery. Can he do anything? He tries at to land some point. nares in the cave. Doesn't quite it's, hit. It's doing oh, that's, some damage, that's, gonna do, that's gonna be a stock. Matrimony night across the floor, drawn out and sent to hell. Ooh, go, looking like Hyrule in this temple. Okay, and uh, with that, gets, the first round goes too close to charm. the edge. Mm -hmm. I mean, he knew that he had. He knew that he purchased the whole sea. I don't know how he was only using the edge. <laughs> <laughs> and round one goes to Team Charm. Well done. All right, surprising showing. Like a lot of us had a lot of uh, money on Team mm, Team mm -hmm. Chunk. Uh, I think right now, um, just sort of, uh, they're sort of, you know, Team Chunk is sort of looking at each other, like, um, Dad and Darth are sort of whispering, like, "Well, we're not doing great so far, but I don't, I know, you know, I know we don't stay down, right? <laughs> Never surrender." Meanwhile, a cube shuffle and matrimony knight are already ready to go. Matrimony knight looks like he's been practicing those ma those uh, wedding loops, marriage rings. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what. We're, yeah, I think we call them wedding loops. I, I remember we had a name for him when uh, we first came up with matrimony knight. But nevertheless, let's go to round two. And here we go. Where will this next fight take us, folks? Looks like it's going to Pokemon Stadium two. I will say I fully underestimated the fact that uh, being in the presence of a powerful love does inherently power up Matrimony Knight and Cupid Shuffle both. That's true. That's a true statement. Thus, any powerful duo they go up against is going to inherently power them up. Absolutely, which is very, which is a very interesting conundrum that you're going to have mm -hmm. in this tournament. Win or lose, I think this is a beautiful testament to uh, Hamburger Helper and Dandorf trying as hard as they can to make things better for each Absolutely. other. Absolutely, and, and Dandorf gets the first KO! Clean, the first out of the match goes to Dandorf. Oh, but Matrimony Knight is coming in and saying, oh yeah, all right, cool, and just immediately takes the stock off of Dandorf. It's very easy. Hungry for it. Yeah, I'm telling you, Dandorf's easy enough to gimp, so he's taking advantage while he can. Why was that? The combo move. Holy shit! The Did you see attack. that? That was the coolest <laughs> fucking thing! What the fuck? My god! That's they are working to That's how you know they've been with each other for as long as they Jesus Christ! <laughs> Old I'm actually die popping hard. the fuck off. Let's go! Old habits die hard and so does Team Chunk tonight, folks. Jesus! My god! <laughs> that was nuts! I really want to see a clip of that one. Yeet Smash, are you watching? Yo, Yeet, Yeet Smash, are you shipping this? <laughs> These dads have got game! Oh, oh, oh no, and Hamburger Helper is caught under the stage! But they hey, are in equal stocks focus. right now. Things are pretty evenly tied up with Dadendorf. Whoa, Ooh. and Dadendorf completely knocks out Matrimony with Knight with a stomp! And with the share stock, blue team is now down to one stock each. Can they cinch this out? Oh, and now we're all down to one stock. <laughs> we are very rapidly approaching the end of this match, folks. Absolutely. This really could go anyone's way at this point. Mm -hmm, absolutely, especially with how easy it is to give someone like Dadendorf, but... Mm -hmm. Ooh, getting some closeness. The hug. Getting some closeness. Oh no, and, and speaking of getting gimped! With the footstool and the wedding ring! I didn't even notice there was a footstool there. I mean, it sounds about right, but match running night, dang, absolutely killing it. Hamburger Helper is going to have to work so hard to not only stay in this, but to but to close this out. But I I have a feeling he might oh. be able to do it as hard as it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. But oh, that, that the upper dash arm is gonna be scary. Huh. 
I mean, anything from these guys are going to be scary at this point. Mm hmm. He has the size and the range, but he is outnumbered here. Absolutely. Oh, and he gets oh. spiked by Cupid Shuffle. With the spike. Holy hell. Round two going to our blue team, Team Charm here. God, a 2-0. Now, I, I did, forgot to mention this, but worry not for everyone who is a fan of Hamburg Helper and Dadendorf. This is a double elimination tournament, so they are not out of the tournament yet. They've just been sent to lose his bracket. They will return. They absolutely will return. But as they hop off the field, Dadendorf and Hamburg Helper just look at each other, remembering the play they did right there, and just sort of, like, <laughs> chuckle to themselves, nod. They, they just they just sort of, like, briefly sort of, like, pat each other on the shoulders type of thing. Yeah. And uh, Match Marine Night sort of goes up and says, You two. You two are doing good. I hope for the best for you two. Allow yourselves time to heal. And I hope that when the time comes, I have a marriage to officiate. <laughs> and with that, he nods and prepares for the next uh, match and winners. Thanks, little guy. All right. Oh, wait, did we get raided? Oh, no, we didn't. I just saw a bunch of uh, Vs. I thought it was like a, I thought that was a raid phrase. Oh, it was a peace sign. Oh, it was a peace sign. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I thought it was a raid phrase or something. Either way. Um, all right. And with that, um, our first set comes to a close. And God, what a set. Like, it was my a 2 -oh, God. My God, if that wasn't one of the clutchest 2 O's ever. I still I cannot can't... get over that play. I, I can't believe, like, that exhibition match we had set the, like, the pace for, like, the rest of this tournament. My God. Absolutely. We are starting off wild, and I believe there are not going to be any breaks until we make it right to the finish line, folks. Absolutely. So strap in as we prepare for the next round. Before or for the next round, I'll go over the uh, commands again. If you want to draw art of anything that's going on here, because I know that uh, a lot of people really like the characters, we love seeing the art. So if you do exclamation art, it'll take you to the Buru, where we'll be taking a look at the end of the stream, or you can post on Twitter with oh, yeah. hashtag CPUKerFuffle. If you want to see how the bracket's looking, you can take a look at the bracket by going to exclamation mark bracket, typing that in the chat. If you want to donate to this wonderful stream, you are allowed to do so. I won't stop you by typing exclamation mark donate, and you can donate. That's really great. If you want to submit a character for future kerfuffle, you can type exclamation mark submit. It'll take you to the submission page. If you want to go to the Discord and, uh, you know, chat about stuff, we have a special page just for CPU kerfuffle. We have a channel in there just for it. And I know that there are people that are live reacting to it, so hey, assholes. Um, <laughs> and, uh... So, Xmas Bar Discord, thank you there. And if you want to go to the wiki, because a bunch of fans have made a wiki talking about the lore, it's still in development, but overall it's going very, very great so far. You can do exclamation mark wiki and you'll get all the information there. All right. And uh, while we talk about the next round, I'm going to actually prep the uh, overlay real quick. The next one is between Team Cones, which features Hackerman John and. No, that's not Hackerman John, that's Larry. What am I doing? God, sorry, I'm taking care of like 50 things at once. Larry, right here, and Hackerman John. Oh, I just realized there's a little blurb about me in the wiki under commentators. That's cute. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're, oh. they're on it. They um, said I contributed to nearly every match and was a wholly uplifting presence in the commentators box. Yo! Ooh. Don't make me cry. I got <laughs> matches to commentate. <laughs> and in the other corner, we have Team Clutch featuring Google and Alabaster Uppercut. Fuck yeah. Now, um, what do you think about this matchup? Alabaster Uppercut and Google here are powerhouses. They are forces to be contended with. Uh, and that alone, I think, against any other team would make them really, really strong contenders. But that said, the unpredictability here of Hacker Man and Florida Man is not to be trifled with. Uh, with, you know, Hacker Man's ability to, like, change his stats on the fly, and, well, Florida Man's ability to be anything as he chooses when the match starts, I literally think this could be anyone's game. Absolutely. Now, one thing I want to mention about uh, Team Clutch specifically is that um, both these guys don't really have convincing uh, tournament results uh, in their mm. back pocket. However, I don't think that's going to stop them, because I feel like maybe this is going to be a lot less of a... Um, how they are as a character and a lot more of um like uh, how they are as a single team you know right you, you you also have to consider remember last week who didn't have consistent results gordo's revenge true. remember who won last week that's true <laughs> yeah anything can happen today could be the big day and you know what i'm here for it if it is 
All right, almost done. I think right? no matter what happens, this match is going to be buck fucking wild. Absolutely, I'm hoping it goes to three. All right, Team Cones of Larry and Hackerman John versus Team Clutch of Alabaster Uppercut and Google, round one. Make some noise in the stands, folks. Where are we going for this next match? Also, I realize it doesn't... Wait, actually, hold on a second. I need... Actually, wait, I think if I put it as Larry. I noticed that there isn't a character thing for Larry. I think if I just do Larry, it'll... There we go. We are back here at the at the meat grinder, the Sheikah Tower. Also, I realize that the uh, names are a little bit cut off, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, it's fine. We are back over here. Ooh, and it looks like a uh, Larry got nest this time. Very, very mm -hmm. interesting. Let's see how this ends up working. Ooh, it looks like he's using the best of his ability already. Mm -hmm. He's he's got those moves that lock you in place, which is perfect for setups here, bouncing up against the uh the tiny roof here, as we saw in our exhibition, disorienting, and a great way to rack up damage unless your opponent can really get off those ukemis. Absolutely. And right now, looks like we're just trying to find a KO, and there's the first one with Google getting knocked out by Larry. Clean! Out he goes! Ooh, um, a very interesting choice from um from a hacker man switching over to Buster. <laughs> um, I'm guessing just trying to get a bit of extra chip damage on these guys to finish the job. Mm. And with that, Alabaster Ooh. gets knocked out. Drifting clean out to space. And right now, uh, Alabaster Uppercut and Google have yet to find a kill. They're just mm. on the hunt for it. But I think that uh, between, <laughs> oh, I thought they, I thought he was gonna blast himself. <laughs> between, I think they... between. Between the sword and um, Larry's projectiles, I think it's just going to be really rough for them to get in. Mm-hmm. They, they have had so much damage racked up against them. It's it's wild that it took this long for one of them get, to get knocked out. Uh, yeah. Ness, of course, still in it, and but getting hurled up Barely as much surviving as they the can, but Larry part. refuses to die today. Oh, got, getting the smash art up. Very Ooh, interesting. Smash mode out. This could be it for Google. Oh, I don't even Ooh. know what happened there, but it lost. But there goes a the stock for Larry. Putting them at even there, stocks, I but know. the damage is speaking volumes, tell you that much. Mm -hmm. it, it seems like the trade here is uh, one team gets the double KO, but then the other one uh, has tons of damage racked up on them, so it's easy to catch up. Ooh, it's, John, it's a lot of give and take here. Hackerman John almost getting the double kill, and Larry. Google act, not Larry, knocking Google, out actually, Alabaster, Alabaster Uppercut. My goodness. It's All right. four stock versus two. Things are looking grim for Alabaster and Google. Absolutely. They're going in. It looks like right now they're just doing their best. Mm-hmm. They are holding on, but my God, it is hard for them to get in and do some work with that big, meaty uppercut. Absolutely. Okay. Ooh. Oh, God. That was actually a pretty nice little uh, parry from mm -hmm. Alabaster Uppercut. Google was going for the distraction play there, taking the brunt of that fireball, but making sure that Larry and Hackerman John took that with them. Uh, a very bold and risky move. Absolutely. Ooh, getting a counter off as um, Larry gets knocked out, leaving Hackerman, the John as the, leaving Hackerman John as the last character with one stock left, but nevertheless, it's gonna be a pretty difficult to uh, for a team clutch to bring in this back, but mm -hmm. anything can happen. As the up tilt knocks out Google. What an up tilt. Lord. Google. Alabaster Uppercut looked like a pinball. Getting bounced around like it's goddamn Tuesday. Even though it's Monday. It isn't sometimes, Owens. True. <laughs> okay. Wow, Alabaster. all right. Alabaster doing what he can to bring it back. Let's see if he can come in. Nope. <laughs> Alabaster saying, never say die. <laughs> and and then, then immediately die. here. Larry out here going, okay, I don't need you to say anything, though. <laughs> True. All right, with well, that round, it looked like uh, Team Cones was pretty dominant. Mm-hmm. They held on fast and strong between, like, the, the sort of outranging with the sword on Hackerman John and uh, Larry with the luck of the draw having a ton of, like, the projectile control game. Mm -hmm. They were able to rack up damage so much easily, and the other team did not have enough tools to hold them off when they went in for the kill. Absolutely. I mean, then again, this time might be the one that changes it, though, because, again, Larry can be anything. What Larry can get a character that just gets hard countered by all this. Only one way to find mm -hmm. out, right? So with that, let's move on to... Let's not waste any time. Let's go to round two. Team Cones versus Team Clutch. 
As usual, I'm very excited to see what we see out of Larry. Larry lands mm -hmm. on Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, we have the speed and the need going Absolutely. in immediately on everyone on the field. I think right now this whole this whole set has just been Larry flexing his Wi-Fi skills. <laughs> Our bold and brave Wi-Fi warrior, Absolutely. holding Ooh. fast and strong against Google, those who would Google seek to lay more low. Google getting some powerful double hits. Mm -hmm. Getting off those big attacks. Uh, racking in a lot of damage against the red team here, which is going to put in work if they can just move in on them. Uh, hard to move in, though, against someone quite that fast and wily, but True. not terribly heavy, not too much staying power if they can't keep oh. up with the keep away. Ooh. And this and the smash art knocks out all but the, but the, it pays them right back as Team Cone is in the lead. <laughs> with one God, I can't even, ahead. I can't even say anything. This is just nuts. I'm telling you, doubles tournaments are so much fun to commentate because mm -hmm. there's so much going on all the time. All the time? All the time. <laughs> all the time, every day. And, and uh, Alabaster Uppercut finally loses the stock, which putting them at even stocks completely. But right now, um, oh god, advantage was had. It. Oh no, but Alabaster Uppercut doesn't grab the ledge. Ooh, that's going to leave a mark on their chances, folks. Absolutely, it's not a very not a very good death to have. A great commentary from the crowd here. Roxa Crocker says, like Sonic, this match is moving fast. Absolutely. Ooh, getting the focus through the backslash. Mm -hmm. Very, That's very uh, good work with that super armor, but is it going to be enough to keep him in? Absolutely. He's, he's got to stay on his toes, Alabaster. He's also got to try and stop taking as many hits as he can uh, while racking up as much as he can. Absolutely. Say what you will about Alabaster Uppercut. He's got instinct. He's got some good instincts when, mm -hmm. when push comes to shove. He's strong. He holds his ground. He's got plenty of options to, like, keep his head in the game. It's just a matter of him using the right tools. Absolutely. Uh, Google... Looking a little rough around the edges here, though. I mean, I think he, he opened the game pretty well, although it doesn't always mm -hmm. work out the same way. A right, very strong start, but if you burn the candle from both ends, it just melts twice as fast. True. And, uh, oh, we have an SD from Larry. Ooh. Uh-oh, we have Smash Art up. Anything can happen. And the thing that happens is Hacker Man gets knocked out by Alvest <laughs> Replicant! We are about even We're all in last stock, although Alabaster's got a slight got, disadvantage for Alba Alabaster. Mm -hmm. Alabaster's got a little bit of a disadvantage. He's gotta stay in it and to try to keep alive for his teammate. Mm-hmm. Putting in some goddamn work though at over a hundred percent damage and holding steadfast. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he gets footstool keeping alive. Ooh, footstool doesn't quite finish him off. off. The damage racking up on the red team. Oh, and with that, Alabaster Rep gets knocked out. Ooh. Google's leaving just Google. To, Google's gonna have to put in some work to keep this up, but I think he can. If he Anything can happen. Right. Trying to go bait out those counters, but it's not enough with the Buster out. Oh, Buster is a very, very scary uh, thing to have out right now, especially if you're, mm -hmm. especially if you're Google right now. Oh, but the All counter. Alone, the meaty counter. You do kind of love oh, to wait. see it as the thing. Oh, I thought that was gonna knock out. I thought that was gonna knock out Larry. Mm, that was real close. I was kind of hoping for it. Oh no! Honest. Oh, and that does. Oh. I, thought, I thought Larry knocked out a uh, Hacker Man for a second there. And with two rounds, Larry and Hacker Man are taking it. All right, absolutely. And another two. Whoa. Uh, we go down in the field. And it looks like uh, Google's looking. Kind of like really upset about this, looking over to Alabaster saying something like, a, I'm so sorry for, um, I'm so sorry about failing you. We'll do better next time. And Alabaster just sort of goes, Dude, what are you talking about? I was worse than you were, man. You were way better. <laughs> you kicked ass. And you know what? You're right. We are going to win. But hey. Hell yeah. But hey, in the heat of battle, how'd you feel, man? He goes, uh, it was pretty, it was, it was fun. Good, then you're doing great. He gives a thumbs up as uh, they prepare for their loser's bracket match. Fuck yeah. All right. You truly love to see it, folks. Absolutely. And with that, we have another 2-0. Hopefully we uh, get some 3-0s, uh, uh, not 3-0s. <laughs> Hope we get some round threes at some point. But either way, all these matches have been absolutely fantastic to see. Mm-hmm. 
All right, uh, let's see. Who is next on the chopping block? Probably shouldn't say it like that, but I'm gonna. All right, coming next. In one corner, we have Dr. Order. <laughs> and where the hell is Roy's? Icon. Wait, no, not Roy's icon. Shulk. Uh, who? Shulk. Okay, oh, you're right. That no. Oh, you were being hidden. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> and Captain Quadratic versus Bing. I didn't even notice this. And <laughs> Mozilla. Before the match starts, uh, Bing sort of looks across to Dr. Orton and says, Hey, how's it going? Remember, uh, remember me? Dr. Orton's just like, Yes, yes, I do. I, I do remember you, Dr. I do remember you. <laughs> why, why, why did I say that she's going to call him Dr. Order? Yes, I do remember you, Bing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, for context, I'm not sure if you were there for it, but, um... Uh, Bing Google is actually based off of Bing's DNA after mm -hmm. um, Doctor Order fought Bing and lost. <laughs> Wild. So this is a very very funny rematch. Very silly silly rematch. Mm -hmm. All right. So judging by that, how do you think it's gonna turn out while I uh, fill out the thing? Now, uh, Doctor Doctor Order here and her perfect hubby uh, talk a strong game. Uh, and they certainly, well, at least Dr. Order has the results to back that up. Uh, but Bing uh, here is tenacious and has irons in the fire. And for that reason, I think he's going to be fighting twice as hard. Uh, Captain Quadratic is a sexy robot and Mozilla is a funny animal. Uh, so he's got bio, he's got bio, he's got uh, biological material in there somewhere. <laughs> also, I realize I haven't entered... Um... I haven't entered this guy into the thing. Which color are you? Are you the third one? I think you're the third one, right? No, you're the fifth one. Okay, cool. I'm gonna make sure I got it right. Okay, I realize I hadn't entered him into the uh, into the thing yet. All right. So in one corner we have Team Caliber, and on the other corner we have Team Cash Money. Let's see who'll take it. Round one. I'm thinking it's gonna go to three. I'm thinking that we're gonna get some surprises. I think that Captain Quadratic, since he is made from Captain Valentine's DNA. Is gonna have like a lot of sauce in there, mm -hmm. but um, he's he's got that good broth. He's got that great stock. Mm -hmm. He's whiffing a lot of hits right at the start, though. <laughs> yeah, as as he just gets up tilted over and over again by Mozilla, mm -hmm. landing a single Falcon kick, and really that's about it. I'm keeping my eye on him, though. <laughs> yeah, um, may, may, I mean Mozilla's just really good at dodging. Mm -hmm. Mozilla running laps around him, uh, showing him who the superior browser is, even though Captain Quadratic isn't one of those. True. <laughs> he is. Well, he isn't a browser. True. Although I think that uh, they do have a bit of they have a bit of uh, salt with Doctor Order since she made mm -hmm. Google, and they, from what I can tell, they don't seem to like Google that much. Anyway, browser being... is the one with the spikes on his shell. I hope this helps. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Browser the Krupeling. Oh, oh, I shell. got it. I got it. Nice browser. I get it. All right. Anyway, sorry. I just didn't. Okay. Either way. <laughs> All right. And it looks like right now, um, a very interesting take. Right now, Mozilla is actually pulling through with some crazy stuff, staying alive pretty mm -hmm. well. Although, Bing has lost a stock. So mm -hmm. that's something that's a very interesting sort of dynamic. We have to keep going there. Right now, they just but need we to get do a kill. Have a ton of damage on the red team, though. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. They just need to land a kill. One wrong move and they're out. And oh, Captain Quadratic sending <laughs> and Doctor Order out and then following her summarily. God, <laughs> Doctor Order is probably a little bit tired of having her own creations kill her over and over again. But <laughs> maybe she's used to it by now. Who knows? <laughs> All right, he's never going left. to disappoint her like every other creation and every other man ever has. Absolutely, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Captain Quadratic knocking out. Oh, and getting knocked and out. And then was knocking that a himself out. <laughs> was, that a, was that a footstool? I think that was a footstool. Lordy. Oh, my God. Parried it. 
Mm-hmm. Bing is like none of that's done nonsense. Bing's getting knocked out, but he's also not here to play around. The stocks are almost reset with uh, Doctor Order almost out of there. Exactly, but right now, um, Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> Captain Quadratic going right for Doctor Order's throat. What is going on here? Is it just a natural order to beat up Doctor Order? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Huh? I'm just, I'm just saying. Doctor Order made Captain oh, Quadratic to Bing know is... everything about her and to like literally know every single thing there is to know about Doctor Order. He immediately starts going to attack her. I feel like that says something about Doctor Order, but I'm not maybe, sure maybe. Maybe. Uh, right now, B uh, Mozilla has a big, uh, big uh, hill to climb on this if uh, he wants to win. But oh, almost knocking out Doctor Order again. Mm -hmm. And with that, I think there that was Doctor Order that finished the job. Even with all those self-destructs and team damage, uh, they still pull it off. Absolutely, with Team Calibur taking the first stock. Uh, Dr. Order is sort of, um, looking over at, um, Captain, um, <laughs> at Captain Quadratic right now, as Captain Quadratic says, Great job, babe! Your butt looks very good during that fight! And he gives <laughs> a very... <laughs> and, <laughs> and Dr. Order is just sort of looking on with, like, like... A mix of bewilderment, exhaustion, and just confusion, and, <laughs> and also just general annoyance. Yeah. She's just experiencing. She she's basically looking at him with the fucking um, math equation meme face. Yeah. <laughs> God. All right. All right, and with that, uh, Toon Caliber takes round one. <laughs> round two. Not waste any time as we move on to round two. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. All right. Looks like we have a lot of uh, a lot of things are happening. That's for damn sure. Is they just they're just firing off right now. Red team immediately going all out aggression here, landing a lot of hits here on 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 Firefox, Mozilla. I'm getting the names wrong. It's all right. <laughs> so it's okay. Sorry. Same same I'm deal. Bing and Mozilla. <laughs> same deal. <laughs> but they're they're making a strong comeback. Things are looking just about even up here as we go to the front of Delfino Plaza and take right off again for another cruise around. Bingo. Just going around Delfino Plaza, nice little summer spot. Mm. And right now things are like really even. Whole lot of trades going on. Not a lot of moving and shaking quite yet, but it yeah, looks nothing, like it's about to be Nothing more strong, than but there's that. Ooh, that's sending Ooh. people flying. That's a DBZ moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the ether really hitting Captain Quadratic on the landing. Dr. Orr salutes the sun before Captain Quadratic tosses it away. Oh, and the catch him in midair. Oh Ooh, my god, the, the double spike. spike. That was disgusting. <laughs> Quadratic sitting there, taking out, knowing that it'll at least get a teammate sent straight to hell. Absolutely. I think that Kevin Quadratic probably finds that worth it. He's like, he's just taking it because, you know, he's just like, I love you. Great job. Great attack, babe. You knocked the enemy straight to hell. I saw it happen. Because I was I, there. <laughs> I was there, true. And, and he says that without, like, a hint of, like, malice or sarcasm. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and then he knocks his ass right in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is actual comedy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we meat match completely by accident. Oh my god. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and it looks like uh, the stocks are still nice and even. That one wasn't... The, for, for once, I think Dr. Order does... It doesn't get the stock taken by uh, the Captain uh, Quadratic. Mm-hmm. That's new. <laughs> <laughs> A wild new development, to be sure. All right. Oh God, I, was, I thought that was about to happen again. And uh, Bing has quite the mountain to climb once again. Are we going to see another 2-0? Oh, it's going to be another 2-0, oh, isn't it? Lordy, lordy. We're I think we might be heading straight for another 2-0, oh, but as soon as I say that, the counter, perilously close to the edge, playing a dangerous game, realizing what he's doing, moving quickly away from it here. But uh, the, the good doctor and captain <laughs> here, I, <laughs> as soon as I say that, of course, she knocks out Captain Quadratic without a second thought. I think but... she's I think she's still like, uh, both stocks, both of Captain Quadratic's stocks have been taken out by Dr. Order. Let that be mm -hmm. known. 
I think I think I think that this is like some sort of like a some sort of a, what's the word parable here. There's a story to be told here. <laughs> this is one of Aesop's fables, I think. <laughs> you cannot create love, <laughs> but you still win. So you know what? Love is something you nurture and grow. It's not something you forge in a lab or smith on a forge. I said True. forge twice, but I don't care. It's all right. You did good. <laughs> all right. And with that, uh, team, team, team caliber takes it to, oh, very, very good. And, um, and cap and Dr. Orr is taking a look over Captain Quadratic, still like a little bit bewildered saying, Hey, um, Never mind. <laughs> she shakes her head, like thinking, oh, that must be a maddening thing. Thank you for the donation. Let me uh, see if Perfect I can get the... timing on that donation sound. $15. From $15 with the message $15. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. If you want to donate as well, you can do XMA Smart Donate and you will donate. Uh, if you want to take the bracket, you can do XMA Smart Bracket and it'll show you the bracket. I know, really self explanatory. If you decide to draw art of these characters in these fun moments, we always love to take a look at the end. You can either post it on the Buru, which you can find by typing an exclamation mark art, or you can post it on Twitter under the hashtag CPU Kerbubble. We will take a look at the end. Um, if you want to submit a character for future Kerbubble, you can submit it using the Google form exclamation mark submit. Uh, we have a Discord. This uh, channel has this, this uh, Twitch channel has Discord along with all the other stuff, all my matchups and stuff. With a CPU Kerbubble channel, you can go there with the exclamation mark Discord. If you want to see lore thus far, the fans have been working on a wiki. And uh, I'm sure if uh, you ask them, they would love the assistance on it if you wish to. I'm not going to speak for them on that, though. Either way, uh, it's a very, very cool thing. You should definitely check it out. And uh, if you do decide to sub, I think I'm getting close to having another emote slot soon. I still need to fill up the Hell one I just yeah. got. Uh, so that would be really, really fantastic. That's in 10 subs. Either way, thank you very much for everything. That being said, you all are fantastic. Thank you all so much for coming along. We have a lot of people here tonight, and hopefully you all are enjoying so far. I know I am. I am too. All right. And with that, team camera does that. I'll prep the next match. In one corner, we have... Twist and... I'm going to find you, I promise. There you are. Chilies! And then the other we have Princess Remedy and Visible Man. All right, so we have a uh, Team Kraken in the Lesbians one corner and the uh, and the uh, relatively newlyweds in the other corner. Uh, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, I mean, I'm biased towards Twist, obviously, because, mm -hmm. like, you get... And I'm biased towards lesbians, so let's go. You know what, yeah, we, have, we know who we're cheering for. Either way, I think, <laughs> either way, I think it's going to be a very nice match, because everything I know about, uh, everything from what we've seen from a uh, Visible Man, like, uh, from where we've heard back in the field, I talked to Squid Jenny about uh, her interaction, she's been chatting with him in the cafe, mm -hmm. um... is that Visible Man and Princess Remedy, they're a very, very wonderful couple. They've been... They've just really been, you know, hitting up really well. Their their sort of uh, relationships are going really smoothly, and seeing them succeed is also something that you love to see. Um, I do love to see it. And I realize that Visible Man and Princess Remedy have not been added to the overlay yet, so let me do that right now. Snake. I said, oh, there it is. And then we have... That said, I do really like Princess Remedy, though. So. <laughs> That's true. Princess Remedy is very, very good. Mm -hmm. I should play those games again. They're a good time. I need to play them at all, because um, I know that ever since I got it, I remember I got the games after it was submitted, and I was like, wow, I'm going to play it, and I never got around to it. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that, we have Team Kraken, Twist and Chilies versus Team Cross, Visible Man, and Princess Remedy. Round one. Swords and Sorcery versus Stealth and the Stars. Who will win it? It's anyone's game as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. Though I am rooting for the gays. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know why Princess Remedy's face isn't showing up on the overlay. But either way, we are hitting the ground running. Didn't make sense. I'm delivered. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. 
so much to do and so much to see, and by God, we've got a match to see right now, don't we, Ryan? Absolutely. The C4 is something you're gonna have to absolutely you know, watch out for, especially in this double situation, because mm -hmm. I know that uh, in the past, um, in the past, uh, he's definitely blown himself up with his own um, C4 before. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a very interesting sort of uh, dynamic we got going on here. Visible Man can set up so many tricks and traps, but it's on him to try and avoid them as much as he can. Uh, we've actually got a lot of like really good ranged power from like every member uh -huh. of this match. Yeah, so we, we got that's nothing gonna to range. Oh, and with that, oh wow, Ooh, it's just dirty one doubler. after another. That's like the, it's the meme with the dude just like holding the gun up to another person and the gun's holding another person that when there's a sniper in the thing. That's basically what that was. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's like a, it's like a, okay, never mind. I'll, I'll show it to you later. Either way. Oh no. It looks like, it looks like there was a bit of, um, looks like there was a little bit of pineappling going on there as mm -hmm. Twist loses another stock. But so, Twist so is really hitting these nerves spots. getting to her. Absolutely. And uh, Twist is absolutely hitting these sweet spots, which is very, very good. Oh, and those, and I'm telling you, those, ooh. ooh I think, uh, Chili yeah, trying it. to hold in strong makes the recovery. Invisible Man hitting the C4, bringing himself back to life. Oh, knocked clean out. But at the same time, both these. versus four. Yeah, but both I of these guys. Corrected. I stand I was about to say, both these guys, both of the blue team has a lot of uh, damage, and Invisible Man only has a little bit longer to live. Like mm -hmm. I said, putting Team Kraken in a stock lead. It is three stock to two now with a st with with the advantage looking firmly on Twist and Chili side here. Absolutely. I mean, hey, anything can happen in CBU Grubble. Mm-hmm. Ooh, trying to fire it off right away, but unfortunately the iframes don't quite affect things. Oh, there's just a lot of madness going on in this ledge, especially considering it's shifting. Mm -hmm. That's a very interesting dynamic. Bit of friendly fire accidentally sending Twist off of the re off of the uh, side. Oh, and the they C4. They bought the whole seats, but they only need the ledge. And right now, it looks like, um, like, uh, we said that it's, like, looking really much in, uh, one team's favor, Team Crackett's favor. But, mm. oh, no, right now, it's looking like anything can happen with, um, Twist having a lot of damage and, yeah. everyone, and completely even stocks. The this balance is, definitely shifting a little bit towards the blue team here, it's but that game. said, it really could go anyone's way. Absolutely. And that C4's looking very scary. As it, oh, the combo's... Dealing a lot of damage to Chili's. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh man, it's dead even right ooh. now. Chili trying to go for a smash attack, but getting knocked away by Princess Remedy. Team Cross has absolutely brought this back. And that C4 is right there, you gotta look out for it. Oh my god, please be careful. There is a bomb on the field, folks. Oh, and he brings this himself back! Man. Saving man himself! Oh, but the thing, oh my god, the, the oh, warrior. Oh, 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 oh. oh, is that going to be enough to take out Princess Remedy? Princess Remedy's going to take them both out as the as the uh, warrior. Oh, and the spike. With the downward boot. Holy hell. <laughs> Lord. I didn't Princess, know who was going to win that until last second. Princess Remedy was out here trying to avenge her man, and Chili's looked her straight in the eye and said, Hi, motherfucker. Welcome to my girlfriend. <laughs> Bingo, fucking bango! Was that a was that a hit into the into the uh, thing or? Uh... I believe it was. I'll have to I'll have to see it again. But nice. Also, uh, a bunch of people noticed that uh, their victory poses were very much synced. They have matching poses <laughs> right now. That's so good. They practiced <laughs> yeah. they practiced that beforehand. Just so you know, they they absolutely did. This uh, is this splendid. is just the thing that gay women do when they're in love. <laughs> absolutely, and Team Kraken is up one zero. Fuck yeah. You truly love to see it. And love is in the air. You know, I was gonna say like uh like we'd be seeing another 2-0, but like that that didn't look like it was a definitive win on mm -hmm. Team Kraken's part. I think that, that was Team close. Cross could get a win. Team Cross could easily get a win here. Like like some of these matches have been like very clear stomps or like a very sudden shift in like momentum. Yeah. This was neck and neck the whole way through. Absolutely. And I can't wait to see how it turns out. I can't. I hope that we get just as good of a match round two. In fact, I hope to see it go to round three. Hell yeah! Then again, I love always to see it. Then again, I always say that when my girl twist is on on screen. <laughs> yeah. I just want any excuse I can get to see more of my girls. True. Uh, I will say for those of you who are uh, uninformed, I have a group of um, 
the Team Kraken, a lot of members of Team Kraken are based on a group of original characters I've known as the Red Kraken. Yeah! Um, they're a bunch of pirates. They're named after, um, named after dance moves. And Twist is actually one of the emotes. Um, and ironically, uh, her emote is the one where uh, she has hearts in her eyes. So that's very good for this one. However, oh, um, wow. however, as a note, I just want to say this for the sake of straightening up the lore. Uh, in the original story, um, uh, in the story of the Red Kraken, I do plan on the uh, twist probably being more so like ace leaning. However, sure. when we started up this tournament, a bunch of people shipped them, so I figured, you know what, this is an AU, we can make it work. <laughs> yeah. Either way, round two! Hey, you can be ace and still be in love with someone. True! Alright, let's go! Three, two, one, Alright. Alright. Visible man coming right in with the kept you waiting gambit, and Absolutely. it looks like they have been waiting. Yeah, and a lot of damage right now on um, a lot of damage on a uh, Chili's right off the bat, mm -hmm. and also a lot of really risky moves on um, Visible Man's part and placing the C4 just amidst everybody and just going for it. I'm guessing Princess oh, Remedy uh, knows all about that's a plan. That's probably planned between the two of them. Like that's definitely. not yeah, this because I don't definitely don't see any like um any like you know the ebbs of like oh, what the frick, babe. Yeah, like, they've they, they've they've been together for a long time. They know they know that accidents are bound to happen, but they've also got a good enough understanding of each other mm -hmm. that they have choreography. Absolutely, and with that, Chili's and Princess Remedy are the first to go. And out oh, and the down oh. smash just knocking out Visible Man. Ooh, I'll catch with him a on powerful that. downward explosion, it mm -hmm. looks like Twist is on the ropes. But Abs staying in strong, keep playing the keep away game here. Absolutely. It's putting in work. She's still in it. Absolutely. Twist trying to put as much. Oh my god. Twist doing as much as she can before <laughs> losing the stock and knocking out Princess Remedy with a Princess gross Remedy spike. Sent straight out of the rainbow ride, sent right back to Peach's castle. Absolutely. God. Twist has been getting some disgusting spikes already. Mm -hmm. She is on Absolutely her game today. Foul, and I kind of dig it. Uh huh. And, Girl, uh, teach me. Whoa! That combo! Did you see that? That was a, that was a, that was a classic Zelda combo. My god. Twist showing her stuff. She is not messing around today. Mm-hmm. She has a lot to prove, and by god, she's going to prove it. Absolutely. And with that, uh, a huge lead for Team Kraken right now. Mm -hmm. Only getting Ooh. bigger as Chili's knocks it out. Princess Remedy out of it mm -hmm. for good. God, it's we might take... not be getting to see that game three, Ryan. Yeah, nah. I think. Uh... Oh my God, <laughs> that was a routing. <laughs> that was that was dis... <laughs> they did it again. <laughs> Jesus, a victory for women everywhere. What a just absolute destruction. Invisible Man and Princess Remedy didn't even stand a chance everywhere. as they got just knocked into losers. Mm -hmm. All right, with that, every single match so far has been a 2-0. Who will be brave enough to break the curse first? <laughs> Bless me. Bless you. All right. Anyway, with that, we finished uh, the first set of matches, which means we are going into loser's bracket. Y'all, this is their last chance to stay in, so let's get that going. Um, I'll set up the next round, and while I'm setting up the next round, you guys know the drill. Exclamation mark bracket to find the bracket. If you want to see the, um, if you want to see the, if you want to post artwork, post it on exclamation mark art, or post it on Twitter, hashtag CPU kerfuffle. Um, you know the deal. I'm, uh, just getting everyone. Exclamation stuff. point submit if you want to submit Thank new you. characters to a kerfuffle. Exclamation point donate if you want to support my boy Ryan for the wonderful things he does and works on here. Exclamation point discord if you want to join his discord community. Exclamation point wiki if you want to check out the CPU kerfuffle wiki, a work in progress with tons of work put into it. Exclamation point bucket if you want to see a picture of a bucket. Exclamation That's point nice. holly if you want to know how I'm doing. And exclamation point <laughs> secret, I can't tell you what it does. That's it's up to you to find out which of those I made up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a lot of experimentation about to happen in the chat. <laughs> Man, people are really, You know, I have to add Bucket now. Just as a, just as a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, 
I know exactly what I'm gonna do, hold on. Hold on, give me just a second. Take your time. Uh, I'm still set up some stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me just test it real quick. All right, cool. <laughs> Fuck yes. Open up the link. <laughs> Great fucking choice, my man. Uh, but for those of you that don't know, it's this. Yep. This is a bucket. <laughs> Oh, man. Now I just have that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> good. Good. And that's what, uh, and that's what, um, Visible Man says to Princess Remedy as they move on to lose his bracket. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is a bucket. <laughs> All right. There's yeah. more. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God. There's more. No. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, oh, God, good shit. <laughs> I don't know if this is because I've built up a tolerance or if this is because I like <laughs> ate immediately before drinking this, but I'm feeling I'm feeling good, but not like super silly like last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all about it's all about you know taking your time. Anyway, in one corner we have Dad and Dorf, and we have a uh, hamburger helper representing Team Chunk, and the other one we have. Fast, where are you? Alabaster uppercut and Google. Google. <laughs> also, I just thought it was a really good meme. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> I can imagine Google just being like, huh, "All right, so it looks like we'll be all fine, so long as no one's teleported bread." Alabaster. Question. What? What's your question, Alabaster? I teleported bread. You what? You told me to teleport bread, so I teleported bread. How much? I've done nothing but teleport bread for the last three days. <laughs> yes! Oh no, we're just we're just making custom vine compilations with our with the CB Corrupt characters. Oh no! <laughs> we're just we're just making the final TF2 comic, but like in a stream. <laughs> oh, alright. Alright, so yeah, no, now we're just gonna be uh now we're just gonna be making memes about all the characters. Uh -huh. Finally, meme videos. I can't believe of all the things that had meme videos made of it first, it's gonna be fucking CPU kerfuffles. Anyway. Thank God. <laughs> Round one. Team Chunk versus Team Clutch. Very good. And here we go. How come Google's face is not showing up in the back? They are taking it to Jungle Japes. Uh, I guess we're just not gonna see his face. Whatever. This thing is uh, not perfect either way. But what is perfect is the common question to confuse the name. Bam. No. Um. <laughs> right now they're really showing their stuff. The thing is, like, uh, I feel like, I feel like, um, especially Google's gonna do very good against these really big bodies, especially with mm -hmm. like um, Hamburger Helper. That sword. He's just gonna go in and he's just gonna go like attack. With, with like some decent range, some hard hitting moves on both Google and Alabaster here, good at holding their ground, getting in some serious damage uh, against enemies that are overwhelmingly strong but large and slow. It looks like Team Chong might have a bit of a struggle here, Absolutely. as Hamburger well, Helper goes for a bit desperately of trying to get out of the rapids. Oh no! They tried to do a combo, but they just oh. barely miscalculated. As and Hamburger Helper is it. launched. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not every- they, they've been trying for these combos, and they don't always stack up the way you remember them, you know? But my god, when it works, it works. You know it. You know, you saw us pop off. All right. <laughs> and that right now, uh, Google's just trying to go in and- Oh no, but that's gonna Ooh. knock that out. Across the ground and out goes Alabaster. All right. A lot of power. Uh, right now, Den- it uh, looks like a uh, team of clutch right now just is trying to take out that the stock from uh, Dadendorf, while at the same time, a uh, team of clutch is probably trying to take out Google. So let's see which one of those two things happens first. Uh, I saw a couple folks uh, in the chat asking if there were any canonically transgender characters. In yes, the answer is yes. Uh, Squid Jenny is canonically trans. Good for her. 
absolutely. Good for her. Uh, also, you might want to tune in next week, maybe. Maybe. Ooh. Or maybe <laughs> not next week, next next, next time. Yeah, next maybe. time this happens. Yeah, depending on which one I pick. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. I'm missing <laughs> And with that, it looks like, uh, oh man, it looks like we have a pretty big lead for Team Chonk right now. As just damage keeps on building. Because right now, right now, the biggest problem right now is just, I think, Alabaster Uppercut, mm -hmm. you just can't deal with these rapids. Like, we saw mm -hmm. him earlier trying to swim, and it just wasn't working out for him. If... The, 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 the Whoa! Real that was a here. cool combo there, Team Hell Clutch. Hell yeah. The real limiting factor here does seem to be the rapids. Mm -hmm. uh, with Team Chonk, with their, like, heavy weight and lesser recoveries, having trouble getting out of the water if they get knocked into it. But Alabaster Uppercut also struggling to swim himself. Uh, Google, no idea if he was made to be buoyant, uh, but he looks seems like to be he's doing okay job so far. Ooh, that smash attack is very, very scary if, if you're on the top platform there. Cause he can just mm -hmm. throw that sword out and it's just like, hey, if you're, hey, just a quick vibe check if you're here. And you fail that <laughs> vibe check, it don't feel very good. And, uh, oh, feel bad. Lordy, Hamburger Helper just staying alive. Doing his goddamn best. Holding on with almost 200%. There is a rage brewing inside of him. And if he can keep in it, he is going to unleash it. And right now, and uh, the Rapids oh. just carry away Alabaster, leaving Google to fend for himself on all this. Yeah, it's all down to Google. You've got a powerful dad and an absolutely angry pile of meat. Absolutely. <laughs> and one stock is taken. It's going to take a lot more for uh, Google to finish the job, but anything can happen. It is two to one. Google has a chance, but it is looking grim for him. Absolutely. All right. Oh, yeah, no. He's getting juggled. This is just practice for these guys. Mm-hmm. But anything can happen. Ooh, with a funny footstool just to, you know, show that he's still got the sass going. Oh, and he gets taken away by the rapids. Oh, he could take this back, although it just takes really hard from Dadendorf to finish the job. Dadendorf has got to hold his ground, stay out of those waters, and just land one clean hit, and he's uh, got this. Oh! 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 No. The Google speed oh. here is oh. really going to get Oh, and that up smash is going to do it! And with a powerful cleave of his fat blade... Google's out. Google is knocked out, but all's bring it to the end. I think that uh, if we rule out these rapids, we're gonna see a lot better of a fight. Mm -hmm. So that round one goes to Team Dad, Team Chonk. Taking very good advantage of their surroundings here uh, to effectively eliminate uh, half of the other team. Well done on their part. Absolutely. All right, and with that being said, let's not waste any time. Let's just dive right into round two because it looks like Right now, the old couple's got their uh, sort of uh, fires going a little bit. Mm -hmm. But let's see if uh, Team Clutch can clutch something out. Round two. Old flames versus budding new friendships. Let's see what happens here in CPU Kerfuffle. And might I say, man, I love Monkey Watch. <laughs> All right. Already opening up with some crazy damage everywhere. I don't even know who's in the lead. It's just it's just kind of just dealing hits to one another. But it looks like right now it's leading towards Team Clutch, if anything. Yeah, no, a Hamburger Helper's taking a beating. Ooh. Oh, and just a fully charged up smash there? And Hamburger Helper's getting knocked out bursting. early. My goodness, As a very strong start. Oh, uh, but then immediate SD from Alabaster Uppercut. Alabaster Uppercut with a very nice damage amount immediately hurdles away into the drink. Uh, yeah. Cannot swim, cannot make it back to the platform. Oh, and that F-Smash knocks out Google, leaving the only person with one, uh, with three lives left uh, being Dadendorf. Holding on strong, refusing to budge even an inch. Oh, Hamburger Helper has collected quite a collection of damage. So mm -hmm. he definitely isn't damage tanking, that's for sure. <laughs> We have Team Team Huge here, uh, ranking up a lot of damage on their end, but uh, able to really hold in with that. Uh, couldn't use the rage to their advantage as long as they play their cards right. Absolutely. Oh, oh and that Google. knocks out Dadendorf, putting us in even stocks, never mind. Smash. No more even stocks as Hamburger Helper's taken out. Oh, oh God, that stanky, stanky leg, leg scared me. Missing. Stanky leg, more like scary leg. <laughs> The socks are once again even. Alabaster Uppercut thinking he could dance around the old man, and the old man shows him he's still got some new tricks up his sleeve. Absolutely. He's saying, you want to dance? You should join Team Kraken. 
jokes. <laughs> anyway. You want to play the spacing game? I'll show you some spacing. Here's a big old fat blade. You want to see space? All right, I'll oblige. Up smash. Straight to the stars with you. All right, and with that, uh, Google just can't quite recover. Oh, tries to <laughs> tries to get a counter, but unfortunately doesn't quite land the read. With the stocks three to two and the damage packing in on uh, Team Chong here, uh, things are looking even enough, but my oh, no! god. Ah! What just happened? What just happened? Did I? Oh shit, I changed scene. You sure did. Sorry about that. That was a completely <laughs> different scene. I, I I was like, I was I was hyped and I accidentally clicked. I'm sorry, that bracket was from uh, a previous kerfuffle. I'm so sorry about that. Holy shit, the double kill! I thought you did that on purpose. No, I did not. That was an accident. Okay, okay, whatever. I'm sorry Once about that. Again, Holy shit, wait, Google might take this. Once Google, again, we've got Google, Google versus Dadendorf, the swordsmen themselves, uh, here to show oh, uh, whether the mastery of the short blade or the broadsword is what's going to take it today. Ooh, baiting out the counter and following up with Oh the no! Oh, heartbreaking. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, and with that, another 2-0. Wow, we're just loaded with 2-0s today. <laughs> Team Chunk hungry for it, clawing and slashing their way back. Google sort of uh, groans a little bit for a moment, just goes, <sighs> Alabaster goes, Hey, you, you almost knocked out with that guy. That was awesome, man. Dude, when you did that F, when you did that forward smash and you took out both of them at once, that was so awesome, dude. Gives him like a really good thumbs up and a pat on the back. Goes, yeah. Now, come on, let's go get some pot. Let's go get some spaghetti. Wait, <laughs> you, you can eat spaghetti, right? Yeah, I was, I was, I, yeah, I can do that. All right, spaghetti time. And they go and eat spaghetti. And with that, they are out of the tournament. And the power of their friendship might not have been enough to carry them through, but the power of spaghetti is more than enough to get them to another day. Ain't that the truth? All right, hopefully this time as I'm replacing stuff, I don't show a random screen <laughs> i kind of want spaghetti now what was that uh i'm trying to remember what that bracket was i think it was like um at one point i was trying to do a thing where um oh i remember what it was i had like a special screen just for the bracket wait no that mm -hmm. actually had like a visual bracket let me see real quick yeah no this was like uh i think in like six i was planning on doing like a a, a big uh, bracket thing but i never got around to doing it mm -hmm. because a it didn't fit all of them on there and it was just like eh, not worth and plus i've had to move everything so i was like not worth it so anyway. I don't know if this, this is the case for like the stream or if this is just the case for like, the side stream you're doing, but when you cut to that yeah, bracket, the music stops. Dead silence. Yeah, dead and silence. It's just, like What's happening? Oh, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I think oh, that was God. um I'm trying to remember, I think that was CV Corporal 6? Either way. Yeah, it's because uh, the uh, the video capture device isn't installed, so mm -hmm. well it's not a part of it. Alright. We're moving on in loser's bracket, and we are doing in one corner, we have Bing and Mozilla versus yeah, I know a puppy. It's a puppy. Uh, let me a spray puppy. that. Baby. Visible man. Where are you? There it is. And I'm gonna have to wait. I'll, I'll take care of the dog in a second because she is just yapping and yapping. Princess Remedy! Alright, let me deal with that dog. You guys get a free waltz cam because she's being a bastard. Baby. Hey, did you know? Bastard Originally, spotted. CPU Kerfuffle was going to have a graphical bracket. Several HUD elements were found in the game's code, but were unused. Did you know? CPU Kerfuffle was originally going to have a doggy. The doggy's name was Waltz and was very cute. And she is baby. Did you know, sometimes day. dogs can be picked up and kissed on the head. Mm -hmm. I know that one. Ah, <laughs> okay. Um, let me put this baby down. Did you know, I can see you through the screen. <laughs> I can't actually do that. They don't let me. Until dawn, dub. Plot. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers you... for part three of Until Dawn, I suppose. Did you know, Reaper's behind you. Uh-oh! <laughs> All right, uh, let me just uh, set this up real quick. Bing. 
and Mozilla versus Princess Remedy and Invisible Man. Uh, so what do you think about this matchup? Who do you think is going <laughs> to win it all? I feel like uh, Princess Remedy, Invisible Man, you know, after that showing, as hard as they did, wasn't enough. They really want to, like, make a comeback here. They got that going for them. Plus, they've got really good chemistry and choreography. I feel like that gives them, like, an inherent advantage here against Bing and Mozilla, who don't really seem to be in this because they care about each other. They just seem to be in this for convenience, and that's... I don't know how well they're going to perform yeah. because of that, Ryan. Um, let me see. Uh, wait, they're making they're making an announcement. Real, wait, hold on a second. Uh, Bing and Mozilla are actually moving to the center of the stage. Real oh? Quick, center of the arena. As if calling for attention. Um, okay. Okay. Um, Mozilla, Mozilla is picking up the microphone. And he's saying, Hello, everyone. Uh, you might know us, Mozilla and Bing. We would just like all of you to know that we are absolutely madly in love and we love each other and we love each other. Yeah, love. We love each other so much. It's, uh, every day we love each it's other. Romantic. And we are dating. I gave him a peck on the forehead this morning and I said, man, I love you. One time I even hugged him and held his hand. That's love. I, I did blush when that happened. He makes my heart feel... Uh, that's the end of my statement. Very well put, honey. Anyway, we just Thanks, wanted to babe. remind you all that we are in love, and every moment that you are not looking at us, we are probably kissing. Similar you to don't... a weeping angel from Doctor Who, except instead of, like, disappearing and attacking, it is kissing. Because that's our you... favorite show that we watch when we're in love, which is that's always... True. You always hog the popcorn, don't you, sweetie? Oh, babe. Ha 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 ha. I want you to know they're completely straight-faced when they're saying all of this. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to we're going to do this now. Yeah, it's time for the, the, the match. I will say, as a character beat, uh, Bing is usually a lot more emotive than this. However, he just doesn't know how to... He isn't, he's just really bad at lying. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> like, like in the previous turn, in the turn where he first showed up, he was, like, super emotive. But, like, he's just really terrible at lying. And this is what, like, what he does when he tries to lie. He's, like, got his teeth clenched and his fists closed the whole time. He's, like, standing square like a box. He he's been he's been whispering no homo under his breath after every single <laughs> sentence. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> All right, we have Team Cash Money being a Mozilla versus Team Cross Prince Remedy Invisible Man round one. <sighs> God. Welcome once again to the stage of history, folks. Three, two, and we're taking it to New go. Donk City. Oh, are you ready for a show? Born ready. Now, it's once again, as we, as we mentioned in the first one, we're going to have to just be really careful about where those C4s end up because um, mm -hmm. they will s go off on their own if you're not careful. And um, mm -hmm. and especially on a space like this where they will move. So you got to be really, really careful. Yeah, Visible Man can get afford to get really tricky with his bomb placements here. Yeah. Uh, can set up all kinds of goof shit uh, yeah. that, that's going to be really hard to react to on the fly. One thing I'll notice is that I did notice that... Um, Mozilla seems very cognizant of where these C4s are, mm -hmm. um, which is surprising, especially in a uh, 2v2, because in doubles, it's even harder to keep track of everything. Right, um, right. Oh, man, and with that, uh, Mozilla hits the ground running, I think. Well, that was a that was a visible man. Oh, what the fuck happened there? Ooh, I don't visible. know what happened to Mozilla there. I think Mozilla is still trying to figure, trying, still trying to get his bearings a little bit. Mm -hmm. But with two stocks down, that's going to be real hard to catch up. Mm -hmm. All right. the, red, the red team is going to have to pull something off real fast if they uh, really want to stay contenders here. Oh, and he barely lands on the platform as it gets becomes tangible. Ooh, hoo, hoo, Visible hoo, man hoo. barely living. And you're telling me these people aren't on Team Clutch. My God. For real. Ooh. And with that, uh, Bing loses his first stock and so does Princess Remedy. Right now, the uh, stock advantage is probably speaking miles, but anything can happen here. Never and mind. there goes... Has a chance for a share stock. Doesn't seem to be taking it though. All right. Just, just going What's... to let Bing do it himself, I suppose. Nope. Nope. He comes there we back. go. 
needed a sec to just he o he wait he waited oh. until he knew that Bing was about to die. <laughs> he wanted the stage all to himself. He, he didn't want he want to risk fighting next to him to so in case people thought he was gay or something. <laughs> uh. Mozilla like clutching uh Bing's fucking like battered knocked out like body and just going. Sorry, Bing. If this looks gay to the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Mozilla's like, Mozilla's like, fellas, is it gay to take your teammate's stock? I mean, I mean you're, you're li literally pledging your life to another man. <laughs> Sounds pretty gay to me. <laughs> uh. Jesus Christ. Princess Remedy and Visible Man, both very comfortably bisexual, have no time for this homophobe shit. Out you go. Jesus Christ. I can't believe we actually made Mozilla homophobic. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like Mozilla's like legit homophobic and like, and Bing isn't like homophobic homophobic. He's like, he's just, he's more like, he is kind of insecure about like his sexuality. Like he could, he, he identifies as like a heterosexual and he's like kind of insecure about it. And he's like, mm. I don't, he's like, listen, I just don't want anyone to think I'm gay. Okay. Like he got bullied way too much for it back in school. <laughs> he's he's got some things to figure out yeah, about he's still, himself one way or another. Absolutely, yeah. He's still like sort of figuring that bit out about himself. Like even if he even if he like figures out that he's like heterosexual one day or like whatever, <laughs> he's like he like confirms like yeah no I'm definitely heterosexual, but he's not gonna be like all upset about it. That's that's mm -hmm. my take on it. Also, we finally did it, guys. We have the representation that you're looking for. We finally have our first homophobic character. I can't believe the episode we did specifically dedicated to love introduced our first, first homophobic character homophobe. oh god oh, that's why that's why he's getting last place <laughs> get fucked <laughs> all right round two i'm gonna be so mad if they win this oh god <laughs> Oh god, I we have to have bad guys somewhere, I guess, you know? That's true, we gotta have a heel so that our faces can have somewhere to shine. Uh-huh, yeah, that way we can cheer on these guys for beating them up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Alright, and uh... <laughs> this is now a Bing Redemption arc, That's the that's the take here. And right now we have a pretty even match uh, right now. Give it a, some acceptance. Um, ooh, and we have uh, some footstools making these a little bit spicy. Ooh, trying to get an S smash, but no one to really hit with it. All right, so a C4 placed in the middle. It's something we got to keep an eye on. The Nikita is just—he's just—he's just allowed to take him off for free since they're all going for a. Uh, for uh, Princess Remedy. Mm -hmm. With with the disjointed like hitboxes and all those explosives, uh, like with you know ranged options and the C4 and landmines alike, uh, mm -hmm. Visible Man is able to tear up a lot of the battlefield from basically anywhere. Oh, with a powerful mm -hmm. kick, there goes Mozilla. You'll love to see it. Absolutely. And uh, let's see. Right now, uh, they're all just kind of hanging out near the ledge. Now, the right side of this stage is especially scary because the because the uh, kill zone on the right is very close, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. So you got to be very careful on this side as Ooh, Visible Man gets knocked out. Visible out. Man. And we are even in stocks, although there is definitely a damage leak. Oh no! But then Chromicide happens. Ooh. That's gonna be rough for the blue team. I really hope this isn't gonna be our first game three. <laughs> yeah, especially since we just declared one of them homophobic. Yeah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> we may have made a mistake. <laughs> All right. Uh, question from the audience. Uh, in Clario asking, I do have to ask who in the kerfuffle community was asking for this type of diversity? The answer to that is Mozilla. Mozilla was, <laughs> was asking for it. <laughs> He came, he came to us and he was like, listen, you don't have enough homophobes. And I was like, get out of my car. <laughs> of course we don't have enough, motherfucker. What is your point? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean enough? We do have enough. We have zero. <laughs> uh, 
And then he's snuck in to tricking us. You're fucked up, if you know what I'm saying. That being said, we are we do have a stock tie right now, so anything <laughs> so uh, the team of the people can still bring it back. <laughs> there is still a chance. But red team does have True. the advantage as far as damage goes, and that's Yellow. a little concerning. Anything can happen. Oh, with that footstool! Ooh! And the, with the share stock! Bazilla takes a stock! Right away. Just as, also, I want to say that was a beautiful footstool from Princess Remedy that just mm -hmm. knocked out Mozilla in a way that was very, very funny. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone's down to one stock. Everything's dead even right now. It's actually the dead final even. final life for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, with both Visible Man and Bing uh, high up on the damage end, uh, but still clinging on, the C4 not in range, but uh, putting some pressure on them for sure. All right, C4 dropped. Gotta watch out for that, because that could kill um, Invisible Man if he gets hit by it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and... Ooh. And with that, it's up to Princess Remedy as a huge F-Smash knocks out Invisible Man. And with that, the C4 is gone. It's just gonna be up to Princess Remedy alone. Princess Remedy, my girl, I believe in you. You got this. You gotta do this. Oh, and with that, uh, that might help out a bit. Oh, wait, the C4 is still there! I didn't oh my see god! It. And it knocks out Bing! From the grave, visible man saying, No one better lay a goddamn hand on my wife. Bingo! That's how you know when he defends you from the grave. That's true love, baby. The absolute highest tier of wife. Oh, is that gonna be enough? It's not quite enough. Oh, it is neck and neck, though. Huh? Oh, the down air knocked him out! That's going to do it. No game two, two and oh. this time I am relieved to say it. God, that was that was actually a really damn good match. Let's uh -huh. go. My god, that was tense. Man, the thing is, like in the last tournament, like um Visible Man was usually MVP, but this time Princess Remedy coming in, bringing mm -hmm. it bringing it home. Visible Man playing uh the support role so his wonderful wife can have her moment in the sun, uh racking up lots of damage and like playing the stress out the opponent's games so that she can move in and show them what she's made of. All right, Absolutely it, beautiful teamwork, a testament to their love. All right, and it looks like right now Mozilla is like furious, like not even like a, despite the fact that he's like keeping his monotone, like he seems pretty mad. And it sounds like a, like, it sounds like a, I don't know, like Bing's like kind of hesitant after like all this like weird homophobe stuff and after like all this, uh, and after all like the, the hits and the taking all his lives and stuff, mm -hmm. Mozilla just goes, okay, so we didn't get far in the tournament at all. Bing, come on. We're going to the spaghetti stand right now. And then Bing just kind of turns to him and is like, You know what? I am going to the spaghetti stands. Alone. What? No, listen. We need to, we need to get revenge and on turns Google. and leaves before Mozilla has a chance to say anything. No, we need to... Ugh! All right, so we track we track this as uh, he chases him into the spaghetti stand. Inside the spaghetti stand. And we're, do we're doing a quick uh, exhibition out of tournament thing. Inside the yes. spaghetti stand, we see none other than Google and Alabaster Uppercut. That's not Alabaster Uppercut. That's for you. Enjoying some basketi. Uh Bing enters first. What does Bing say? Bing is just kind of like grumbling to himself like, I can't believe I grew to work with that guy. Should have just stuck with my guns from the start and... Looks up and sees Google and it's like, Oh, <laughs> it's you. Well, this works out ne neatly. Mozilla chases in afterwards saying, Google, we must fight. We must get revenge on you. Fight now. Bing, are you ready to take him on? <sighs> Yeah, yeah. And then you see that uh, Bing turns towards uh, Firefox. And is like, I'm ready to take someone on, all right. What do you mean? Draw your weapon. What? Hey, what's cool? Why do I hear boss music? I said draw! <laughs> <laughs> all right, with that, let's see. <laughs> God, of course it's this fucking top. <laughs> 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 
Jesus. I'm not even gonna commentate. I'm just gonna enjoy this. Fuck yeah! <laughs> uh, a bit of a residual damage here. I think uh, Bing's trying to get a couple pot shots in on Google, but just because there's still that grudge, but at the same time, he knows who the real enemy is. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, and there's one stuck. Bing is getting pot shots on Google, too. That's the funny thing. Is this an all out frenzy at this point? Uh -huh. uh, uh, oh my god. Oh uh, man, that was fun. You kind of love to see it. Oh uh, man, someone said we should let Google Plus get it on this. Oh, that would have been so fucking funny. <laughs> just Google Plus appearing out of nowhere just to beat up a homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> Potion of get his ass. I I, I love the idea that, like, all of this is happening, and, like, people in, like, security are like, should should we stop them? Should we do something? Meanwhile, and Jenny is just, like, lounging in her fucking chair, sipping on a drink, and just kind of like, <laughs> yeah, ah, this'll take care of itself. Yeah, Squid Jenny's, like, leaning back, just like, not my jurisdiction. And then Spaghetti, <laughs> the red min, min comes out and says, oh, yeah, no, I, I saw, I've, I've read Mozilla's Twitter posts. Yeah, no. Fuck them <laughs> <laughs> Uh, God. Also, to the creator, who, the person who originally submitted Mozilla, I apologize for making him homophobic. We are so sorry that the emergent narrative just kind of happened and it was funny. Uh, <laughs> also, this is just very funny, but Alabaster Replica has not lost a stock yet, which is very out of character here. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, and the finishing blow goes to Bing. An extremely Captain Valentine voice. Why contain it? It's cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ala fucking Alabaster here, uh, keeping the two hot-headed rivals from, like, duking it out here on the victory screen by standing between them, like... <laughs> oh, wait, you're right. I did submit Mozilla. Okay, in that case, lol. <laughs> Apologize to yourself. I'm not bothering myself. This is catharsis. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and this ends with uh, them just eating Buzgetti. Good. While Mozilla Mizel is, like, stuck in the wall. All right. I, I, I like the idea of, like, Bing just, like, looking Google right in the fucking eye, just, like, very dramatically and, like, heavily sitting down on a chair and just being like, Well, spaghetti time. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, man. And they're going to have some fun bonding now. All right. Well, enough about this informal stuff. We need to get back to the tournament. With that, the loser's bracket, the first round of loser's bracket is complete. We're going on our first round of winners. Hell yeah. Um, and I realized I didn't update the uh, header for all, any of that. That's okay. okay. <laughs> it's okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. What a fucking little fun time we had there. All right. That ruled. <laughs> Just some funny catharsis as a treat. All right, we're in winner's bracket now, gamers. And once again, if you want to draw art of any of the funny things that have happened on this stream or the fun things that happened on the stream, you can do so and post it on the boo by pressing an exclamation mark art in chat, and that'll take you there. Or you can post it on Twitter with hashtag CPU kerfuffle. Um, if you want to uh, see the bracket, exclamation mark bracket, I just updated it. I'm going to talk all this stuff while I uh, put this stuff on the screen. Actually, while I update it here. So uh, with that, we also have, uh, if you want to submit a character in the future, uh, you can submit it, use the exclamation mark submit. If you would like to uh, donate, which would be greatly, greatly appreciated, you can do exclamation mark, donate, and that'll send you a really good donation link. If you would like to uh, <coughs> see a really cool <coughs> wiki set up by a bunch of people who run, who are uh, sort of behind the scenes here, do exclamation mark wiki. It got, it's got a lot of lore, chronological, chron chronolo chronologizing, what? Chronological. Uh, uh, chronicling all the different characters that have appeared along with just various stuff. I know that right now they've, again, I will say, they did like, I can't remember which one of the lore keepers did it, but um, they actually like went to the older ones and like there's a play-by-play -play description of each match. It's insane Wild. how much work they put into it. It's awesome. Shouts out to our fucking lore scholars out there. My God, putting Absolutely. in a hell of a lot of work and it is very much appreciated. Absolutely, we love you. <clears throat> um, and then if you want to uh, join the Discord, we have a Discord. You can do exclamation mark Discord to find that out. And if you want to see a bucket, you can do exclamation mark bucket. 
You sure goddamn can. All right. On the topic of submitting characters, uh, it's a lot of fun, and I encourage, like, uh, you know, anyone in the stand who's even got, like, like any idea to go for. Like, even if you think, oh, it's just a silly idea I've got. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've used very maybe silly it ideas. so good. Listen, silly ideas are great. Are you okay with me spoiling one of the things I submitted on Please the do. off chance that it doesn't get accepted? Do. Literally, one of the, su- the submissions I made was your neighbor's dog. Oh, yeah, I remember uh, you sent me that, yeah. <laughs> I will say we do get a lot of submissions and we usually accept about three of them per kerfuffle. So if yours doesn't get accepted, don't be too upset. But either way, it is really great to see all the submissions. It really helps out with the ideas pool. I know that some of the best characters, some of the characters we love the most came from um, like different submissions. Like uh, I think uh, Dr. Orr came from there. Uh, So did Hackerman John. So did, um, let me see, who in this turn was uh, submitted? Chili's was submitted. Hell Princess yeah. Remedy was submitted, um, <coughs> Bing was submitted, and uh, so was Matrimony Knight and Cupid Shuffle. Speaking of which, Hell yeah. Matrimony Knight and Cupid Shuffle in one corner. <laughs> and in the other corner, we have Larry oh? and Hacker Man John. Now, what do you think? I know this is like a dumb question because like, what mm. can you think? Right. Uh, again, this this is a matter where, like, uh, unpredictability really is going to be in the favor of uh, Hacker Man and Florida Man here. Makes mm-hmm. them uh, very strong, uh, hard to get a read on. Uh, that said, uh, again, it needs to be stressed. Uh, they are in, like, a committed relationship. They have been happy together for quite a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, that love inherently is going to power up Matrimony Knight and Cupid Shuffle and, like, amplify their power levels, so... It's, it's really hard to say, but my god, we're in for a show either way. Now, one thing that people have kind of, uh, I noticed, people actually noticed this in chat earlier on, uh, but, um, one thing that makes their connection so strong is that both of the reasons that they are the way they are is because of, like, Dr. Order. Like, um, mm-hmm. Larry was originally just a Florida man until he met Dr. Order during the hiatus, and I don't even know the full story about Hacker and John, but all that stuff was just thanks to, um, <laughs> Dr. Order, so they kind of been working through that, because, like, all that stuff is... It really messes with you, and they've been really getting through that together. And that's just mm-hmm. how you build a strong foundation for a relationship. And they've been they, doing a great they have a really strong understanding of each other that like not many people can have, and they have a really powerful bond of trust between them. Of like you know, understanding. Yes, they've been hurt. Uh, yes, they're still hurting in a lot of ways. But no, they are not just their hurt. It's not the sole thing that defines them. And they can work through it and be better. They can do that together, and that's beautiful. Absolutely. And um, I realized I actually wanted to say this at the beginning of the stream, but unfortunately I missed my chance. I completely forgot to do so. Um, I just want to say, if you guys are wondering, um, the other two commentators are usually here. Jay had a, Jay's sleeping schedule got messed up so he couldn't make it, but uh, Kimona is over in Texas right now. And um, I just want to give a quick extend, <laughs> extended statement to anyone who's over in Texas right now or over in that general area who's like, uh, you know, dealing with a lot of um, crazy weather and stuff. Do your best to stay mm-hmm. safe. We're praying for you. We're hoping for the best for you. Do your best to stay safe, everybody. All right. We're rooting for you. We now know you'll get through said, this. I think that Larry's going to take this. <laughs> yeah. All right. In that case, let's not waste any more time. Team Charms, Matrimony Knight, and Cuba Trouble versus Team Cones, Hackerman, John, and Larry. Round one, begin. Here we, we go. Boat! Boat! Boat Bo- time! Oh, it's Boat! Love Boat! Are we Boat? This tonight? is actually this is actually my favorite stage in the in like Hell all yeah. Smash Bros. I think. This was one of my favorites in Brawl, aside from like all the goofy custom ones that me and my friends made. Oh yeah, nah, the custom ones were the jam. Mm-hmm. You could do some bonkers shit with custom stages in Brawl, and I'm sad it just never was the same in the other ones. Yeah, I mean, you had like the custom draw tool, but it was still, it just still didn't quite hit the same. Yeah. It, anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about the match <laughs> right now. Um, Team Charm is pulling through right now, doing Dude, some major damage work. to start. Mm-hmm. Oh, no! And he landed, and he got sunk by the boat match when I did, but that might be Ooh. just a chance to come back. Ram pulled oh. through, and there goes Cupid Shuffle. Absolutely, and with that, that's one stack away from everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, we are all tied up. Also, Bright Raven Custom Age Scrub. Well, I plans to do that one day, don't worry. Hell yeah. 
Welcome to stage kerfuffle. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Either way, um... Alright, so right now, um... Oh, and right now, the, wow, uh, Team Cones is bringing it back already. Like, this doesn't look anything like uh, it did at the beginning. Like, right now, they've got mm -hmm. the damage lead. Anything can happen, like, in a moment, but... They oh, are and, making some trades, and, like, um, the momentum of this match is rapidly shifting. Oh, and Hackerman John's right. got his Smash Art up. The Smash Art just absolutely knocks out Matrimony Knight. Wow, what a turnaround. So powerful, that Smash Art. It can really easily turn the tide of battle if you have even a bit of damage. Oh, like and that. then Larry sinking him into the water. With that powerful spike, Larry's like, all right, time for you to learn how to swim, motherfucker. Absolutely. This is still doable if they can uh, knock out mm -hmm. Larry really quick. Larry's still holding on to that second stock, but got mm -hmm. a lot of damage racked yeah. up. It shouldn't be too, too hard to knock him out. Oh, that yeah. wolf pick, uh, relatively strong and fast, but not mm -hmm. too big in the bulk department. Absolutely not, yeah. Oh, but the- Oh, the counter! That's a really big one. Mm-hmm. Tries to get a backslash on Matchman. Oh, I thought he was Desperate gonna get sunk. Desperate backslashes. What the was hell's going a, on? Was that a water footstool? I, yeah, I think so. A lot is happening. Yeah. Everything is happening all at once right now. Uh, this 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 match is, as my friend Puzz has been saying to me a lot recently, all the time, all the time. It is my all God. the time, all the time indeed. So right now we're down to last stock, although uh, Team well, Team Charm has a lot of damage. Call it a flex day mm. bad. They're moving in, and right now uh, Team Charm's trying to get a, a Gimp, trying to hit him while they're out. Mm -hmm. This water definitely making things interesting. Team Charge holding Charm, rather, holding their powerful stage presence, uh, but with, like, that much damage, ooh, mm -hmm. speak of the yeah, devil, Yeah, unfortunately, that's gonna, not, that's gonna knock out Cupid Shuffle. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, taken out by his own going teammate. right back to Larry and Hackerman John, who are firmly on the boat and holding fast there. And, oh, and that's gonna be a gross one. Oh, filthy. That's gonna be disgusting. That's nasty wild. <laughs> And with that, Team Cones takes round one. Hell yeah. I'm starting to feel the effects of the drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, don't go too fast. <laughs> I'm trusting you not to. Either way. Uh, so I was about to say, how do you adapt it to your Team Charm? But the problem is, you can't. Yeah, there's no way to adapt against a team that's fundamentally unadaptable against a bull. That's the thing about Larry. He's just too crazy. Mm-hmm. All right, he listen. wakes up and he decides, today I'm going to do the most, and by God, he sure does. Mm -hmm. He always does it. I'm glad Larry's a furry. Dude, of course he's a furry. Have you <laughs> met him? Have you fucking met him? All right, let's go on you, to round two. The man has the power to be literally anything wants, he wants to be at all in the world, and you expect him to not experiment like that. Hell yes. Round two. <laughs> of course, Larry's a furry. He's from Florida. True. <laughs> Furda man. It looks yeah. like he's taking Dark Samus. Okay, very interesting. Heading straight to the arena with the power of the Metroid. Whoa. Prime. Okay, so um, this friggin' Cupid Shuffle with the 800 parries right there. <laughs> Hello, Wet Dry World negative emotional aura. You missed the first official homophobic character who is promptly defeated. Yeah, he was probably defeated and then ganged up upon for being homophobic. Mm -hmm. They right. kind of beat him into the ground. Yeah. It was justified. I don't know why I legalized this stage. I forgot that without hazards is bad. <laughs> Whatever. It's here now. No stopping it now. Also, not quite Right Sentience. Uh, right Sentience is uh, the pink alt for uh, Dark Samus. Although, the same character. Mm. Oh, man. And then just gets probably knocked out. Larry takes the first duck. Like, and there goes Florida Metroid. I'm telling you, like, uh, Larry is absolutely just, you win some, you lose some, incarnate. <laughs> La Larry's learned to accept this. You know, sometimes you wake up and you choose victory. Sometimes you wake up and you choose something oh. wacky instead. And we but got a double ping pong. But it's with... in the act of choosing that the true victory happens. Absolutely. So right now, Cupid Shuffle just needs Ooh. to have that happen, I guess. <laughs> Putting things back to even. I was about to say, like, he just needs to get some damage off before he dies, and then he was immediately ping-ponged out, out, out of the fucking world. An absolute slugfest. People bouncing Ooh. left and right, just trading blow after blow. Oh, and there like goes Larry again. Kind of, like some kind of racquetball game. Absolutely. Larry's absolutely not on win some right now. He's on the other mm -hmm. one, I'd say. <laughs> well, you know Ooh, what they the say. Game. You win some, you don't some. That's what they say. Oh, but Larry, not Larry, John, John switching over, making sure he has his uh, jump boots ready. 
Mm hmm. Good to go with the mad hops if needed. Oh, Smash is on. Anything can happen. Uh oh. Folks are about to get sent flying. My god. Larry oh my god, that was a weird recovery. Crossfire. Oh, but he's not gonna make it back. Oh, it's not gonna be enough. And Team Charm, it looks like it's going to. Oh my god, he grabbed it out of upper arm. I mean, it's with, still possible if they can take a. With three stock stocks really to two quick. and Cupid Shuffle very high up on the damage, this really could be anyone's game. Yeah, if they can take Cupid Shuffle stock really quick, then it's absolutely everybody's mm -hmm. game. They're trying for it. Uh, Larry is mm -hmm. trying to chuck him clean out, but it yeah. just isn't enough. The Dark Samus throws aren't enough to get a kill at a percentage like that. Whoa, what percent? And what percent was. Was that like 70? I mean, it's like 60s like or 70s. Side. I think it was like knocked them close enough to the border, though. Yeah, true. It was close to the border. All right, when that Larry's out, and it's going to take a lot for Hackerman John to bring this back. Mm -hmm. Which means we're really looking at our first round three, baby. He's slapping on the keyboard as fast as he can, but it's just not enough. You can't Unfortunately, hack it doesn't into look the like keyboard he's in. of life. All right. You're going. Is the jump power gonna do anything for him here? Um, it looks like no. It might. It might have been good for recovery. Oh my God! Mm. Hitting oh Cupid Shuffle God. with least expected, but he's but Cupid Shuffle still has another life, so it's gonna be even. It's still gonna be rough, but Catching it's progress. Catching the back end of that to at least get the moral victory here, if not the literal victory. True. Just this, grabs right out of it. Cupid this Shuffle. This might man. be our first game three. Unless like Hackerman yes. John fucking evolves. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, anything can happen. Ooh. Oh, nope, not gonna make it back. Oh, but it's not enough with a strong showing, but just just slightly too far from the ledge. Out goes Hacker Man. And that match of mine, Team Charms, Match of Night, and Cube Shuffle win another match, meaning we're going to game three, the first one with of the both night. Of our boys taking on a well deserved pose. I am amazed that it took us this long to get to a game three, but here we are. My All right, God. so now that you've seen the first two matches, who do you think's taking it? Who? <laughs> I know it's like a flip. It's like a roll of a die at this point. Mm -hmm. with our friend, I'm uh, gonna flip my eight-sided coin and see what it gives me. Uh, looks like it's landed on Gumby, which means it could be anyone's game. True. I think that um, I think on this one consistency is gonna rule out on this one. I think that's gonna go to Team Charm surprisingly, which is weird. Are team changes gonna stick or are they just for today? Uh, I don't think we have any team changes. Oh, what do you mean team changes? Like uh, the thing with um, oh, like like how um. Pits on a uh, team charm. Yeah, no, it's just for today. Just that way we could have the team stuff. Te oh god, I should submit Gumby in a kerfuffle, shouldn't I? Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, technically, uh, Cube Shuffle's still a member of Team Kraken. They're just done Team Charm for this one. That way we could make it happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are temporary placements. Uh, they yeah. keep their solo teams. Either way, they're, they're, they're alliances. Of convenience, sometimes alliances of friendship or romance. Uh, yeah, it's again, not most of this is romance. Like any proper yeah. alliance changes. Most of this is um, most of this is due to their connection, so they're just like you know, hey, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, we're loving it at being each other, and that yeah. transcends teams. Yeah. Round three, and here we go. The first game three of the night. I'm Let's excited. Hear some noise from the crowd. I'm sorry, I burned. <laughs> It's okay, and we have, a, it looks like Larry has gone peach mode on this one, which is very interesting considering the number of hearts that she can produce with her mm -hmm. side B and up, up tilt. Can we get some hearts in the chat for love? All right. I'm waiting. Something. All right, yeah, it's gonna, give it a time, give it a time, give it a time. I mean, there is a delay, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, there is a delay. And right now, My Hackerman, God, Hackerman John's putting it out. Although right now, it is looking like it's Team Sean. Oh, no, it's dead even. What am I even talking about? What am I even talking about? <laughs> it is impossible to say for certain what the hell's going to happen here. It's it's like you said, that consistency is going to be key. Unfortunately, both teams being very consistent here. Exactly. Oh, sh oh man, Larry had a stitch. Oh, no, and Hackerman can't quite bring it back. Ooh. All right, getting an air slash real quick. Yeah, right now, this is what I'm talking about. Like, uh, you see that like, uh, you had Hackerman John just unable to come back and also everything about Larry. Like, Larry is very good at all characters and he's like, mm -hmm. absolutely got like the art of being able to handle pretty much anything. Definitely. But but there still is that base inconsistency that of permeates course. them. And that's what I think is gonna be their downfall in this particular matchup. 
like, like, on an individual level, Larry is very good at what he does, and what he does is literally whatever he wants, but this is not exactly. just about him, this is about the team, and as much of a good chemistry as they have together, oh, uh, it's very difficult ways. for anyone to be able to have a uh, good fight choreography with literally everyone. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on Hackerman John here. He pulls it off quite well, all things oh, considered. Oh, of course. Like, he, he could probably do it better than anyone, but it's still, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that it's still something that's gonna be just easy to do. Right. Of, of anyone that in the world that could do it, it would definitely be him, but that's not gonna make it any ah, easier. Ah, and he doesn't quite recover. He's having the a lot of trouble recovering. not gonna do it. He's having a lot of trouble recovering this round. Mm-hmm. He's, he's really got to keep his onstage game strong. He can't focus on those offstage plays. It's really got to be Larry that's got to be pulling those mm -hmm. off for the team. Absolutely, especially since he's got Peach. He's very, very good mm -hmm. offstage, especially with that crown smash. Let's go. The floating, the hovers, the powerful aerials. Although although they have brought it back to even, basically. Mm -hmm. Given like some only just some minor damage differences, it's basically even. Bomb! Pretty well as a literal fucking meteor is coming down upon the <laughs> Can world. Can I just say, Larry has been peak Larry in Peach mode. He's gotten a stitch and a fucking bomb this round. My god. <laughs> Neither of them just, hit, but still. That is peak just goes Larry. To show you. Fucking Great peak Florida Man Larold. <laughs> oh, and one sock goes off, making it one sock piece for everybody. Here we go. And uh, oh my god, going uh, going Buster, trying to get some Switching damage, but it backfires on him a little bit. Recovery. Waits for waits for waits for uh, Hilary to get back on the ledge. With the strong uppercut from Cupid Shuffle, though, racking Absolutely. up that lots upper dash of damage. Is crazy. Oh, and with mm -hmm. that, Larold is out, leaving not Larold. That was John. John is out, leaving Larry to fend for himself against these two. It's going to be quite the ability climb up. since he got 86 and these guys each have 30. It is entirely up to Florida Man Larry. If anyone but right, can do it, it's him, but it's Right now, they are not here. letting off the pressure. Ooh, they are playing strong and they are playing for keeps and ooh, like the myth of Sisyphus, the boulder rolls back down and crushes him. Absolutely, and with that, it's a, it's a, it's a <gasps> round three, but with that, Larry, not Larry Hacker, man, John. Match my night and Cupid Shuffle, take it with Team, Team Charm, Charm heading into semifinals. With our first game three of the night, standing tall and firm and proclaiming loudly for the world that love is real. Exactly. Oh God, sorry, this is completely off topic, but I just realized a good meme. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like that you're like breaking down into tears over this. Bing be like, yaoi couples, Yuri couples, normal couples. I see no difference. Love is love. Fuck! <laughs> he would, though. That is he peak would, bang. though. That's peak bang, because, like, he he does, he is, like, turning around on, like, not being a total homophobe. Like, he give, he cares about them. He's just, he's just, he's got a bit to learn. He's trying his best. God bless his heart, but he's got some work to do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> God. Um, <laughs> right, he's a little confused, but he has the spirit. Yeah, he's a little confused, but he got the spirit. <laughs> One second, God. I'm just texting my mom. My mom's like, mm -hmm. man, black ice tomorrow morning. Be safe if you're going out. Careful. And also, she asked if I got the mail since she mailed me um, a bunch of uh, stuff that I actually got mailed the old house. All right. Oh, God, there's ice in the mail. Careful. Oh no, it melted now the wet now the envelope's all soggy. The envelope's gonna slip. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for joining the stream. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to all the viewers for coming in. Um hopefully you guys have been enjoying this as much as I have. Hell yeah. Because goddamn I know I have. Uh alright, uh while I'm setting up this thing, um once again a reminder that um if you would like to draw art of anything going on, you can do so and then post it either on Twitter with the hashtag CBRubble, or you can post it on the Buru, which you can find by typing exclamation mark art. If you want to see a bucket, you can type exclamation mark bucket. Um, if you would like to um, see the wiki with all the lore and stuff, a bunch of awesome fans have started working on that. Um, and if you want to submit a character for future kerfuffles, you can do that too. It's baller. Hell yeah. 
I uh, did try to type in these things as you were saying them, and I typed quart instead quart. of exclamation point art. Because Q and exclamation point are right next to each other That's in the true, keyboard, yeah. and I am a little tipsy. <laughs> true, 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 true. All right. Typo in the group chat. Get my ass. <laughs> Potion of get her ass. <laughs> All right. So, next round of winners. This is actually uh, very interesting how it turned out like this. Um, I kind of, I think this is kind of how I expected it in the in my prediction bracket, but still, it's very interesting to see. We have Doctor Order and Captain Quadratic. Oh, they're back. Versus. Twist. Uh, motherfucker, hold on. Twist. And. Chilies. I'm not gonna ask who you're cheering for, because it's beyond <laughs> obvious. This is a foregone conclusion, you understand. That's true, that's true. Now, here's the thing is that I love Twist. I love lesbians, as you all know. They're very good. <laughs> um, I can confirm this, Ryan. However, my friend, he's wonderful. True. Oh. Um, however, <laughs> it should also be known that I'm kind... How do I put this without getting called out like a motherfucker? Oh, get called out, motherfucker. Do it. Okay. Why do you guys have to draw Dr. Order like as hot? What is wrong with you people? I'm, I might be a little bit of a simp. Anyway, round one! I mean, listen, villains are sexy sometimes. True. All right, round one. Dr. Orton, Capricorn, Jack, Team Caliber versus Team Kraken, Twist, and Chilies. Oh, it's this song from The Thing. Oh, I, I don't think I told you this story, but um, at one point, um, there was a matchup with uh, Larry when he was, um, like, uh, in a match. And mm -hmm. um, he had gotten this stage with Megalovania playing, and he got um, the Ice Climber alt where both of them were wearing blue hoodies. <laughs> it was the most legendary thing ever. <laughs> All right, anyway, right now it's looking surprisingly even um, with Captain Quadratic really putting in some work. I thought you said surprisingly evil at first, like you could not get the good doctor off your mind or something. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was going on with that soccer ball? Okay, whatever. Oh, you know, bounce tricks. True bounce tricks. So right now, uh, Twist is taking quite a bit of damage right now. Um, but right now, uh, so has both members of, uh, Team Caliber. It's just gonna be a question now of, um, how, how, how soon can they, uh, close out these kills? Because if they can close out the kills before, um, before the death of, a uh, Twist, and they're gonna have an advantage, like so! The Doctor Ooh, Order losing first stock! Alright, it's gonna take a lot, and, whoa! And unfortunately, Chili's get spiked by Doctor Order! Youchie, louchy! Oh, and there goes Captain Quadratic, and there oh, goes Chili's. Go. Everyone's down Let's to two stocks. And we are very even. <sighs> All right. The soccer ball completely whiff and bouncing off the, the imprisoned person. Oh, and Chili's accidentally saving Dr. Order's life. Uh oh. And Chili's doing it again after uh, Dr. Order almost got killed by Captain Quadratic again. <laughs> that just keeps happening. My god, a uh, twist with like the read of the century teleporting up above uh, Dr. Qu Captain Quadratic before he can do his big attack. Absolutely, I've missed it, but oh, and just oh! both of them just ganging up on Team Caliber, mm -hmm. wearing down any shields they could have while well, uh, Chili's goes in for the kill. I'm telling you, twist, you that's twist how it works. saw Dr. Order going for the deep breathing and said, nope, none of that. I'm going to have you petting, motherfucker. You're going to be exhausted all day. Yeah, one thing I liked about that was um, Twist actually like uh, put up the uh, ups, the up air and like really just put in some fire. And Chili's like, "Oh yeah, no, I've cooked before. You're heating it, and now I'm going to stab it to make sure that it's not make sure it's got it's got that nice medium rare coloring, you know? You don't want no pathogens, motherfucker. Bingo. At the same it's time, at the same treat. time, at the same time, you can't have it be completely well done. That's not how you make a good steak. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, Chili's runs out of air of a uh, wind. And right now, um, there's a stock advantage for Team Caliber, but oh Ooh! no, Doctor Order My not God. quite predicting when le when it was gonna when a uh, Captain Quadratic was gonna get let go and actually Just knocking him out, sacrificing Captain Quadratic. Now we're at we have a really close match. Oh, and the spike! 
Yo, Twist was like, you're going to hell before you die. Goodbye. Out she goes like a light. Twist looked at, Twist looked at fucking Dr. Orman and was like, you know what, that's it. I'm sending your ass to EBDB. <laughs> Just for that one, you're going to have to go 20 minutes with the devil. That's what they said to Dr. Order. Absolutely. And right now, Captain Quadratic has a bit of a hill to climb, although if, if uh, Captain Quadratic can take out one of them, it's still doable. Climbing Ooh, is one of the many with things twist, he's good especially at. With, especially with Twist's, uh, especially with Twist's uh, damage right now just being as mm -hmm. it is. So I think right now these girlfriends need to use their uh, double motion. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Captain Quadratic with a landing! With a single misplay, Captain Quadratic sees a moment of weakness and capitalizes on it. Absolutely. Fuck. Yeah, it looks like uh, Twist is going for it and Chili's just got caught in the crossfire. Maybe tonight love loses. I don't know what we'll have to see. All right, that's round one, and unfortunately, uh, that is going to be a point against. I know a bunch of people were cheering for. Uh, oh, I gave it to Twist and Chili's. I, you know, I, optimism. So I think mm. that these two have it in the bag. Like that was a close match. I'm expecting a, a round three here, honestly. Mm-hmm. And I guess let's not waste any time. Although I will say, uh, like this is like the most smug I've ever seen. Um, Dr. Roarder, that's for sure. Also, might I mention how much I love Monkey Watch? Because I do. Anyway. True. Taking the fight over to someone's apartment building, my god. And right now, uh, damage-wise, it's pretty close, although it is barely in, uh, in uh, Team Kraken's favor. Mm -hmm. All right. A lot of arc fires being thrown out, just really controlling the battlefield, and the fact that Twist is doing a very good job of moving around these arc fires. I mean, you can tell their chemistry is more than apparent. Oh, but the, the soccer ball just having nothing but pure chaos. Ooh. Oh god, that was a spicy thing from uh, Chili's right there. I wonder With if we're gonna see a repeat of last match where uh, Doctor Order is like the first one out for good again. Mm -hmm. Only way to find out. Mm -hmm. Oh, but X oh. the sun. On the, Again, on her own man. Fire. Whoa! I have never heard Zelda's star KO. That was terrifying to hear. Scary for sure. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so that being said, right now Chili's just trying to stay alive, trying to make sure we, they can land as much damage as they can before um, the stock is taken. And my God, isn't staying alive all we can all do at the end? Absolutely. Of the day. Although right now I will say. Um, uh, Twist doing a very good job of using the um, using the uh, knights to sort of cover both uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. Very well done. Seems like all the fighters here are trying to take advantage of the top of the stage as much as they can. That blast zone really close. Mm -hmm. uh, they they, to they the like that top platform. There. I know I, mm -hmm. I know I banned this normal play just because they like seem to really love that top platform too much. But mm -hmm. I forgot to do it for this one because um, that I this is I'm using the old um, doubles format before mm -hmm. I did the big change. And there's a lot of people in the chat are pointing out it does look like our girl, lesbian cat girl Tifa, is one of the lesbian several leads in these Lesbian cat girl Tifa is there! There she is! She's there, she's rooting for her girls, this is their home stage advantage, let's see if that, that'll be enough for and them. And at the bottom you can see, um, Snapkey veteran Eeyore. Know of that one, heard of that one. <laughs> <laughs> there he is on the left, either way. Having a wonderful day. Absolutely, in a boxing ring, as he's wont to do. As you do, as he does. All right, so right now uh, there's a very big advantage for Team Kraken. It's gonna take a lot for them to lose it, but hey, anything can happen like that. Ooh, with the share stock coming Immediate in. Immediate share stock, but either way, there's a lot. Oh wait, they're on, they're on the top platform, playing really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Ooh, one on one. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> With Captain Quadratic so close to getting defeated here, but yeah, like we that's saw we said last time. game, he could still possibly pull this off. Ooh, getting the nose for Rocky, oh, getting some damage back, getting some health back. The throw? Not oh. quite enough. Oh, but... she's got Thor on. Chilies, you're not gonna. You, insanity if you even consider it. You're not gonna finish this with the Thor on. That'd be ridiculous. That'd be but nuts. The style, Ryan. The style. There we go! <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> 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 
dude, that can I say that down tilt into it? Woo! Chili set that up, stopped time, looked right at the camera, and said, "This is for all of you at home." Bish, disgusting. Absolutely. I am. I, I'm dead ass losing it over that down tilt into Thoron. It's the most illegal move in the history of lesbians, and folks who truly love to see it. All right, it takes us to round three. Here we go. What a great way to clinch out a round three. Absolutely. Hey, ever since uh, this round started, we've got number round three. Let's see if we can keep it up. Let's go. Hell yeah. Round three. Team Calibers, Dr. Order, and Captain Quadratic versus Twist and Chilies. Be good. Our final round. Let's see where we take it. Three, All right. Two, Town and City. Going right from the apartment complex to a relaxing walk through the town. Absolutely. Let's see what this change of scenery can do for our fighters. Mm -hmm. Opening up with a lot of power from uh, Team Caliber, especially with Captain Falcon, and uh, team breathing is off, so we have to be very careful about that. Mm -hmm. Although right now, uh, we are getting a bit of a juggle on Captain Order, so that's a thing. The juggler. And right now, uh, Captain Order's just kind of keeping her distance, charging up her sun salutations. Oh god, mm -hmm. that somehow that was a weird direction to take that hitbox. Hey, if it works, it works, you know? Yeah. And right now, uh, the stock advantage for Team Caliber and uh oh and the, I was about to say no damage. Oh, there we go. That brings it dead even. Alright. I, I don't even know what to say here. I'm just like uh edge of my seat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, deep breathing's up. Things up. I think the only person that's a problem for really right now is Chili's, unless right. uh, we're worried about damage. If, if Chili's can keep play the keep away game from both of our opponents right now. Oh, uh, but they're building up so much damage. Why play keep away mm -hmm. and you can just build damage, son? True. Oh, going in and never oh, no. stopping going in. <laughs> Although now Dr. Dr. Or is the only one with three stocks right now. But to make but up for it, uh, so a lot of damage. so close to getting just knocked clean out. Like so. Oh, with the Phantom! Yeah, and right now, uh, we, we have it pretty much even. Mm -hmm. uh, that oh. was an interesting play on Twist's part, the, but... <laughs> the crossfire on oh, the Phantom, no! and, the, and Twist immediately losing the stock from a spike! Oh, the downward spike. Brutal. Ah, but that's gonna knock out Captain Quadratic. <laughs> Bring us even stock. But right now, Twist 99% is really showing. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot of. There, never mind. There yeah. she goes. <laughs> As Chili's knocks her out on accident. Oh, okay, anything can still happen. This is still mm -hmm. anybody's game. With a ease. lot of damage on the red team here right now, so if Blue can really capitalize on that, this is still their game. Absolutely. Nosferatu, get some of that damage back. Yum More yum Nosferatu. Completely whiffing the sun salutation. Oh, and knocking out Captain <laughs> Quadratic as Captain Quadratic borrows a life. With the share stock. And then immediately beats the snot out of Captain, out of Dr. Order. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Wouldn't have, couldn't have, wouldn't have any other way. And it's, right now it's, it's pretty much dead even. Anyways, again. game. I but, brought it up oh, early, but it's up. so funny to me that in creating the perfect man, uh, Dr. Order has cre made her only creation that is, like, fighting against her by accident. Yeah, oh, this is the only one that's done doing it by accident. Oh, um, mm -hmm. oh, and unfortunately oh, it's gonna go to Team Caliber. And out they go in game three. Dr. Order and Captain Quadratic taking it. Twist and Chilies will continue on in the loser's bracket, but Team Caliber takes this round as Dr. Mm -hmm. Order and Captain Quadratic moves on. Smooth, clean, love may lose, but love will never die. Ab-so-lutely. Yeah. All right, let's see. So that was a one hell of a set. Didn't quite end the way everyone was hoping for, but a lot of people were hoping for Twist and Chilies, but either way. I sure was. Yeah. But All right. my god, they put on a good show either way. All right, coming next, we're going back down into loser's bracket. In one corner, we have Larry and Ackerman John. They're and the back. other, we have. Ooh. And the other one, we have. 
Visible man! And... We're in here somewhere, damn it. Zelda. No, yeah, Zelda. Princess Remedy! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Song. Oh god, did I update it wrong? Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh shit, I made Twist and Chili's win! Oops! I mean, yeah, no, uh... We'd be hoping, but... For they won in my heart! They did win in my heart. Oh, I'm very interested in the next round. All right, I'm gonna update the uh, overlay real quick. In the meantime, um, who do you think is gonna take this? Let me hear your thought process on it. Uh. Oh God, it's so hard to make a prediction. Literally, any time. Uh, yeah, Larry's involved. Decker Man and Florida Man are here on the scene. True. <laughs> they just exude that unpredictability. And again, the teamwork that Princess Remedy and Invisible Man have is like tantamount to perfection and that's really strong but that's something that a hacker man and florida man have going for them too and mm -hmm. they have like the complete unpredictability factor mm -hmm. whereas uh princess remedy and visible man have the advantage inherently of like having a lot of really good sort of like spacing and disjointed plays they can pull off yeah also uh, hey katie see you in chat katie that's my friend katie hi <laughs> all right uh, with that said, we have things ready to go. Once again, if you draw any funny art based on the things that you see on this stream, you can post it on the Blue Run Exclamation Mark Art or post it on Twitter under the hashtag CP Profile. We will take a look at the end. Let's go. Round one of Team Cones is Larry and Hackerman John versus Princess Remedy and Visible Man from Team Cross. Begin! Hey, Waltz. Here baby. it comes. Waltz gets a guest appearance because she's been a bastard baby. Bastard baby. And they're taking it to Gamer. Oh, it's time for a real Gamer, all right. You know it. Buster's up, and it looks like he got Villager, which is very, very interesting considering this particular set. <laughs> like, he can just eat up whatever um, Visible Man throws. Yup. Although right now it's looking like, uh, it's looking like Team Cross is doing some real work here. I gotta be honest, I'm just kind of mesmerized by that Pioro in the background pacing around. That's a good fucking bird. That's a good fucking bird. I'm gonna it's say it if no one bird. else will. <laughs> you ever play Bird and Beans in the old WarioWares? I ain't never played WarioWare, but I need to. Also, two socks down from Team Cones already. Just really <laughs> knocking it out <laughs> so early. Ah, uh, but there goes there goes Princess Remedy, and everyone's the back down to even stocks. And with I was that, just about to say, yeah. Princess Remedy holding in strong, uh, and Until. there she goes. Yeah. Also, and... yeah, he would really like Warrior Wear, Ryan. Oh yeah, no, I don't doubt it. I know it's from the same uh, art director as Rhythm Heaven. Yeah. So that's that's already a point in its favor. It's it's similar in a lot of ways, but instead of like smaller like rhythm focused games, it's a lot of smaller rapid fire games. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it before, and I think I'd really like it. I just never got around yeah. to playing it. It's one of those things where it's absolutely not, oh, I don't think I'd like it. It's a lot more like I just haven't gotten to do it yet. Right, yeah, for sure. All right, either way, uh, but what we have gotten to do is we see a very, very even match. Like, Hell right yeah. now, it's just depending on who gets killed first, and even then, that's not going to be a determining factor of anything. Oh, I have the hiccups. Oh, and there <laughs> goes... There goes, there goes uh, Hackerman, but also there Ooh. goes Princess Remedy. Tying it up again. With Larry, right, Larry and uh, Visible Man both holding down the stocks. <laughs> All right. There. Getting exploded. There. Oh, God, love Princess Remedy trying to knock out uh, the, th the uh, Larry, but Larry manages to tech off the ceiling. That's She's ceiling trying so much, work. and it's not enough, but I have so much respect for her. Absolutely. And with that, unfortunately, uh, Larry got double teamed, but Larry mm. might be ready to just knock out, um, if one of them, any of them can knock out Visible Man with just one good hit. Mm -hmm. With that sapling out on the field, that's a scary thing that could pop up at, like, any moment. Yeah. We just need a visible, we just need a Larry to get on there and water it. Ah, mm -hmm. but it's gone, so never mind. And it goes. And, uh, Visible Man's still alive at 223. Which is incredible, considering that, like, like, honestly, like, Hackerman John can be quite the powerhouse. So seeing someone still live at 223, mm -hmm. even on a stage like Gamer, is 
amazing to see. And with that, <laughs> finally lose the stock. So Everyone's in one stock. For so long, with nothing but like a prayer in his heart, uh, a lot of gumption, and a powerful love for his wife. Yeah, absolutely. And we're down to the last stock for everybody. Oh, we are very close with everyone but Visible Man. Oh no! Visible really Man. The... Oh, Visible Man gets not Visible Man. Uh, what happened? To I was he activated his C four and he forgot to recover. Oh Although no! Although everyone's at everyone's at high damage, it could be anybody. Oh my God! They just unload on oh. Princess Remedy. After she does the the Ukemi, they decide that's not enough. Die. God, can I just say that ended with them just going like, all right. I'm gonna hit you, then me, then me, then me, then me, then me, then me. Literally everyone unleashed every single missile they had in a final clash. It's almost rhythmic. My god. You can set a rhythmic, you can set a, you can set a mini game of that shit. Yeah. All right, with that, Larry and Hackerman John take round one. All right, round two. Um, I was about to say how do you go that, but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> that, that villager pick was putting in some strong work, letting them deal with a lot of the projectiles coming in. Oh, oh the shit, little that's Mac choice. This is actually this, really this interesting because could... this is actually um employee Dan skin. Oh, Everyone who's here for uh, for Carvel Gaiden knows all about employee Dan, which is funny because a uh, hackerman John knows employee Dan. So this is a very, very interesting, interesting pick. This, yeah, this employee... pick, this pick could really either do a lot of work or really like like, make the team struggle here. Absolutely. Oh, hey, mass destruction. Nice. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed mass destruction here. I was like, ooh, nice. <laughs> ooh, yeah! da 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 Right now, um, there's been a lot of survival going on from Hackerman John, just not taking a lot of damage. Oh yeah! Da 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 even, but again, Princess Remedy has so much damage racked up, if she can take advantage of that rage, she'll be in the clear, but, like, a, a stiff breeze could blow the woman out, and that's what worries me. Oh my god, he powers through it! Ooh! All right, so right now the damage advantage is going to Team Cross right now, but hey, anything can happen, especially when you got mm -hmm. Larry as fucking employee Dan of all people. <laughs> I will say, though, I, I, you weren't around, so the lore for employee Dan is um, he actually started as a Geek Squad employee, then he oh? then he lost so badly that he got fired. Oh, the double kill! My god. Oh, that was a good trade! Anyway, but he got so bad he got fired, so then he worked for Icy, where he got beaten so badly that he got fired again. <laughs> and then after that, and after that, he got a job working with Doctor in Doctor Order's lab, where uh -oh. he almost, where he like got top four in the tournament of sixteen people. Mm -hmm. So it works. Good God, that was a like beautiful that. play by Larry Dan. Oh, and he can't recover. Oh, oh, how the fucking madman! He's trying. He's trying. Oh, so he doesn't bad. quite tech. Not enough. And he can't take a life because. Princess Remedy's been knocked out. With no share stock available, it's three stock versus one. Yeah, it's My gonna be goodness. rough for Princess Remedy to take this one. It looks like it's it looks going like to Princess Cones. Remedy is in a heap of trouble. Oh, That's what my next emote should be. It should be. It should be just the fucking the picture of the fucking Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, whatever. <laughs> She goes. You sure did, bud. You sure God, did. God, I love every single line that Shulk says. He sounds mm -hmm. like he's both reading off a script, like very obviously, but he just learned how to read, but he's still gonna give it his all. Uh huh. <laughs> Compare and contrast, uh, Pitts, I never learned how to read, with Shulk's, I just learned how to read. I've got a good rhythm going. <laughs> I'm really feeling it. Although I'm really feeling it is the best Smash meme. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, I just realized something. What? This team is Matt is Little Mac and Photoshopped Little Mac. <laughs> oh, God damn it! it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I remember that. I'll 
give some context for people in chat who don't get it. Um, when Smash 4 first got leaked, uh, it leaked when an ESRB copy of the 3DS version got, like, uh, pictures of it got posted on 4chan. And, um, fucking people saw pictures, saw pictures of Shulk, and everyone was convinced that it was just someone photoshopping a picture of Little Mac. Mm -hmm. And there was, like, fucking, like, hundreds of pictures trying to prove and or disprove it. God. Hey Ryan, is that a green pixel next to Little Max foot? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I still need to make that. I still need to make that a uh, fucking PowerPoint about the Grinch leak. Oh, the God. fucking Grinch leak! I love the Grinch leak. Is Dan watching? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Dan's always watching. He's 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 he figures the imitation is the greatest form of flattery. Although he's mostly kind of indifferent. <laughs> he's not like what the fuck, but he's also not yeah. He's just like oh cool. He's mostly worried about holding down his job, I think. Yeah, no, he he actually got an overtime shift in uh, Dr. Roar's lab, so. Oh. Yeah, so he's just making sure to take care of all that business. Grinch leak. Uh, that. Okay, I'll I'll do a quick explanation of the Grinch leak while I set up the next characters. <laughs> Basically, um, right before um Ultimate was set to release, um, someone took a picture of what looked to be promotional material for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate featuring the hidden characters. Uh, at the time, this is before Incineroar was announced, or Piranha Plant. And the announced characters, oh, and Ken. Ken wasn't revealed then either. Mm -hmm. So the characters that we didn't know about at the time included Banjo-Kazooie, the chorus kids from Rhythm Heaven. Which I still want to be one of the DLC characters, Sakurai. Please, please. Um, chorus kids, um, Mock Rider, Banjo, did I say Ken already? Uh, yes. I, no, okay. no. Either way. Uh, you said Banjo oh, already, though. Okay. Shadow the Hedgehog, Isaac from Golden Sun, um, Ken was there, and uh, I think that's it? No, and Gino. And Gino, of course. Right, Gino. Of course, fuck, who could forget Gino? And uh, the reason it's called the Grinch League is because it was taken next to a photo of a promotional image for the Illumination Grinch movie that had not been released to the public. Leading people to believe, oh yeah, no, this is a legit printing company. And the leak was fake. <laughs> it was it was the most convincing fake I've ever seen. There was so much work put into it for like such a dumb payoff. Yeah, and some things were just like coincidences that just happened to line up like the green pixel. How did you guys think this was real? Because Okay, because there was a lot of work that was put into, um, A, getting a blank picture of, like, the battlefield where the Everyone Is Here banner was put on. And also, they were very well put in. Yes, it was really blurry, but it was that, and also it was next to, um, the thing. And there was a lot of stuff that told me that it was real. Like, listen, 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 listen. Okay, listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna go off real quick to the person to chat. How do you guys think this was real? Listen. The reason that I will stand by thinking it was real is because there was so much that, like, ended up in its favor. Specifically, the green pixel. The fucking green pixel. I'm gonna explain it. Fuck it. I'm explaining it. I'm taking off the shirt. Here Let's we go. go. So, um... If I'm you guys draw a picture of a bee. Please do. Um, so back in, um, back in the day with, after the 8 8 Direct, uh, everyone was like, Oh shit, there's gonna be a ton of really cool characters. Um, and... Then the one they announced after that was Isabel, just Isabel, and a bunch of people were thinking, "Huh, that seems a little bit underwhelming." After the A and A direct gave us like eight characters, or like six characters, um, and people were thinking, "Okay, well, quick theory. What if, what if they intended to show off um, Isaac at the beginning? However, however." The direct itself got delayed because of a terrible earthquake that ravaged a lot of Japan. It was really horrible. People were very severely injured. It was very tragic. And the running theory was that in order to maintain respectful, since, like, one of Isaac's primary powers is earthquakes, they had this idea that, like, okay, I'm guessing his trailer involves using earthquakes. So they can't show that in a trailer right after a bunch of people in Japan got brutally harmed by an earthquake. Right, right, right. And on the day when Isabel dropped, they noticed that for some reason there was something up with the cropping of um, the little moving banner at the top of Smash Bros. website, because that banner that sort of, like, cycles through all of the uh, Everyone Is Here banner thing, um, that's actually composed of six different images that are split up, and it, like, goes through each one that way it loops better. Um, and Little Max, the front of Little Max's face was cut off. 
because of like a an, well, like a, one of them was the version um, before Isabel was put in. One of them was the version put after. However, that spot where he was cut off um, was also the spot where Isaac was in the Grinch Leak banner. And in the uh, banner for the Everyone Is Here banner, Isaac was creating some vines. And right on that split, if you zoomed in, just if you zoomed in all the way, you could see one green pixel on that boundary between the pictures that lined up near perfectly with where the vines were. And that sort of coincidence is just like, it's, I'm almost certain it was a coincidence. But, yeah. like, uh, there's no way the dude planned it. Also, it's theorized the guy who was behind the Grinch leak was the guy who hoarded all the Rosaline Amiibos. Anyway. Ha! Ah. Yeah, it's actually a real theory. Um, anyway. Hopefully you all are enjoying that. I I know that I kind of popped off talking about, um, Grinch leak and just really info dumping, but it'd be like that. No, it was good, though. Anyway, Larry and Hackerman John move on to the next round. And this is a very interesting matchup, I believe. I think... I think it can best be described with the um, old versus the new. That's right. In one corner, we have Twist and Chili's. And the other, we have Hamburger Helper and Dadendorf. Here it comes. God, this is such a match. I don't want anything to lose. This is just, this is something else. Mm hmm All right, uh, what do you, who do you think's gonna win this? Now this is, this is really hard. We've got, uh, on the one hand, uh, Twist and Chili's here have the speed advantage, mm -hmm. the range advantage that can put in a lot of work. That said, uh, again, they're, they're, they're a young couple. They're wonderful. They have a lot of care for each other, but they're still new to this. They're still figuring this out. Meanwhile, uh, Dadendorf and Herberger Helper uh, not only have a lot of history with one another that's, like, keeping them grounded, uh, they're also literally grounded by, like, their sheer physical sure. mass, uh, and their powerful attacks mean that it's going to be... They don't need to rely as much on, like stringing together combos and like stuff like that to rack up damage they can just look at you and hit you once exactly and i do think that well i do think that they're like previous baggage that's it's still weighing down a little bit otherwise i feel like they might still very well be in winner's bracket right now but mm -hmm. nevertheless um let's not waste any time let's i mean actually let me uh, switch up the thing while i'm switching up the thing if you want to draw art of everything going on here then you can post it on twitter with a hashtag CPU kerfuffle, or you can post it on the Uru, which you can find the next way you can mark art. If you want to see a bucket, which I know you do, and you sure fucking do, you can type exclamation mark bucket in the chat. <laughs> Unrelated to anything. If you want to submit a future character, you can type exclamation mark submit. It'll take you to a form where you can submit it. Um, if you would like to check out the wiki which got all the stuff it's still in development but it's being worked on by a bunch of really passionate fans who i care deeply for do that anyway enough talk how about you round one reluctantly Shit. crouched fuck <laughs> i keep on misclicking i need hot keys i need hot keys to fucking do this i mean to be fair aren't we all reluctantly crouched today i suppose we are i suppose are. Hey. all right yeah, right now, they're really showing off their just... Oh, God. See, the problem with this chonkiness is that they're very easy to hit. Mm. Ooh, and Twist barely avoiding getting absolutely destroyed by some people. Mm -hmm. Oh, no! Ooh, if if Team wait, what? Uh, Twist and Chili's here... Oh, no, they, they the got each other. I was like, wait, who did he get there? Oh, no, oh, Hamburger no. Helper! My God! Eviscerated tonight, aren't they? Absolutely. Hamburger Helper, are you throwing? Okay, that was just a big ol' stomp. Okay. <laughs> Gender of the day, reluctantly crouched. <laughs> You're like, they crouched me the raid phrase. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, God. And with that, uh, a soccer already has to be taken. Nice. How fast Everyone is this fucking is match? Falling. What the hell? Okay, everyone's down to win stock now? I think? I looked away and now we're all down to one stock. What the fuck is going on? The theme 
this is of tonight's match here against these when two you hear, teams. When you people never talk, stop going in. When you hear people talking about gay panic, this is what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> God. Oh, and that's gonna do it! Alright, that was... I think this is was... the quickest match we've had all night. Easily! Christ. Checkmate. Yeah. Okay. Checkmate, I guess. What even happened? I don't know. But it sure fucking happened. Alright. Let's just do round two, then. Like, we were just moving right along after that. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> Welcome to Yoshi's World. It's a world of Yasi. This is where the Yoshis go when they have a day. Jesus. And this is where the fighters go when they have a fight. So Bingo. You said it best. It's the same. <laughs> All right, right now, a lot of damage on Team Kraken. Oh, wait, we have a Thorn at the ready. Ooh. Ready to unleash at a moment's notice. Let's just hope that Twist can stay out of the crossfire. Absolutely. What? Oh, that's scary. And with that, oh, there's a stock gun from there. And Hamburger Hill only has 16 damage? Insanity. Absolute tomfoolery. And, uh, oh god, yeah, Team Chonk is way ahead. Ooh. This is a really firm turnaround from last match. The momentum firmly in their corner. Absolutely, you can say that again. Granted, the momentum helps. firmly in their corner. Grant helps for uh, helps for Team Chunk not to SD a hundred thousand times. But Absolutely. either way, uh, there goes uh, there goes Dadendorf getting knocked down by a spike. Oh, I thought we were gonna see another spike there. It was really close to hitting too. And there goes Hamburger Helper. These guys need a to burger. get. Team Kraken needs to get a lot of damage in if they want to keep the, their hopes alive. Even on stocks, but my god, they've taken so many punches. Absolutely. They just be grabbing each other. Okay. Oh god, Ooh, it's just it's chaos. Amazing. The thing is, like, these guys are really good at just, like, getting into a big ball of, of mm -hmm. chaos, and I love that. Oh! Getting the spike! Hamburger Helper in the drink, putting Team Kraken back in the lead! <laughs> the risky play paid! And she does oh. it again! Hungry Wait, boy. hold up! Hold up! Can I just say real quick? So what happened was that Dadendorf did the fucking, like, thing to like, get extra recovery, and as he jumped off, Chili's was right there, ready to go like, no, mm -hmm. mm, bye. Holy hell, that's absolutely starving for it. We love a bloodthirsty, ravenous lesbian, we do. Oh, yeah, I want to see do. her do it again. Me too. God. Shout out to Twist. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Good tech. They're just moving around. They're just moving. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's just devil. Adendorf right now. Although. Oh, I. <laughs> what even happened there? Like, I saw, like, there was a grab going on. Someone hit someone else. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I feel fully like a wild fucking animal watching this match. I feel depraved. <laughs> this is a good stuff. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Now, we got to be very careful because now it's just 1v1. <laughs> oh, Thoron right there. Elf Thunder. Chili's okay. out here with the, with the range attacks like it's just you and me, old man. Can mm -hmm. you play keep away forever? Yeah, I mean, you gotta be careful, because... Oh, you can get stuff like Ooh. that! Oh, gotta avoid, because any strong strong smash from Ganon mm -hmm. can finish the job. Dodging the up oh, and showing a stab That's gonna do own. it! That's gonna do it! And she tries to go... Oh, she tried to go for it even more! She was going for this effect! Starving for it! I am here for it, ma'am! Ma'am! <laughs> uh, alright, so we cut over to Hamburger Helper and Dadendorf. Um... Sort of on the field, Dad and Darth looking over to Hamburger Helper saying, You. You threw that first game. Didn't you, man? Hamburger just sort of chuckles and says, Yeah. Listen, we've been at this for a long time. I say it's time to pass the torch, don't you? I think these two gay ladies, they got some spike in them. I think who else to carry out that kind of legacy? You know? <gasps> Now, come on, let's go get some spaghetti. 
and they walk out as Twist and Chili's <gasps> moves on. You love to see the older generation taking care of the young like that. You love to see the solidarity in our community. All right, and with that, we're down to four <sighs> teams. We're down to Team Charm with Matt Miller, Knight, and Cupid Shuffle. Team Caliber with Doctor Order and Captain Quat and Dratic. Team Kraken with Twist and Chilies, and Team Cones with Larry and Hacker Man John. Here we go. What a fucking, what a fucking set of teams. Am I, I right? can't wait. I can't wait for some dramatic twist in the future to happen where Twist and Chilies are in danger for some reason, and through the <laughs> fucking wall comes their two gay dads yes! to protect them. <laughs> fucking looking like looking like that one scene. Oh god, I'm gonna. You know what? Fuck it, I'm saying it. Like that. Looking like that one fucking scene from Collide where Dad punches out of the fucking wall. <laughs> That's right. We're home sucking. We're not afraid to admit it. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So let's go to winners finals real quick. <laughs> the days since the last Homestuck reference counter yeah. has been reset. Stop you know the it. clock. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting on my fucking meme right. Yeah, I'm no Puzz. Thank you, Puzz. <laughs> In one corner, we have Team Charms, Matrimony Knight, and... Oh, Robin. I thought that was uh, Zelda. We just did that. And Cupid Shuffle <laughs> versus Dr. Order and Captain Quadratic. So I'm going to say something real quick. Um, say it. Team Charm has shocked me this mm -hmm. game. I think I had Team Charm in for like last place. Mm -hmm. I think I added in there, so they've been shot. You underestimate me. the power of love. But here's the problem: there's no love here. What can they take from it? it that's a good point. They, they've coasted through this whole tournament, powered up by the love of the people they fought against. They are now up against what is an affront to everything they stand for, and they will gain nothing from this. Yeah, and I mean, that's worrying. To be fair, maybe they just maybe they're just thinking, hey, you know what? Let's fuck them up. Fuck them. Maybe guys. they maybe now they're powered uh <clears throat> less by love and more by righteousness to show yeah. that they will not stand for something like this. They will prove that love is real. True. Plus, um people um have uh have put mentioned in chat that there is love in there. It's just incredibly one sided. It's just very, very twisted and sad. Absolutely. I feel bad for Captain Quadratic. I hope that mm -hmm. he gets I hope he gets better soon. He was built to be a lovesick puppy, and that's kind of terrifying, actually. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, Doctor Order is one of the more fucked up characters I've ever made. Why do I simply Damn lady? Wait, that's am I Captain up. Quadratic? Can I get your number though? Wait, am I Captain Quadratic? <laughs> <laughs> anyway! <laughs> Let me set up the uh, border real quick. Okay. We have a matrimony night and Cupid Shuffle versus Doctor Order and Captain Quadratic. All right. I can't wait uh, for the day that Ryan decides to get into cosplay, and his first cosplay is specifically going to be Green Captain Falcon, and I will understand. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, I actually have done cosplays before. Um, oh, hell yeah! Yeah, I think the best one I've ever done is, um, well, I did two of them. That were, the two of them I did that were really good was uh, David from Camp Camp, if only because um, all my friends who had watched it were like, you're literally David from Camp Camp. It's literally just <laughs> yeah. you. What the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, no, that's me, huh? And then also I did Quote, which I really like doing because Quote's Hell badass. Yeah. All right, anyway. Team Charm of Matrimon Matrimony Knight and Cupid Shovel versus Team Caliber with Dr. Order and Captain Quadratic. Round one, begin. A match for the ages. I done cosplay once in my life and it was the engineer from Team Fortress 2. 
Yeah. Ooh, that's good. I was about to say, I'd actually talked to Amanda about doing like a. We have a huge uh, group cosplays fan. Oh, he tries to open with a falcon <laughs> punch. Fuck what I was saying. Fuck my cosplay plans. He tried to open with a falcon punch. We can finish that thought later. Jesus Christ, the boldness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right now, Team Caliber is kind of bringing it home already, but. All right. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry God. after that. No, yeah, no, you don't. Right. How do you? What do you even do there? I was about to say, like, a Captain Quadratic was really tapping into his uh, Captain Valentine DNA there. That's for damn sure. <laughs> what? I think he just sub smashed her. Yeah, I'm but telling you, this is this is the most confusing team ever. Uh -huh. In the context we're putting in. Oh god, what if it's something like, oh, I know everything about you, Dr. Order. I love you so much, and you know more than everyone that loves her. Also, thank you to, uh, wait, something just happened. Uh, I'll text, I'll text stream out in a sec, but, oh, it was Kiddo for the sub. Thank you for the sub, Kiddo. Kiddo. Oh, yeah. oh god, the spike. Oh. <sighs> Metro Knight getting spiked, although, although Dr. Order dying just as quickly. Mm-hmm. Which leaves, um, both, um... Oh! What Whoa! was that? What was that I'm left step to spike? spike? I was about to say, like, uh, Cuba Trouble's probably gonna die first, but then Cuba Trouble's like, no! Sorry, be gone, simp. What if I simply didn't die and actually was so strong and cool? He My boy Cuba Shuffle putting in work. Oh! And with that, we're all down to two stocks. Here we go. Ooh, getting some damage in, and right now the damage is looking very highly, well, not very highly. It's still mm. very, this is a very close match. Oh, that was a fun little uh, bounce that they did with uh, Captain Falcon. Looked like a wombo mm -hmm. combo. Bouncing him like a funny ball. Mm -hmm. Damage stacking up a little bit higher on the blue team here. Oh my god, he fucking did the fucking cape thing and disappeared and avoided Captain Qu mm. Quadratic. Slapped what the fuck? right off the edge. Holy shit, Metro Knight is like, okay, I'm just going to say it. Right now, Team Charm is eating specifically Captain Quadratic for dinner due to his unrequited love, unrequited whatever, mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> However, right now, uh, Team Ooh. Caliber is still in the lead. Making a strong comeback play here. Yeah, anything can still happen here, but it looks like, oh, oh what the fuck? Okay, wait, oh, got stopped by the uh, hula hoops. This ledge play here is so fucking nasty, and it's doing right? so much for both teams. Right? Oh, the footstool! Oh my god. Oh my god, the match oh night! No! The match couldn't recover! Wait, how oh. did you recover? You got footstool! How the fuck did you recover? Uh, gumption. Okay, fair. <laughs> that was upsetting. Anyway. Oh, he tried to get the spike, but it didn't work. Oh, that, he that deep breathing. It's gonna take a lot for, uh... Oh god, someone just donated. Thank you for the dono. You're, I forgot how loud these things are. I'll take a look in a moment. I'll take a look at Streamlabs after the match. Ooh, oh, this is going to take a lot for Keep Trouble to bring it back. It's not impossible, trying though. Trying to hang on. Captain Quadratic trying to go for that jab into a confirmed oh. smash, but it's not enough. I was about to say, right now... Oh, God. That's not a kill throw. It's a kill throw. That's a kill throw! <laughs> it didn't look like it was going to be. And yet, here we are. And with that... This team takes the first set, first match of the set. All right, I'm gonna take a look at that donut that you just gave. Uh, thank you to. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Cobalt friend donating ten dollars, saying first time catching CPU of a scroll. I didn't realize there was lore. I'm intrigued. Yeah, if you want to check out exclamation mark wiki. Um, yeah, we've been developing this overarching story as time's gone by, and uh, it's really fun to do. And. Uh, Right now, it's like all completely improvised. So if you're expecting like consistency, like if you're gonna be all like, well, back in CPU, Kufafil died. Uh, technically, Princess Remedy has two dogs, not one. Then I'm gonna have to stop you right there and say, I'm so sorry. I can't remember everything that I say about the characters. You but need way, to understand that A, most of the people involved have ADHD, and true. B, that's why we're uh, doing this, because we have ADHD. <laughs> this is operating on the rule of funny, where things happen true. because they're funny. Exactly. Which is why we announced the first official homophobe character tonight. And then promptly beat the shit out of him. Exactly. <laughs> but thank you very much for the donation. That means a ton. All right. Um, now that we have done that, okay, thank you very much for the donation. Let's go to round two. I think the Team Charm can take this. It's just like, um, 
it's gonna be a little bit rough. Like, I think that if, um, I think that if Matrimony Knight didn't, like, mess up on that recovery and, like, fall into the ground, I think they could have, like, took it even. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's get round two. <laughs> Mazilla coming out as a home foe, which is a JoJo meme where everyone starts kicking that one person. True! All right. All right. A lot of, a lot of hits going on right now. Oh god, I don't even know what- I don't even know how to, like, handle this. Ugh. Right now, again, the- Oh no! Immediate spikes for Matrimony Knight! Alright. There's moving, there's moving, there's moving. Oh my god! What the hell? He's been spiking everybody! Captain you Quadratic is off the hook right now, I'm telling you! Everyone's gonna She go chose down wisely when she night. chose to clone Captain Valentine. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Someone made that meme. It's on the boo Thank God. I can't wait to see it when we look at the end. <laughs> Alright, so right now there is a stock advantage plus some change. So, that's a bit frightening. But, right now it's just a mad flurry of blows. An absolute whirling dervish of pain Ah, today. but then... Oh no! I thought that was uh, Captain Quadratic that went out. But it was, um... It was another... Not, it was another matrimony night life. Oh no. Alright, we're moving. And uh, right now it's gonna take a lot for Team Trying to bring this back. But it looks like we might be seeing a 2-0 unless a miracle happens. And miracles can't happen, but... And, uh, Matrimony Knight just took out Cupid Shuffle. They're up two stocks. This is gonna, like, two stocks to the number, almost. Mm -hmm. It's gonna My take a... It, it is gonna take a little bit of a miracle to finish this off, but... A or strong, commanding lead! Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, they're coming on to dry land soon, so that's helpful. Alright. Dr. Order going in with the ball. Dr. Order trying to charge up, and... Oh god, there they go! Everyone's got one stock! Although, again, Matchroom Knight's at 116, so that hardly means anything. But this is not undo... This is completely doable. Especially Matchroom Knight can stay alive for as long as he can. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he barely dodges it! Matchroom Knight... Matchroom Knight it's... playing fucking... Keep... Matchroom Knight playing fucking um, Ring Around the Rosy. Oh, oh, and there he goes. Leaving 29% on each enemy, leaving up. Quite the, the fucking goal for Cupid Shuffle. Not quite enough to win this. And oh, and that upset is gonna finish it. Cupid Shuffle. Don't Putting Doctor Order in the finals. My God. I don't even know how to feel about this. If if they win this, God, I don't even know. And then, well, mm. not only are they win this, but what if she beats Gordo's Revenge? Oh no. That's gonna be interesting. Oh no. Oh no. We're going to see Mask DDD version 3.0 and that worries me. Absolutely. All right. Um Let's go, I guess. Uh Indigo Ripley in chat asking, "Wait, who is Gordo's partner?" Gordo's partner is the Gordo. You'll see. You'll I have a plan for Gordo's partner, don't worry. All right. Heading down to the loser's bracket. In one corner, we have Twist and Chili. That's not Chili's. What the fuck? Where are you, Chili's? Hi, welcome to Chili. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Dead one, dead one. Uh, Motherfucker. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's because I keep on. I'm used to seeing female Robin for that. That's why you get so confused. <laughs> Versus Larry. And Hacker Man John. Oh my god. What a fucking match. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. I don't even know what to say after this. I know what I was to say of this. I didn't say that sentence at all. Let's go, lesbian! <laughs> yeah, no. I think that uh, everyone wants both of these guys to win. But unfortunately, <laughs> the, the cards just ain't in it. All right, let the me... sad part about this is that we're rooting for both of these teams. 
Like, exactly. I know which one I want to win because of my inherent bias, but, like, of course, I have yeah. no problem Same here. with either of them winning, and that hurts. Exactly. Like, I like I have inherent bias, but I would be just as happy if, like, Larry won. <laughs> there's there's no bad outcome of this match, is the thing. But there's also no good outcome because one of them has to go. Yeah. Well, I mean, the other one just get to, like, take a break and enjoy <laughs> some spaghetti. But that said, the gays, the lesbians. Absolutely. Um, and uh, once again, everybody, if you want to, if you've been drawing art based on anything going on or making some good memes, you can post it on the Buru by going to Exploration Smart Art, and you can post it there, or you can post it on Twitter with the hashtag CBR Ruffle. If you want to check out the bracket, you can do Exclamation Mark Bracket. If you want to donate, you can do Exclamation Mark Donate. Um, and then there's also Discord and Wiki. You can find out, you can figure that stuff out for yourself. I know y'all are smart cookies. All right. And you can do exclamation point turnips to know how the stock markets are doing today. Absolutely not true, but you can do exclamation mark bucket. <laughs> you fell for one of my classic lies again. Ah, dang it, your curses. We <laughs> fell for it. <laughs> she can't get getting away with it. Oh, but I can. All right, Team Kraken's Twist and Chili's versus Team Cones, Hackerman, John, and Larry, the Florida Man, round one. <laughs> now, I think that a matchup of, um, also Man, I love Monkey Watch. I think that uh, these two versus Dr. Order would be quite the matchup. And honestly, I would want to see both of these teams fight um, Dr. Order for various reasons. Either way, it's going to be, like, if, if either of these make it into the finals, it's going to be a true showing uh, of love versus cruelty. Absolutely. And that's what I love. Oh, and a lot of damage on Team Cones already is mm -hmm. Team Cones adapts to the battlefield picking Duck Hunt. With, with those, like, weird projectiles that they can just vomit out all over the course, uh, both teams have a lot of really powerful stage presence and control mm -hmm. here, a lot of options across the board. Absolutely, especially with just dropping a fucking Thoron, that just covers almost the whole damn thing. Mm -hmm. And it's already socked down from Hackerman John. <clears throat> mm. with, with Larry very close to getting knocked out, but so is Twist. Absolutely. Ooh, but but Chili's is down. still alive, baby. Chili's holding in fast with a very nice damage percentage, might I say. Very nice indeed. And Ooh, Chili's, Chili's is out of Thoron, but uh, it might not matter too much because Chili's still has that stock lead. Giving mm -hmm. the, just them an overall stock lead in general. That's, right now, that's I think... going to be very nice for them as far as like morale goes at the very least. Absolutely. I mean, hey, maybe the blessing of uh, maybe the blessing of um, Hamburger Helper and uh, Dadendorf might be able to uh, push him forward. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know how you feel about superstition, but I'm just saying. They're, I they're showing feel superstitious their stuff. about. Who was that? A, I think that was a spike. I couldn't even tell. There was just everything going on over there. It was strong. As well they're as up by like so, by two stocks, mm -hmm. just straight up. Well, one stock Ooh. now, but either way. That's Still a pretty commanding lead when you consider the. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. no, this is gonna be rough. No pun intended for Larry's current pick. <laughs> I get it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> See, Jock. I don't understand, Jock. All right. Uh, twist tried for the uh, classic combo. It didn't quite work out because uh, dog because a uh, funny Larry went the other direction. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, right now, um, yeah, this is just working out really well in Team Kraken's favor. It's gonna take a lot for Team Cones to bring it back. Not impossible, but it's gonna take a damn, damn good amount of work. Hell yeah, do hey, your we'll best. See. And that sort of play isn't gonna do it. <laughs> Where Ooh, you just up smash your teammate. The Guardian. Oh, that's a smash. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful, that's a very scary thing to have out. Larry trying to play the distance game here, bringing out the projectiles and the firing squad to help like rack up the damage. Absolutely, Larry's Throwing the very... cannon. Yeah, for all for all that's said and done, Larry's doing a very good job with what he's meant to do with all his projectiles. <laughs> it's just right now, Twist and Chili's are just have all that power. Oh, but now everyone's Ooh. down to one stock, technically. What the I mean, Thoron? Yeah, Jesus. But it doesn't kill. Uh huh. This is this is just ridiculousness because like all of them have. Oh my God! Bring him out of stumble, but with the with the crystal. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a I thought that was gonna be a oh, fucking spike. Christ, yeah. This is scary. Yeah, no, nah, uh, Team Kraken needs to Team Kraken needs to close out this kill. It's just not happening. They need to move in and grab this. Wait, Thor fast. Thorn's online. Okay, that's one. Oh, and the can. And that's Woo! the double. Bracket. <laughs> oh god, did I wait? Did I do something wrong with bracket again? 
with Team Kraken. Wait, did I say wrong in the did I say something wrong in the bracket? What are you doing the bracket? What's wrong with the bracket? Oh, Ryan, the bracket. Did I do something wrong? Oh no, you said that Larry and Hackerman John have two wins right now. Oh my bad. I said that completely wrong. Why did I say? Wait, why? I, I don't remember saying that. Either way, uh, I mean, you didn't say it, but like it's in, it's the number on the on the overlay right now. Oh, that's what's going on. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. I forgot to change the scores back from last time. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. I was like, what are you guys talking about? Oopy Daisy. Thank you guys. All right. Um. Let's not waste any time. Let's go on right on to round two, shall we? Let's -a go there. Let's -a go. And I think that uh, so I think that uh, Team Kraken really showed up. But let's see what Larry rolls this time. He guts. Long from Pennsylvania. I know that guy. He's from Pennsylvania. True. I've heard of it. Me too. All right. So, see, thing is, what I've seen, Links and Links and CB Rubble do pretty good. So this might be a really good pick, depending on how it turns out. Uh, let's see. And right now they're just throwing stuff as Great Bay comes on. Also, very fitting to get Link on Great Bay. I'm a Great Bay. Wink, wink. How you doing, Ollie? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all Not right. Not quite as blitzed as last time, but starting to feel the goofy. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm absolutely. holding on though. <laughs> nevertheless, nevertheless, right now um things are looking a little bit in Team Team Coach's favor, if only a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just, just that slight bit of a lead. Oh, not anymore. To, ooh, never not mind. anymore. Rip. <laughs> with, with the slight. Oh, but the white sweep on the phantom hurt mm. chilies there. Absolutely, a little bit of a. That was a very interesting hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, that counter. Nosferatu getting in. God, what is going on in this hot tub pit? This is just a double date. This is straight up just a double date. They're just Literally. like hanging. They're just hanging in the hot tub for this double date. They're just like, man. Like, like the here. stakes are high, but at the end of the day here, they're just like, you know, we're all friends. We're all like yeah. enjoying each other's company and like our relationships. We're glad to spend the time here. Yeah, outside year. of the ring, they are very good friends. Mm -hmm. You love to see it. Mm -hmm. Like, like no matter what happens here, you know that like after the tourney's done, they're gonna like be yucking it up and congratulating one another. Absolutely. Absolutely, these men, these people are very good friends. Uh, that's I battle. I've seen um, I've seen a whoa, hello. Well, never mind. What I was saying this is a really <laughs> weird, this is a really weird overlay of um like stocks right now with uh mm -hmm. two stocks of piece on Team Kraken, but a three one in Team uh in Team Cones. I'd right. say that right now the advantage is for Team Kraken, but anything can happen. Absolutely, uh, because there's a massive amount of damage right mm -hmm. now on, on Larry and like one. See, there you go, and out yeah, he that'll goes. Do that'll do it. And I, ooh, I that feel arc fire. like ooh, I feel like Hackerman John here is very close to getting knocked out again. Mm -hmm. And uh, then he's probably gonna have to fight tape. to stay in there. Absolutely. Oh, and by his own, by his own man's. Mm-hmm. And with the share stock, it is four lives to two. Absolutely, it's gonna take a whole lot of Team Cones wants to stay in this tournament. Whoa, what was that fucking like? Carrying the Thoron. That was like fucking installing your fucking turbo pack on your N64 Ultra controller. Ultra instinct defense, like it was nothing, just none of that. Absolutely. Um, Chili's, what kind of galaxy brain play was that? Chili's the threw, genius level brain Chili's maneuver. threw a fucking, a fucking fire, fire thingy into the thing. It hit the side of the rock, and that's what hit it. Mm -hmm. Also, very good double kill from Hackerman John. Hackerman John could still theoretically bring this back. It's gonna be rough, but especially with these two powerhouse women. He does have a chance. It's going to be hard, but the chance is there. Yeah, and right that now it's said, not working very well in his favor. Lesbians. Yeah, not working out very well in his favor right now, but... <laughs> Alright. Huh. Alright, that'll do it! And with and that, we and Team Kraken go. goes 2 up. With both members of Team Kraken still in it at the end. Absolutely. We had a lot of, like, one-on-one -on -one showdowns at the end of matches, but no, in this one, both of the girls holding strong and fast. Yep, this. and that will take us to Loser's Finals. 
Let me uh, update this so we can just get right into it. Oh, actually, before we get into it, um, we take a look at Team Cones as they say their final word in the tournament since they're about to leave. You know, go get some stuff. Um, they look back to um, Twist and Chilius and they say, and uh, Larry says, hey, Twist. And Twist goes, hmm? Larry says, if you meet up with Dr. Order, can you send her a message for me? And she says, uh, yeah, what is it? Tell her to go fuck herself. <laughs> he flashes a peace sign as they walk out. <laughs> and I, I imagine Chili is just, like, standing there fucking, like, amped up, like, oh, I can't wait to tell her to fuck off. All right. But before you can do that, they have to face off against Team Charms, Ooh. Matrimony Knight, and Cupid Shuffle. All right. Um, I mean, I think we all know what we're cheering for here, so let's not waste I, any time. I, I got to go with the girls here is the thing. I got to go with the girls. As much as I love uh, Matrimony Knight and Cupid Shuffle, like... Yeah, they're, they're the, great. I love them. The but... girls have shown their absolute dominance of the field in both the range game and the close-up game. They, they literally have it all. Absolutely. All right, all right, let's go. Round one of Matrimony Knight and Cupid Shovel versus Twist and Chilies. Team Charm versus Team Kraken. Let's go. Lesbians. I spelled it wrong, but I hit enter anyways. Lesbian bazo- <laughs> Now, someone did mention this is actually a, um, a, uh, canon member of Red Kraken versus a Kerfuffle member of Red Kraken, which is very mm -hmm. interesting. <clears throat> Alright. Very interesting matchup so far, especially on Final Destination. Like, the thing with Final Destination is that it's so simple, it can't help but be interesting. Oh no, but then Match Warrior Knight gets a Gimp on Twist! What is happening? And Match Warrior Knight goes as well, with My Cuban God. Shuffle and Chili's both really just holding strong right now. Is this gonna be another match where everyone never stops going in again? Only one way to find out! <laughs> Those are my favorite types of matches. Absolutely. That's what we love to see. <clears throat> now, Chili's has to be careful because she only has so many Elwins. Oh, and there goes... Oh no, I think I I think I think Twist got Footstool. Unfortunately. Jesus, the fucking ledge games! The ledge garden game here is obscene. Ooh. Oh, Matrimony Knight really showing the power of love here. Mm -hmm. And right now, there is a very big advantage here for Team uh, Team Charm, but anything can happen. Mm -hmm. It is three to four, but Matrimony Knight is light and high on damage, so he could get sick early, True. evening it up a little bit. Absolutely. <clears throat> they just have to get in and get one good hit on him. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it ends up. Oh wow, that was interesting. Ooh. Using the uh, using the uh, tornado to negate the uh, not negate the damage. Oh, I thought that she was gonna go in and hit him while he was while he was being shuffled. <laughs> Trying to go for the combo move, but they can't quite land it. And uh, a double kill from Cupid Shuffle. Ooh. Are we gonna get a share stock? Share stock. A share stock. The there is a the there is an advantage right now for Team Charm by one stock, but uh, if it, if a team if the Team Kraken can finish it off really quickly, then who knows? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Ooh. It is looking rough for Team Kraken here. All right, yeah, no, a little bit. This round might not be the one. You still got another round after this for, for all you Team Kraken fans. I'm those. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that took that out. Still got to take on two stocks all on her own. Can Twist pull it off? It is one versus two. Uh, and I know she's probably terrified right now, but my God, she is not giving up. Absolutely not. Ah, there it goes. But it's not enough. Belief can only take you so far. All right. And with that round one goes to Team Charm. Well fought. Absolutely well fought from Team Charm. Now, you ever notice how Matrimony Knight looks like a ball of marshmallows? Yes, I have, Holly. You could bite him. You yes, shouldn't, but you, you could. could. 
<laughs> Round two. Here we go. A lot of people are in Team Kraken's corner. Some people are also in Team Charm's corner. Honestly, I would be okay with seeing both teams win. I have my mm -hmm. preferences, obviously, but these both of these teams have proven their worth. Definitely. And Monkey Watch is playing, giving Team Kraken a boost. <laughs> Canonically. Yeah, that's true. That's canon. Uh, anyway. I think we should and look, they already have more damage. Shoot. Holy shit, there's there's a stack from Keep Jump. I'm telling you, Monkey Watch Out gives power. They go. Out they go. Go. Never say I'm joking when I say Monkey Watch gives Team Kraken power. It does. <laughs> we don't do jokes here on CPU Kirkbuckle. Just facts. <laughs> Here's a fact. You can type exclamation point fact and learn things that are true. That... Stop making me add bots to Nightbot. <laughs> you don't have commands, to. <laughs> brother. All right. Oh, but right now, um, Match Roommate's very good at just getting out there and getting those gimps. I will give, uh, I'll give Matrimony Knight the credit where credit is due for damn sure. He's very good at just making sure that once you're out there, you're, it's going to be hard for you to live. But Matrimony Knight is off as, um, as uh, Chili's is at a very nice percentage. Oh, complete misses Nosferatu. Oh, that's very mm. nice. That's smooth. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Wow. I'm tell. Holy shit. Monkey Watch is actually giving them power, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, never mind. Five stocks to four. Holding on strong. Absolutely. Oh, but that's going to do it for uh, Chili's stock. Either way, they're both at zero right now. That's... Stocks lost. They, yeah, they're dead. They absolutely reset, have. And it does not reset any of the hurt they piled on. Absolutely. Keep charge. Although, they're going to want to get a hit on um, Stupid Shuffle just to finish. Oh, that's a hit. That was a Ooh. spike. Jesus Christ. That was direct. That was. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's like those moves you'd see in those PC tank games where, like, the shell automatically falls down on top of a tank. <laughs> Odd pull, I know, but let me have this. I've been playing a little bit. <laughs> I'll let you have anything, my friend, because oh, I love you. You know what other game I've been playing recently that I both mm -hmm. regret and I'm glad I'm getting into? What's up? Auto chess. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got into, like, the, at first I was playing, like, I'm playing a lot of Husband Battlegrounds, like, on stream and stuff. I'm just talking because mm -hmm. I know that uh, Team Kraken's got this, I think. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm jinxing it. But either way, um,. Like, I've been playing a lot of, like, Battlegrounds, and I was like, what if I try the original one? And I'm trying the original, I'm like, okay, I see the appeal. <laughs> mm -hmm. I might have to stream Dota Underworlds, which is basically what it became. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's not my type of game, but it is really. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. Like, mm -hmm. I remember it took, and it took me, a, like, a couple tries to get into it, but that's just because, like, the first other chance I tried was the one on Epic Games Store, and the one at Epic Games mm -hmm. Store sucks. I'm it's speaking so a cup of tea. I should finish mine. Absolutely. Anyway, oh. everyone's under their last stock. Um, it's empty. I've already finished it. However, now it's just a 2v1 with Matrimony Knight trying to take on both of them at once. I probably should oh! have more 1046. And do it. There we go. Are we going to get an odd chest stream sometime soon? Probably. We're we'll probably going to get an odd chest stream soon. Anyway, round two with goes to Team Kraken. And they do the pose, baby. Oh, the girls are posing. Hey, guys, guess what? We're round That's three, baby. Round, round three, three, baby! Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Round three. Round three. We got it. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay. Welcome to Cotton Candy World. It's made of cotton candy. You can eat it. You know what's actually really funny about this? What? If you choose Minecraft Steve on this stage, instead of like getting dirt when you mine, you get uh, wool. <laughs> That's cute. I know, I love that. I remember when I tried it, and I tried it on the FD mode, and I was like, let's see what I get. And it was wool. I was like, yo, what the fuck? That's awesome. That's adorable. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Team Kraken off to a pretty good start, getting a lot of damage on people. I kind of forgot everything I wanted to say about this match because I'm just enamored by how cute this stage is. Yeah, no, Magic Hand is such a good stage. It is. It's absolutely not tournament legal, but we're making it tournament legal for CPU Ruffle just because of how good it looks. I'm really glad that they brought it back for this True. one and gave it the HD treatment. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Because the HD treatment it was for... nice on the 3DS, but God, it's, it's the so 3DS. much prettier here. Yeah, it's the 3DS. Come on. Yeah. Also, we haven't but... we haven't lost a single stock yet. My god. There we go. Everyone but Twist is in the red numbers. Absolutely. Twist is doing a really good job of just surviving. 
Good for her. And uh, and no sock. And we have stocks down on both members of uh, Team Charm with nothing out on Team Kraken. Mm -hmm. So far, it's things are coming up Kraken, but anything can happen in CPU Core Bubble. That's for damn sure. We've yeah. seen some crazy comebacks. They came into this round three, and they were like, "All right, let's get Kraken." And Ooh, then the whole yes. audience groaned at that one. No, I I mean I was down. <laughs> oh, and there goes Chili's up against the screen. Although right well, now they're doing a very good job of like confidence. they're doing a very good job of like taking these stocks without taking any damage. If they can like mm -hmm. take a stock from a Twist really quickly before they deal more damage, then they're gonna be in a situation where they can bring it back. Definitely. Although I think that 42 and 62 respectively might not be enough unless they're. Oh, he was really trying to go for that gimp. That's where Knight was really trying for the gimp. He was begging for. It. He was going. He was like, "Nair, nair, let me nair ya, let me nair ya." Didn't quite work though. <laughs> Desperate for it. He was, like, just, for it. he was like, I'm so fucking hungry for a nair. Come on, I'm starving. He was going out like, feed me. <laughs> and Twist still alive at 140. Absolute. My okay, God. there we go. A fucking monolith in this fight, refusing to go down until only now. Absolutely, and like both these guys are in the reds. Again, still mm -hmm. not, still absolutely any, still could be anyone's game, but it looks like if you were to place bet nods in Vegas, you'd be going for Kraken. <laughs> yeah! That's the spirit. Alright. Lots of stuff. And plus, you never know when an SD can happen. SDs can happen all the damn time. Especially because, oh, I just noticed the um, L wind is very low on um, Chili's right now. I can imagine that accidentally catching her off guard. Oh, and there goes Matrimony Knight. Matrimony Knight out sent out of like so many softballs. Absolutely. And there He's goes kind of a softball himself, I guess. Ouch! Though we do have a we do have a equal stock right now, but just give mm. us a second for um. Oh. Yeah, for uh, Cupid Shuffle. I was about to say, I thought that Match Knight was the one with high damage, but it wasn't. It was uh, Cupid Shuffle. Mm. Tilting back into Team Kraken's favor here, for sure. Uh, but it's still a very close match. Oh, the drill hitting Cupid Shuffle! Oh, God, I just... I just... I just realized this song... I just I just got the eight melodies. The... da 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 Da, 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 da. I haven't even played it found and I feel like I'm gonna cry. Anyway. It's just A Melody is just that kind of song. Also, um mm -hmm. Cupid Shuffle is about to go to Brazil. My god. They are sending him the express package straight to hell. Oh my god! <laughs> Completely off screen! <laughs> just going for it! Twist! had a shot, and Chili's was like, I know you're going to hit me uh, on your way to this kill. Do it anyways. Take Hell him down. Yes. Oh, that is this type of trust and support you'd love to see. All right, and that takes us to Grand Finals. Here we go. All right. Of Twist and Chili's Versus Dr. Order and Captain Quadratic. Oh, so this we see is gonna be one for the record books, folks. So we see them all meeting in the center. They're sort of talking it out since, you know, this grand final is a pretty big deal. Uh, Dr. Order sort of talking to them saying, listen, you all, you all are quite cute. I think that you all are doing a great job of showing this this whole like you know love thing you got going on it's it's very very nice and i must say i'm very i'm very glad that you all are happy you all can be happy as much as you want but um tell you what i'll strike you a little deal real quick if you remember what happened last time we faced off you know uh when you lost i think you remember that do you remember that yes you remember that um <coughs> tell you what i can save you from that embarrassment right now if you just want to i don't know throw in the towel I know, listen, I know that you wouldn't mind giving up, right? Like, listen, I understand you all have your egos and you don't want to... There are a bunch of people watching. They can see you. They they can see you right now. And do, do, you want, do they want them to see you fail? And um, Twisted Sword clears the throat and she says, <clears throat> You know, everything that you just said reminds me of a thing a friend once told me. 
Go fuck yourself, Dr. Order. <laughs> By the way, that was from Larry. Chili's is just like behind her, pumping her fists and going like, oh! Oh! <laughs> and Captain Quadrax is just like, Come I on. love my wife! Come quick, yes. just like, Dr. Order, your breasts are looking quite heavy. Do you need help carrying them? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He doesn't say that. He doesn't say that. He's just like, how dare you tell her to go fuck herself? That is my wife you're talking about! And Dr. Order is like, you're technically not married. That's my lover you're talking about, who I love greatly! And with My that, darling girlfriend, you're looking very chesty today. <laughs> People in chat tell me I'm projecting. God damn it. Anyway. I mean. God damn it, chat. Y'all are, are fired. Doctor Order titted breastly down the stairs. <laughs> God fucking damn it. All right. Let's go. her, I guess. Now, once again, reminder, um, Team Kraken has to win this set and the next set if they want to win, considering they're in loser's bracket and Dr. Ord and Team Caliber is in winners. So you got to make sure that you, uh, make sure that, you got to make sure they win twice if they want to take the tournament. And, uh, so yeah, let's not waste any time. Round one of Grand Finals! Twist let's... and Chilies versus Dr. Order and Captain Quadratic! Let's get down to brass tacks. I am actually so hyped for this. Holy shit. Three, I'm excited. Two, I'm excited. One, this is a literal showdown of titans here. It really is. Like, Twist and Chilies have had such dominating control of the field in, like, every match they play. Even uh, one exception. And yet, uh, Dr. Order and Captain Quadratic have an incredible rushdown game, uh, even to the expense of, like, their teammates, mm -hmm. that still has carried them this far. Absolutely. Now, here's the thing, is that, uh, oh no! There it goes! Hey. Now, here's the thing, is that they've only lost, uh, Dr. Order and Captain Quadratic have only lost one game in this entire mm -hmm. tournament, and that was against Twisted Chilies. Right. So, right now, if, if anything can show these two can bleed, it's these two. <laughs> However, that, Any that early tree, kill... no matter how old and tall, can be felled. Now, here's the thing: is that that early kill on um on a twist is gonna be cause a little bit of a problem and might have a thing for morale. Might kind of mess mm, up with the morale definitely. there. Definitely. Uh, but twist is staying strong, like playing a decent keep away game, but still moving in and racking up some damage. Jesus. I didn't even see who got the spike there, but it was something, that's for damn sure. But it sure happened to Captain Quadratic. Absolutely. And now we are back to even on stocks, although the 60 on Zelda is probably gonna, you're probably gonna feel on that one in the morning. Mmm, that one's gonna smart for sure. Mm -hmm. And right now it's just up to them to see who dies first, and it, oh, Ooh, the double the kill double! from Captain Quadratic! That's disgusting! That's the most illegal move in the history of CPU Corruption! Absolutely. Lordy, and right now it just looks like so it's gonna take a lot for Team Kraken to bring this back, but anything can happen. And that's one stock down. <laughs> They're down a stock right now with a little bit of a percent lead, but maybe they can just keep on building that percent lead. Cause that's, that is a percent lead. Yeah, no, they actually have been building even more percent. So they just need to make sure they don't find themselves in any disadvantageous uh, situations. Oh my God, what was that? Twist? <laughs> Twist with the sweet spot! <laughs> Twist with the sweetest spot! Putting them almost- Hungry for it. Almost back to even! However, Dr. Ori and Captain Quadratic just have this rush down that is absolutely destroyed. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's- All right, and that's a chair stock. That almost knocked out, uh- That almost knocked out Dr. Order. Oh, no! Ooh, just- That's brutal! God, yeah, no, these spikes are absolutely disgusting. He's not looking good for Twist and Chilies. Speaking of disgusting spikes. Yeah, I hate that enemy from Smash from Mario, bro. When he vomits up the thing and throws it at True. I want to- Oh, and with that, Dr. Roy and Captain Core Jack didn't take round one. With a strong upper, that's going to Don't take it. Don't forget to exhale when exerting yourself. All right. That's round one for Dr. Org and Captain Quadratic. Whew. It's gonna be a climb for Team Kraken to bring him back, but I think the people in chat might believe in him. Let's find out.
If any team can make that climb, by God, it's this one. All right, round two of Grand Finals. All right. All right. I'm just, I know I'm just saying all right over and over again, but what, God. All right, all right, all this right. Is just, Let's do this. Ooh, cutting off the deep breathing. That's going to be crucial if you're going to be dealing with Dr. Roar. That deep breathing can really put a dampener in you. But Dr. Messing but, with her flow like that is going to be crucial. Unfortunately, they're not able to stop it in time for this one. Absolutely. Either way, um, ooh, getting some residual damage and some stage control. Very helpful. Although that, that deep breathing from Dr. Order is absolutely proving to be a bit of an issue. For With a lot sure. of damage right now. Right now it is in favor of Team Caliber right now. I don't even know Ooh. what hit that. Something sure goddamn did. Absolutely. <sighs> oh, God. Absolutely. Oh no! Ooh. Oh no! That only connected with Twist! Yeah, I think I think it's just like, in light of everything, like, uh, again, we mentioned the young and experienced are getting a little bit frazzled, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I'm really hoping that doesn't spell disaster for them, but judging by the just... Pressure, I the pressure... The pressure of being here on Grand Finals is starting to get to them, and it's real yeah. unfortunate. I must say look at the socks, but like, I feel like um, Dr. Orr is about to lose that one. Either way, mm -hmm. the damage is gonna be a bit of a... Oh no! Oh no! What is happening?! I was about to say, uh, Twist didn't make it back just due to nature of that. Oh, they're gonna be down two stocks in a moment. Unless they can Ooh. get a really good, uh, unless they can get something really good right here. Oh, she's oh, trying to go for the- worry. Absolutely, especially if you're a Team Kraken fan, you're probably a little bit worried right now. It's called anxiety. True. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the hell's going on? There goes Captain. There goes Doctor Order. Wait, Six Chili's is still alive. I, everything is happening at once, and I'm just like, okay, who's alive? And I see that somehow if, Chili's is alive. If they can take that stop, oh, that's gonna be a kill. Dramatic, that's gonna be a kill. Gonna be evened up. Ooh, but there goes Chili's. I mean, if they can, if they can drop Doctor Order right, not Doctor Order. If they can drop Captain, uh, Captain Quadratic right about now. Then that'll do something. Oh no! The up special. Ooh. All right, two socks to one. It's going to take a lot for Chili's to bring this back. It's possible, but it's not going to be very easy. The uphill climb begins the Sisyphean task as she carries the boulder of victory what? up That was some hill. fucking big talent. That was an N64-ass combo. Trying to go for the arc fire instead of a neutral air, and that's going to bite her. Oh, and the up smash is going to finish the job. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And the winner of this tournament is a team of Dr. Order and Captain Quadratic. Folks, today love has lost, but never forget, love can never die. Damn. All right. Um, well, with that, the winner of your tournament is Dr. Order and Captain Quadratic. But it's time for the championship match. For the belt. For the belt. Although I needed to actually make a quick adjustment because um, there was a specific stage supposed to be on, and I didn't actually get the chance to um, make it happen. Finals. I think this is set to. Okay, cool, yeah. I see. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Dr. Order is sort of, you know, on. He, she's in the middle as the crowd uh, applauds? And she's There's very... a lot of confused cheering and a lot of booing. Yeah, but she's not she's not really reacting to anything. She has her hands behind her back and she's she's got a very rarely content smile on her face. Mm hmm She know she feels like she's one step away. As onto the field the champion arises, Gordo's revenge. The big man is back! The king is here! And Dr. Order simply says. Don't play it down with me, Dr. Gordo's Revenge. I know who your partner is, so you can bring him out whenever you're damn please. And with that, out from the side comes Captain Valentine. 
<laughs> the Valentine <laughs> man himself. Captain Valentine looks over to um, Dr. Order and says, well, Yeah, you really, um, you really did it this time, huh? You had to clone a champion just to get far in a tournament, huh? And um, Dr. Order, instead of being, like, you know, bothered by this remark, simply says, Listen, Captain Valentine, results are results. Now are you going to fight? Or are you going to die and let me take this tournament without any resistance? And with that, they square up. Ready for the grudge match. To determine who will be the next CPU kerfuffle champion. This is actually incredibly high stakes. Um. Gordo, Gordo, Gordo. Gordo, 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 Revenge! One, two, oatmeal, Kirby. Kirby is a pink guy. One, two, oatmeal, because Kirby's very cute. All right, all right, so far, so. Okay, so far, it's looking like it's really ruling in Captain Valentine and Gordo's Revenge's favor. But anything can happen. Ooh, as they do their best to... Oh, and there goes Captain Quadratic losing the first Ooh. stock. Oh my god! That deflect on the Gordo sends mm -hmm. straight towards... Absolutely. The Captain's Nugget. Absolutely. <laughs> Alright. Fists are flying in this location. And there goes Gordo's Revenge losing game. the first stock. And uh, so there's... Second stock. One stock uh, down a piece. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, one stock down a piece. They both use after dive <laughs> at the same time. Very funny. Synchronized swimming. Absolutely. All right. Very good hit on the uh, Super DDD jump. I was going to say, are you going to make it back? Oh, oh, and Gordo's Revenge knocks out Dr. Order from there. Talk, Gordo's Revenge said, nah, -uh, it's fine. <laughs> Gordo's Revenge said, hey. I gotta love to show ya. I love winning again. Oh, and Dr. Order gets spiked by Captain Valentine! <laughs> and that puts them a stock up, Ooh. plus all the damage that Captain Quadratic has right now. Mm -hmm. Captain <sighs> Valentine is just absolutely setting up shop for Gordor's Revenge to go straight to Pound Town. All right, and there are two stocks up. Although, again, anything can happen. If if uh, if Doctor Order's team can take out these stocks super quickly, like so, that's oh, one of them. Me, that's brutal. And there's the other one. Everyone's down to one stock. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy the shit. With the double tam tam. Huh. Oh my god. That's oh no. Reactor boost. What? What's happening? But, oh my god. Oh what the fuck's god. going on? It's just Gordo's Revenge! My god! Oh, he's still alive! He's alive thanks to Dr. Order! Dr. Order has made a fatal mistake, but is that enough? <gasps> oh, dear God! Holy oh. shit! And with that, a pedestal appears on the center, and Dr. Order, beaming, walks up to the top and says, mm, I'll do the commentator's job for them. Ladies and gentlemen of CPU Kerfuffle, and she puts on a crown, your new champion. Where did she get that crown? Uh, it was knocked off of Gordo's Revenge. <laughs> ah. Now, I think we'll have a very, very interesting kerfuffle in the next couple weeks. So, I hope you all are ready for that. Until then, I wish you all the best. And with that, she dims all the lights, enshrouding the stadium in darkness, ending the story for today. Welcome, everyone. To the end of CPU Kerfuffle as we know it. And okay. to the beginning of a bold new era. Okay, so I'm going to say two things real quick completely out of character. 
Uh-huh. One, dead ass. Uh, Dr. Order and CB Grill Champion was like best case scenario for me, if I'm being honest. Holy fuck. And I didn't expect it to actually happen. And two, if we're going by the, uh, if we're going by, like, the structure of, like, the first season, we have, like, two episodes until the season finale, so this is, like, structurally really fucking awesome. Holy shit. Um, okay. Holy shit! <laughs> what a fucking... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, no, we have some lore. Um, I'll be announcing what's going on with, uh, Dr. Order and what, what she's planning for the tournament, uh, over the next couple days, but... Okay! God, I don't even know, I didn't even plan this far out, I didn't think it would actually happen! <laughs> I thought that, I thought that Dr. Order being not good would, like, even out, uh, Captain Quadratic being really good. And yet. Right?! And yet. And fucking yet! Captain Falcon's just too good. <laughs> Alright, um, I guess let's take a look at art. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus Christ! How do we even how do we do anything after that? Uh thank you for the sub friendly Frankenstein. Um What do you even Yo, do after you. something like that? Well, you do what anyone else does, you know? You, Look at art. You wrap up, you go home, you go to bed, and then you wake up and face tomorrow's challenges. Yep, next one's in two weeks. It'll give me enough time to figure out what the fuck is going to happen. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is so fucking lit. I'm, I, can't, I can't handle this. I actually can't handle this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, let me um get the screen up real quick. Uh Fuck me. What a fucking stream. All right, let me get the right screen up. Okay, cool. I'm actually going to put this up so I can see the Oh, it's over here now. Cool. How cool the Valentine was defeated by his clone Dr. Order on the Valentine's Day special. Yeah. God. Call next level order versus chaos. Maybe I'll make maybe I'll make the next one because I, I remember I said that one day I wanted to fucking um I wanted to do like a uh, like sixteen person double elimination charity um chair like twelve hour charity stream. But maybe that could be something. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll play it by ear. That's what we're doing the whole time. But <laughs> holy shit! Yeah. Okay, we have a lot of art. God damn. Okay, let's start. Let's go chronological order. Um, that, okay, by the way, Holly, this was from the, uh, last stream. Someone had recommended, what if Dr. Order in his suit dress and Ryan in maid outfit? And I'm, oh, wait, I need to show that part <laughs> of the screen. Oh, wait, no, you can see it in, through OBS, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's from the last stream, but I just wanted to show it again, because why not? God. They know Ivy Simpson. Um. I mean, she does look good, to be fair. True! I actually, it is on the Friday, actually. Shh. Well, you know what? Iggy Friday, for sure. That's how Squid Jenny do. This is a very good oh, art yeah. of um, all this squad. God. Uh, th thank you to uh, Jordan TGE. God. I just want to say, like, all the art y'all are doing is destroying me, and I love it so much. Thank you all so much. I posted mine on Twitter. Yes, I'm going to check the uh, Twitter tag as well. Don't worry. We're going through the brew first. God, this is so good. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Order being like, ah, yes, peak graphic design. <laughs> God, this was as good as hell. Uh, I'm going to do a refresh in case someone just posted it, because when I switch back to the first page, I don't want to miss it. Okay, cool. Dearly beloved, you are cordially invited to an ass kicking. God, I love this one. Thank you so much, Silva Vions. <laughs> Source wedding, no mercy route. <laughs> True. <laughs> Oh, that's a Marvel one. Still very good. Also anime. Mm -hmm. Let's go. There. You said you never animated before Sleepy Cricket. I'm um, just saying. I know this isn't my stream, but very good first animation. Very cute. Yes, the bow. I was really hoping we'd get bow tie, Captain, uh, Thank Captain God. Valentine art. Thank Jesus. Oh, that's good. Um. <laughs> Sorry, Bing. If this looks gay to the viewers. Let's go. Good shit, good shit. Uh, thank you to Sylvians for that. And also, I forgot to say, but thank you to uh, 
Chris Baconator for that uh, Captain Valentine. I forgot to mention that. Hell yeah. Yes! Jordan TGE with the... <laughs> <laughs> She's figuring it out. Fuck yeah! <laughs> 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 Let's go! It's what he deserves! Honestly, though? Oh, I love it. Fucking love it. Yeah, so fucked, my man. Good. Also, the pink tattoo, true. Oh, the hearts! Dude. Jesus Christ, that's so good. I can't believe we actually made a gay dragon and, uh, and king of evil into a cute thing. We kind of did, and it kind of rules. Thank you, Trans Cat Art, for this very good Cupid Shuffle. Also, I forgot, to say, I forgot to say thank you to uh, uh, Basalt for this. That's Hell yeah. Now me getting emotional with CP from last week. I've had a, listen, I've had a weird week. True. Also, uh, this one is thanks to a Crispy Baconator. Um, yes! Oh, Regular God. couple, <laughs> Yowie couple, Yuri couple, I see no difference. <laughs> love is love! <laughs> yes! Pumping Let's fucking go! This, yeah. this is the best one. I, I <laughs> love it so much. Maybe love really did win. Maybe love really did win. Cause if anything, we we made being accept that like we we if anything we we destroyed a homophobe, so I think that's that a net good. win. Law of equivalent <laughs> exchange. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Not there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> God damn it! And the kerfuffle war from a solo fighter goes to Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love this. Fuck love yeah, it. babe! I love you, babe. Order, my beloved. Nice rack, babe. Heart emoji. Heart emoji. He said heart emoji out loud. I th God, that smug grin is going to murder me. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is so good. Thank you, Averlap, so much for this. God. Uh. Oh, shit. Hey, you guys want to know get how to get started with Firefox? Fuck I you. Mozilla's homophobic. Features. Anyway. <laughs> I don't care if Mozilla's skin is wrong. Poor Sap Advocate, this still looks very, very good. Oh, this is a cute one. Oh. Yo. <laughs> totally not a clone. <laughs> Oh my god, being in Mozilla, like, just facing opposite directions. Mm-hmm. Guy's cute as hell. Yeah. Also, I, I really do like the little bridal pickup here. Mm-hmm. That's The nice. extremely wife guy has signed into the tournament. True! The Good most wife guy. Thank you, poor sap advocate. Uh, let's see, we have this one. That is Chase's stream. <laughs> yeah. That is not Chase's stream. Okay, cool. I'm not quite sure what this is referencing, but I love it. I think this is uh, Bing and Google. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let's say I've said something in there. Story buckets. Regardless, I love it a lot, but I love it. Okay, Bing and wide Bing, best Bing. You know what? True. Honestly, I think that fits. Though. I think that fits. <laughs> Bing's just like, well... This is what made me. Oh, AB Burlap. Oh my God, you missed our reaction to your thing. Be sure to watch in the VOD because we popped off. It was very, very good, AB Burlap. Anyway. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. We have very good art of um, a homophobe being destroyed. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> Bing joined Chonk Challenge. Oh, don't tempt me. Let's see. A good Doctor Order. Is that Doctor Fuck Order yeah. where... Is that Dr. Order wearing a mask? Don't you, don't you do this. To, don't you try to fucking make me like Dr. Order even more. How dare you, Zia Snapdragon? Wait for that, you. bud. Also, um... <laughs> good. <laughs> Just good. All right. So I think this next one's a puzz, and it looks incomplete, which I don't blame, blame it for, because I only gave him a week instead of two, but... No, it's a... Yeah, it's puzz. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hell yeah. Oh, God! Wait, Hell yo! yeah! Fucking... This is, holy shit, what? Oh, I'm popping off. There's Hell a lot yeah. of good shit going on here. What the hell? Uh-huh. Oh, wait! Okay, in the background, you can see there's, like, their puppy and, uh... And, uh, and fucking P-Rule. You got a fucking... <laughs> Insta Jennifer and Venus. There's the two of us. 
There's a bird. Me. I don't remember why. I don't remember why there's a bird, but I'm down for it. Oh, that's my bird. Oh, that's your bird swag. Uh, Gordo's <laughs> revenge on top. Oh, he's holding a bouquet of Gordo's. What? <laughs> Squid Jenny. Um, <laughs> that's for PCT. <laughs> Good for Let's her. fucking go. Um, Good for Home MD her. looking swag as fuck right here. Just saying. Absolutely. Uh, Doctor Order and uh, Captain Quadratic. Um. <laughs> oh my God! The firebox in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> Chili, Chili's and Chili's and Twist share margarita. I absolutely love. Holy I absolutely shit. love Chili's just getting fucking white girl wasted here. Yes. Though. Also, oh my God! Dad and Dorf sharing pictures of his son with fucking. With with with, with ah! Princess Remedy. Yeah. yeah. Shared pictures of Jimbo. Are you kidding me, Puzz? Oh. Are you kidding me right now, Puzz? Hackerman John. Oh, okay. First of all, Hackerman John with the suit. Very Sly. good. With a laptop brand laptop. Oh, of course, drinking Sprite of. <laughs> uh, Cupid Shuffle with a Cupid Arrow, of course. Matrimony Night <laughs> with that. Very, very good. Google and Alabaster Uppercut. <laughs> Yo, they have a friendship bracelet! Are you kidding me? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. I can't handle this, Puzz. Jesus Christ. I cannot, oh, I cannot fucking handle this, Puzz. You're gonna make me have a connection. <laughs> Do it. All right, I don't know what having a connection is like, but imagine I just did it. Cool. Anyway, holy shit. Thank and also, yeah, of course, as everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> as you fucking do let me see if there's anything else before i check twitter oh there is another thing it's oh wait is that is that a dadendorf and hamburger helper oh it shit, sure I... fucking is oh i didn't even know i thought i didn't notice like a... the hat is a very nice touch i gotta say and the fucking pipe blowing jesus christ y'all what's wrong with you people making me feel all these emotions what the fuck it's a night of love of course True. you're gonna be feeling emotions all right let's check the tag real quick Hell yeah. Okay, hashtag. Not money sign. Money sign CPU cruffle. Find out what stock, how the CPU cruffle stonks are going. I created the ultimate girl boss, but at what cost? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dr. Orders, I'm supposed to win. Too late now. Can't take a fact. I'll be retaining all these later, but we have um, Google and uh, <laughs> Google's the oh. platypus. Google's the platypus. Oh, we have Art of the Meme. Let's go. Fucking destroying. Hell yeah. Let's go. And we also have very good Team Charmed. Officiating staff. Very good Team Charmed. Can you just fuck? Yeah, no. These teams pop the fuck off this time around. Mm-hmm. Uh, from Applebee's. I would die from true. The good meme. Homophobia is dead. <laughs> I just want to draw Waltz here. Thank you for drawing Waltz. Oh, both Waltzes. Double Waltz. Nice. I just found right... Click is Crace Lamau. Either way, very good. I don't know what it looks like. Furry Larry moments. You pretty much got it. <laughs> Attack. Kill. <laughs> and then, of course, um, the gays are winning, but at what cost? Send Dr. Order to EBDB, please. And, of course, this is the end. D bad end, dear God. Yeah, no, that's going to be fun. I can't wait. Let's see. Uh, anything Anything else that we didn't catch? Oh, I didn't even catch this one from Ampersketch. That's a very good team charm. Cute. Y'all, y'all are y'all are continuing to pop off. How mm -hmm. why are you guys so good at this? Stop it. Or don't. Whatever you want. <laughs> I can't fucking take it. I'm seriously on my limit. <laughs> After getting three stocked. You were per <laughs> I made the perfect winning winning machine. You were a perfectly good boy. It was what you did. Look at him. He's got anxiety. <laughs> You know what? Oh, this is no. just the story in general. This is just Alabaster saying, you know what, Dr. Order? I'm adopting him. Fuck you. <laughs> Mine now. And then uh, a group of Googles is called a privacy breach. <laughs> God, this is good. This is all the Googles. Let's see. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Dead boy. Very good. Ooh, the ring and everything. Ooh, the fucking broken heart on his hat. Z Zimi, this is fucking. <laughs> yeah, no, me too, man. Uh, uh, uh what? Uh. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> Great job, babe. Your butt looked very good during that fight. 
<laughs> yeah! Oh my god! The expression! The expression Fuck. on this one! Holy shit! Fuck. Oh, now I see why I'll find her so hot. Yeah, you understand now. <laughs> Another- I- this one again from Grace. Sorry, Hill. Bing, if this looks gay to the viewers. Um, Team Cones. Uh, probably- it, Larry during the uh, Sonic form. Very good Team Cone art. God, mm -hmm. y'all are absolutely killing me with these. Uh, Team Charm. <laughs> Mad Witch. <laughs> Mad God. Witch. Both of those from Lazigator. Um... Hallie's Fire Emblem 2, now with more Fire Emblem? Oh, I'm curious. What is this? I, I'm not sure if you're able to hear it, but... Um, I cannot. Okay, I'll link you. I'll link you real quick, and are we going to play at the same time? Cool, cool. Uh-oh. It's going. Anyway. All right, on okay. go. Uh, yeah, all ready to go. All right, three, two, one, go. In, in three houses, you can... Oh, it's just the cool update of the uh, thing from the first one God. with actual footage. <laughs> and... <laughs> You can do a jump, but I don't think you can. And, <laughs> and Bernadetta is in it, and I think she's cute. I stand by that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! God, very well m Fucking beautiful. Incredible! <laughs> God bless you guys. God bless you guys. Um, this is the uh, pre-match thoughts. I love Clutch so much, but I think they're going to get decimated. You know what? You're right about that. <laughs> Go get him, Clutch. You're a little champs. Oh, no, Nancy. They suck. <laughs> yeah. Unfort. And I think that's it, unless there was something that was recently. Let me do a quick refresh to see if... Um... Ooh, here we go. Haven't shaded yet, but all or nothing. Oh god. <laughs> god. I was I was on board, then you called it all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, very good art. Thank you very much. Uh Agil uh, uh, Agila Gem? I probably spelled that. I probably pronounced that wrong, but either way, thank you very much. This is very good. I'm gonna see your girl now, down with Doctor Order. Uh it's gonna be two weeks until the next one, so hopefully you guys are ready for that. Oh, I'm very excited. Uh, let's see anything new on the Buru. Oh uh, yeah, that one again. All right. Um, if anyone is gonna post anything, do it now or forever hold your peace. If not, then um, I'm gonna have two weeks to come up with whatever the hell's gonna happen next time because. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that baby, was. I can't something. wait to see how you follow this up. Yeah, that was. That was something. And uh, lore keepers, y'all have a job. <laughs> y'all have some work to do. <laughs> Good luck! Yeah, no, that was, um... Alright, Dr. Order is the champion! Alright, who we raiding? Who Let's we see. Got? God, how can I even do anything after that? Uh, we're gonna raid, we're gonna raid Chase again, and raid phrase is gonna be all hail Dr. Order. Hell yeah. All caps. Raid phrase is all hail. No, it's not gonna be. A no, listen. In light of Doctor Order winning the fucking tournament, it's all hail Doctor Order. Sorry, we, we kind of don't have a choice with this here. Yeah, listen. If if anyone else had won, then I would have stuck to reluctantly crouched. But Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. this is such a big thing. This is kind of a moment. Yeah, it's kind of big. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Fine, you can choose between all hail Doctor Order or reluctantly crouched. Although I am urging you to pick all hail Doctor Order. Please, please. Please, 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 please. She just keeps taking from us. <laughs> <laughs> She's never going to stop. No, nah, nah, the, the lore is that she made it so that raid, reluctant crouch is no longer the raid phrase. That was her that did it herself. She did it herself. She did She's it herself. Evil. All right. So that being said, um, I will say my thing is thank you, Holly, again for joining so thank much. Thank you for having me. On this <gasps> stream. On this night where love loses, but remember that love never dies. And thanks to everyone here who made it. Um, this was a huge turnout, and I'm so glad. I cannot wait for the next one in, like, uh, two Please. weeks. Keep an eye on that thing, and if you want to stick around for more various stuff, then do that. Let's raid Chase. I'll catch you later, gamers. Boy. Holy fuck. My god. Alright, I'm gonna stop the stream.